Welcome aboard. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Hi. That guy has nothing to talk about now. It's all. Uh, it was all about basketball. He right? loves his basketball. Yes. I think he feels like he should be coaching in the NBA. Well, I didn't see him uh, there this morning. There was another gentleman at the desk, at the podium, whatever he sits at. Well, he's so maybe he was uh, he took, up. He took a day. Took the day. You know, these NBA games, they start at what, 1030 at night or something? I Too don't late even for me. know. Yeah. Oh, is that when it started? Well, well, nah, I'm exaggerating know. a little bit, but not, not by much. I, I watched the first half. I'm like, I got to go to bed. Thank you, uh, David Stern. Why wouldn't you make oh. these fucking games earlier? I know the ratings were pretty good, so are but people are suffering. They're like, all right, I like basketball, so I guess I'll stay up and suffer on Friday. I don't understand a 9 o'clock start for, for the NBA Finals. Well, maybe those people don't have to go to work the next yes. day. Yes. <laughs> you know, those people. It's just me and Ant today, so I'll, I'll be a little more racist. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> those people. Yeah. I guess uh, LeBron did it, huh? Sorry, uh, Cleveland. Yeah. Sorry, Cleveland. No one's uh, no one's talking about you today. No. A lot of people feel bad for you guys today. He knew where he had to go, I gather. He had to go to the fucking South, South Beach to get this done. South Beach, yo. With a team that was put together, but that's the new way in the NBA. Yeah. A lot of people go, this isn't fair. Well, guess what? Oh, there's going to be six super teams in the NBA. Six, six uh, franchises will figure out to... How to put a, a team together to compete for the title now. Isn't and the rest that, of the league will suck. Isn't that the goal of having a team is, you know, yeah, winning a championship? So if they put together a team that's supposed to win a championship, why is it so resented? <laughs> I, I just, I think I mean, it just. I, I feel the same way a lot of times, but except for the Yankees. But, uh, it, but it's true. Like, so that's their goal. I think it just goes back to how he left Cleveland. Yeah, which makes this one a little different for a lot of different for a lot of people. I have a lot of snot today, yeah. by the way. I feel way better, I but too. I got I got I got so much snot in me. So bear with me. It's not factory. It's not factory. Yeah. Uh, and my asshole smelled really bad last night. I'll get into that in a oh, second. Oh Jesus! Really bad. Ugh! Really fucking bad. I almost brought my underwear in, but then I realized Jimmy wasn't here, so I'm like, it'll just be creepy. Like Jimmy would appreciate. My underwear smelling really bad. Who would but smell it? I, I know we would have found somebody. Ew. But then I'm I'm thinking to myself, it's just me and Ant today, and Ant's going to go, what the no, fuck? I, I but can't. Jimmy would have appreciated that. Wow. I uh, I took a meditation class last night. A meditation <laughs> class? I know we're all over the place, but we always get back on track. We'll get back to LeBron. A meditation class? Yeah, I'm trying to chill the fuck out. Now that I'm getting older, I want to chill the fuck out. <laughs> you know I'm mellower. You do know that. Can't you? Do? Yeah. You don't want to admit it. You, you want, <laughs> I don't want to admit it. You don't want to admit it. You want to bring back old school shit. Nah. But I, I'm more chill, and I decided to take a meditation class. And we sat there and meditated. What a waste of time. That just sounds like you could do that on your own. Yeah, well, that's what I figured out. Yeah. So, huh? I, so I will do it on my own a little bit, but just sit in the room. I mean, I've taken yoga classes where you really do. I, I know people laugh at yoga and stuff, but you really do get a fucking workout. And these guys that think it's hilarious and think it's, you know, faggy, whatever you want to say, I, I would love to see you get through an hour of yoga. Yeah, yeah. You'll kill yourself. No, it, I would It's yeah. not fun. I wouldn't think it's not a workout. I've seen what people do. It's you try to hold a fucking wacky position for a oh, while. Oh, dude. It's You're brutal. just shaking. It's fuck <laughs> Yeah, you are. Sh so yeah. you've done a little yoga. Yeah, well, not, yeah, yeah. I, actually, it's part of my workout is like a few things that I guess are, is considered yoga. Yeah. With the ball and fucking holding yourself in a certain position. Yeah. Where you just start shaking. There you go. Oxygen starved muscles. <laughs> there you go. So I, I walk through, uh, God, this, I, I, will, I will bring it all together. I've been doing this a long time. I, uh, I walked through Korean Town. Have you ever walked through Korean Town? No. In New York City? Sounds crazy. There's like one or two blocks where I don't think you're supposed to fucking walk on these sidewalks if you're white like us. Oh really? No. Dude, I didn't see one other white person. I think they I think there's guards at the end of the blocks or something, and I just got through somehow. They just know this. There's, there's two blocks. Thirty eighth parallel. Something. Yeah. There's some Right around Penn Station, man, you go off to the side a little bit, and it's nothing but Koreans. I never knew that, no. And Korean barbecues, and, and Korean models, and Korean karaoke joints, and Korean uh, 
uh, whack off joints. <laughs> it runs the gamut. Good shit though. N- no signs in English. They don't want fucking Whitey there. 30, they don't want Round Eye there. Thirty first to thirty sixth between fifth and sixth. There you go. See. Wow. It's called Korean Town. I've lived. Arter Town. I've lived around <laughs> New York City my entire life. I've never seen this Korean Town before. Did it look like you could go in a restaurant and eat something? No. 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 A, a Some few. kimchi. Kimchi, yes. Some kimchi. I think that is a Korean thing, right? Yeah, it's a Korean girl. She'll jerk you off. Kimchi. Oh, kimchi. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> kimchi. From fucking cabbage. Then I saw, like, sexy Korean girls, like, with big boobies, which surprised wow. me. Wow. I don't know. Are, are they the Asians that have the big boobies? I think they are. The Chinese, no way, right? No. Japanese, sometimes. Sometimes. Koreans, all the time. Mm, yeah, Japanese women are usually very slender. Korean women got a little more meat on their bones. All right. Because of the Korean barbecue? Because of the kimchi. And the kimchi? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is oh, what I saw. man, that looks Look like at this. fucking... Don't you feel like you're in Asia? Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? That's very Asian-looking storefronts. It really is. It, the buildings look different it's than like any Seoul. other New York buildings. Like, they have... They have, like, shops four stories high. You know what I mean? They look like pagodas. Yes. What's I'm like, where that? am I? Am I still in New York City? Did I go through some kind of time portal? <laughs> New York's so diverse, isn't it? I went through a time I celebrate, portal. I celebrate New York's diversity. Do you? <laughs> yeah, by getting right the fuck out of here and going nah, home. Kinda, my white neighborhood. <laughs> really? I kind of like it. I'll <laughs> diversity, be honest. Diversity to schmercity. You don't like it, huh? <laughs> I hate diversity. This is what I saw. Look at this weird shit. That is weird, man. And there's no, um, no signs in English. And that usually means they just want fucking Korean people. That looks like one of those levels in GTA. Yeah. <laughs> Got to get through with the triads. <laughs> yeah. Like, like what, what? Here, go back to that. Like, what's in that place? I don't know. Yeah, like that thing. It's a kimchi distributor. <laughs> the place that has a exclamation point, a zero, a seven, a sort of Q, and a sort of L. Like what? They borrow what letters do they sell and there? Numbers what do they sell things? there? I have no idea what that's about. Wow. Yeah. And I'll never go there. What, do you just walk in and hope that it's a, a food joint? Yeah. They stacked them up. Yeah, they do. Well, because the city only gave them four blocks to be yeah, Korean. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, be Korean in four fucking blocks. Stack yourselves up in buildings, motherfucker. Because as so, soon as they got to the end of the block, it was back to normal New York. Yeah. It was weird, man, but I had to walk through there to get to the meditation class that I'm taking. And then I paid my 12 bucks to sit in a chair and breathe. Yeah. I didn't see shit. No. No, and then you get these weird hippie people that talk about their experience, and they're looking at me like, oh, no. you want to talk about your experience? And I said, I didn't see shit. Was it? And then everyone laughed. I was going for the joke. But one guy's like, are you, are, are, are you supposed to uh, have thoughts? Because I saw things. And I'm, I'm rolling my eyes. Oh, and he no. goes, I, uh, I saw visions. Oh. oh, boy. And then the lady's like, well, what did you see? Share with the class. I, thought I was I was killing an entire class. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, <laughs> well, he did talk about evil thoughts and shit. Oh I'm like, man, wow. what the fuck? Oh, did this parole officer tell him to go to a meditation class yeah. and chill the fuck out? I uh, I saw visions, not not necessarily thoughts, just visions. Well, what did you see? Uh. I saw a tree. And I heard a bird, <laughs> and I wanted to say, "Well, fuck the windows open." There's yeah, not a yeah, bird probably. outside. It's not a vision. So I sat there breathing. Breathing. But I did, like, leave all chilled out. You paid a class yeah, man, so they I... could tell you to breathe? <laughs> yeah, usually when I pay for a class, I'm, I'm sweating my balls off, right? Yeah. You pay to fucking work out a little bit, I, I, I'm thinking. Yeah, I would think. So, But meditation is supposed to be just sitting there, and I would think that's something you could do yourself. Well, that's, that's the whole thing. I'm taking a class, so maybe I could do it at home. So You're supposed I, to clear your mind. So I could chill something. the fuck out and get some of the... Get rid of some of this irritable depression that I <laughs> seem to suffer from. Fishman says meditation class equals court ordered anger management. I think <laughs> maybe that's I think what this the guy, guy is doing. <laughs> and then I had, and then everyone like you, you you assume you're in a in a place where people are peaceful to begin with, but everyone started getting really mad because the fan was going. It's gotta be quiet, doesn't it? Yeah, so everyone yelled like, "Can we turn off the fucking fan?" Before we start, everyone's all angry at the <laughs> yes. fucking meditation class. <laughs> yes. Can we fucking turn off the fan? <laughs> and then people are chatting outside the fucking door, and I'm thinking to myself, if you're 
if you're running some kind of meditation class, wouldn't you make sure everything is completely quiet? Quiet. Because it's like a center. It's like a yoga center. So they're kind of aware what this is all about. Yeah, what type of, like, like the place, was it, uh, was it just a big room? Yeah, a small, like, classroom kind of Classroom? Like. Yeah, in a yoga yeah. center. Yeah. All right. Would you do this? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Holy shit! You gotta experience life, man. You gotta I, try some different things. No, I, I, I like I did. I built an entire gym facility in my house so a trainer could come over to me, so I wouldn't have to go to a gym. <laughs> See, we're very different in a lot of ways. Oh. I think people know that by now. Finally, because forever they thought we were the same person, which was weird to me because we always were different. <laughs> Got along, but always were different. Yeah, I have to leave my fucking house. You don't you don't have to leave your house, and I know you have a really nice house. I have a no, I have a nice place to be sure. honest with you. I'm very private, so I don't really show much of it. But I need to get the fuck out all the time. I uh, no, I don't need to. And stupid Jimmy, <laughs> when he goes, uh, you know, and, and plays uh, therapist Jimmy, I think he he made me aware of something that I I was never aware of. It goes back to my childhood, needing to leave the weird, dark fucking environment I was uh, growing up in. Oh, you think that's and it? to this yeah. day I need to just be out. But I like it. It does make sense. I go out for things that I can't get at home. Like yeah. When it's nice out, why the fuck don't, am, I, am I not just out in my yard fucking laying down, drinking a beer, fucking going to the pool? But it's that's great. out. That's what I mean by oh, out. Oh, it's out, yeah. Like I'm not, it, like, leaving the facility. My, the <laughs> one thing I, I hate about living in New York City, I don't have outdoor space. It yeah, drives yeah. me nuts. I have to, like, just... When I want to go outside, I got to be outside with, like, fucking strangers. Right. I pick a piece of the fucking grass out there to hang out on. And then next thing you know, you got to hang out with weirdos and strangers you don't even know. Yeah, I like blasting my fucking my own music, you know. Right. So you don't have to deal with people next to you. Just fucking outside, could drink, could do whatever the fuck I want. And then if I want to leave the, the facility, it's usually, you know, go to the shooting range or something like that. Or go to the supermarket, pick up some burgers to barbecue. Yeah. Like that to me is better than going anywhere else you want the new york experience just imagine that beautiful outside you got right yeah and also people just show up and people, sit next to you all right that kind of does sound like my house <laughs> well no but i know, I know you know what i mean yeah, yeah. might even be some undesirables <laughs> undesirables and think oh about my that goodness you found a nice spot outside and guess what undesirables, undesirables. are sitting next, next to you because it's their space too we can't have any of that it's everyone's space <laughs> so i owned my ass off we had to do some ohms. Are they still doing that? Isn't that like hack as far as uh, it's meditation the, goes? It's the one word that still seems to be the number one. That seems hack now. You'd think they would come up with a new word. And then we were like, and then we were envisioning the demon going up and down a pole or something. But I guess that's your breath. Because when the demon's not working for you, you got to keep him busy. It's some kind of old story. How are you supposed they, to breathe? Real deep or it's shallow? Um, you're almost uh, not supposed to notice your breath, but you're oh. concentrating on your breath. If that makes sense. So how would Big A do this? <laughs> oh, he would be supposed a, to notice. Oh, uh, he'd be a nightmare. Everyone in else meditation class. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. So then I walked through Korean town, and I decided. Uh, it was in the 30s, and I live uh, on the Upper West Side. I walked all the way home. It took me an hour and a half. <laughs> wow. And it was hot. It was fucking hot. Blazing. Man. Hence, and see how I'm bringing it all together, hence the really bad underwear. <clears throat> okay. Now it makes sense. I had, oh, that's... I had crack sweat. I had back. It starts with back sweat. Going down the funnel of your spine into your yeah. fucking cracks. It's like a drip coffee maker, <laughs> yes. only with your asshole. Yes. <laughs> so then the sweat gets into your crack, oh, and now it, it picks up whatever the fuck's going on in there and then drips it right into your underwear. I felt like I was spotting when I that, got home. <laughs> oh, God I, damn it. I had moist, moist underwear. And then, so what, but I didn't even realize it was so bad until I went to bed with, uh, with my uh, wife and my son, who's still in bed with us, we got to oh, kind of no. deal with that soon. Oh, no. Because now he's having complete conversations with us, so now it is weird. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> right. Top. Can you move over? I need more pillow. Yeah. Thank you. The fuck is this? <laughs> and uh, I don't know. My wife was sort of saying how lucky we uh, we all are, and you know, and talking about my son and at perfect timing. But I did on purpose. I moved my leg to get comfortable in bed, and that's when I smelled my own asshole. That's how bad it was. And I had to tell everybody, including my my son, who started laughing. <laughs> he he gets he gets things already. 
<laughs> oh my God! So you, you... <laughs> I moved my leg. I had pajama pants on, and I moved my leg, and that's I I I caught a whiff. And if I wasn't so tired, I would have got up and showered my ass. Wait, so you properly? You, you smelt it and stayed there? <laughs> Come on! Yes. Come on! <laughs> I know. I know. It's not like you're alone in there. I know. I was too tired. <laughs> Oh, man. And then I wanted to bring the underpants in, but then I realized Jimmy wasn't here. See how everything's coming together? Do you think she, your, your wife smelt it? No. She howled, though. She's got a good sense of humor. She oh left her balls God. off. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. I'll take it. I took care of it this morning properly. It was bad, dude. It was it was soaked. Soaked underpants. <laughs> Walking for an hour and a half. So fucking disgusting. <laughs> wow. What, you want to talk about nice shit? No. I, but I, wow. I, I walked for, it was an hour and 15 minute walk. Look, how many miles is that? Well, that's pretty long. I want to guess it's two miles. Yeah, I mean, ballpark, it's about two and a half miles. Two and a half miles of city walking is a lot you're different, insane. by the way. I was, you're, right? Yes, you're insane. You're, that's, it really yeah. was two and a half miles because I was yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted to Google yeah. map this shit. Oh, well, look, I, I'm from I'm Koreatown. From, from like, yeah, like 30th to around. No, you got it about right. You know. You got about right. There's no reason so, to yeah. do that. I did that yesterday. Two and, look. Two and a half miles. And there that's is. about the fucking uh, route I took. There's no reason. Because I checked out some uh, body paint. Why, man? You just check out shit. I checked out body painting and in Times Square. Maybe in the fall or the spring, but not on the hottest day of the year. Right. But stupid Kenny got into my head. Should I bring that into it? Like, what, what was he well, doing? I'm still sort of like dealing with this stupid cold or whatever the fuck I got. I'm way better. Walk it and off. And Kenny goes... You should do what I do. I just work it out. I I continue. Do you work out when you're sick? Don't your muscles feel like they're fucking starving? And yeah, yeah. You was... try to do one rep when you're sick, and 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 you get weak immediately. There was no working out when I was sick. Thank you. Wasn't Kenny goes. Happen. I work out. I don't care. I work out my sickness. Animal. He's an but animal. So I'm thinking to myself. You know what? Maybe I'll walk and I'll sweat, and maybe I'll sweat some of this shit out. Look though, man. Let's walk to the subway. This is why you yeah. walk. <laughs> yeah, you walk to the subway. <laughs> this is why you walk. Look at this lovely creature I, I, I took a picture of in Times Square. I haven't um, I haven't tweeted this yet. But you got a little fucking naked oh, body painting that chick. One. Yeah. Wow. Let me see. Yeah, that. this is a good one. Oh boy. They usually get ugly girls. Oh man. They usually get ugly girls with no boobies. Got a nice uh For some reason Jesus. and I'm not complaining. Jesus. Times Square has this exhibition that happens. All the time because I I don't know I don't know what this is for but oh, I see it yeah, all the time, girls completely naked. Well, they are wearing panties, panties yeah, and uh, but they paint over the panties sometimes too. Yeah, they used to not have panties, by the way. Nice. So I guess the city did get involved because this is the first one I saw with actual panties on, and they're they're you know topless and then they paint them up right in the middle of Times Square. They're completely topless. Pretty hot models with, uh, you know, she has a nice set of bees right there. I'm fucking, Times Square is weird, yeah. Look, you could even Google image it yourself and you'll see a whole bunch of different ones. And the, and guys are just, you know, standing around taking pictures of these girls right in the middle of Times Square. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Wow, yeah. Look wow. at that. Yeah, that looks like the same chick. How great is Her that? Look the same. Isn't that great? It certainly is. That's what. That's why I walk. Wow. You see shit. Yes. I'll tweet this. Man. Later though, I'm fucking tired. Oh, my, I'm tired from my walk. <laughs> from your walk. Yeah. No shit. That's a hike. <laughs> two and a half miles. In you wouldn't walk two and a half miles no. on the hottest day of the year. It was ninety-seven <laughs> I took my degrees dog out for a two-minute walk, and I went back inside. It was brutal yesterday. I do feel a little dry. Oh, dude, yeah, two and I might need some miles. water. Drink some liquids. But hence the bad, bad smelling ass. Oh, yeah, two when and a half I, when miles. I, when I adjusted myself in bed last night, that'll cranky an ass up real quick. So that leads us to what the LeBron James thing. Oh, yeah, then I watched the first half, and I'm like, I, I like basketball, and this is a really interesting uh, sports story, but I can't stay up. I'm too fucking yeah. tired now. <laughs> I'm your hike. So good for LeBron James. You know, he suffered so much making. Yes. I don't know. A, a guy like that probably makes close to $100 million a year if you figure out the endorsements and all. So, But he suffered. So he finally got he his suffered for his, his craft. Right. Yeah, good, good for him. Uh, I'm. I, he's probably very happy he wasn't in uh, Cleveland. I'm he's, thinking. Uh, I, 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 don't know. I guess. I guess he's moved on from that. I guess. 
Yeah. But oh, it gets back to your point. It's not fair. You know, you you explain why it is fair. This is what yeah, this is what the team wants to do. Is that's what they aspire to do every year is just win a championship and you know. So they get the best players. Uh, you know, they all have uh, money to deal with, salary caps and all that crap. The yeah. finances of running a team. I, I I get confused by that all the time. Mm -hmm. And they try to get the best players, considering yeah. uh, how much money they got. Why wouldn't you? Even in school, when you had to pick players, uh, what would you do? You, you the, stacked your team. The last one left was the geek, right? And the fucking first pick was the uh, the best player. So, right. you know, I'm sure you're not allowed to pick teams that way anymore. I, I bet. Oh, I bet. Let's just throw that out there. It's I bet bullying. you're not allowed to on school property. I guarantee that no one picks teams like that anymore in schools because it's cruel. Right. Remember? We can't do that. Remember the stress you would feel just standing there hoping to get picked early. I was always you knew. just one of the middle guys. But One that's of the fine. Guys in the middle, yeah, that was fine with me. I didn't care. Depending on the sport, I was middle guy to you know. I, I was I was good at basketball. Was my sport growing up? So yeah. I would get picked for basketball. But the other sports, I was middle guy. I was always in the middle, never at the end, and never first picked or anything like that. So I was fine with mediocrity what? in my sporting career in high school. When did it get? Uh, when did does did it get weird? Uh, for you, you know what I mean. Like, all right, I didn't get picked a few times, but then, when do you start getting uncomfortable? When you start. Seeing out of shape twelve year olds around you. You start looking around. Yeah, the second somebody gets picked that you know you're better than, you're like, oh boy, I was. I better be next. I was never out of shape twelve year old. <laughs> never an out of shape twelve year old. No. <laughs> but I bet you can't do that anymore. It's it would be considered bullying, I'm sure. Right. You know, it gives somebody a bad sense of self worth if they're not picked. Oh, guaranteed. I'll imagine the shitty fucking sides there are now, though. The, yeah. And you got to deal with the fucking dumbass fucking fat kid on your team. Yeah. <laughs> the fat kid was always last. The one during the presidential physical fitness test couldn't get <laughs> one pull up. I bet you they don't even do that anymore. Oh, uh, probably don't do that. Remember either, how yeah. stressful that was? Oh God, I got. They showed you everything they th you had to do. Yeah. I gotta do seven fucking pull-ups. Oh my god, I better be able to do them. Holy shit, I better be able what to do What was it this. called again? The presidential? The presidential physical fitness test. You said it, okay. Presidential yeah. physical fitness test. Yep, and they would fucking test you. You had to do a certain amount of push-ups, sit-ups, chin-ups, fucking, uh, what the, else was there? Oh, Iraq. E the run. The V sit and reach where you had to bend over and see how far you could stretch from the sitting position. Oh, right, you had to touch your toes or something like that. And yeah. Yeah. Have you ever touched your toes, Iraq? Oh, he's got to see. Yes, I wasn't oh. fat until I was here. So there you go. Oh, oh man, wow. Florida kept him slim. All that humid heat, growing up there, uh, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah, are you happy that the Miami Heat uh, won the NBA championship? <laughs> Home town. I'm surprised you didn't take the day off to celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that I, I remember that test. It was like a big thing. You'd go into the gym, and the gym teachers would yell at you. If you couldn't do it right. Oh, it's like fucking Fuck uh, yeah. Full Metal Jacket with Private Pile. You mean to tell me you can't do a single pull-up? Right. You don't get that <laughs> stupid printout. It doesn't even have the president's signature on it. It's just something no. they print down and they stamp your name on it. Well, it, it, was, it was a ditto. It, when was, I was, it was just yeah. a, a, <laughs> it was a, a time killer. Yeah. Curl-ups, shuttle run, endurance run slash walk, pull-ups, and V-sit reach. That's oh, it. That's what it says on their website. Is that, that current? That's current. Yeah. Oh uh, no, they, for you guys. No, yeah, they used to the beat day. the shit out of us. Back in the day, it was like there was definitely a run. It was Paris Island. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I think you had a run. Well, there's yeah. the endurance run. The, oh, oh, you there said you that. Go. Yeah, oh. but now it says endurance run slash walk. Yeah, of course. Oh man, you don't even have to run it. Of course. Not. I guess you just have to pussies. finish it. <laughs> that's why you get kids on a bus yelling at sixty-eight-year-old fucking women who are now rich. That cunt. Fuck her. <laughs> yeah, remember yesterday how we felt really bad for her? Yeah. We discussed this before the show. I we could, hate her now. I could give a shit about that old we fucking... hate her. That I, old bitch. You know, the, the amount of bullying I take on Twitter, I should be... I should have another fucking... Well, I won't say. For five I, should have a, I, should, I should be getting a big fat check today. She's up to just about a half a mil. Yeah. 127000 She's going to cross a half a million dollars. It's, you know, you have these viral videos go. They, I told um, you it's going to be a million, Ant. I'm telling yeah. you. She will hit a million by A million Monday. bucks for having kids yell at you? I would take that. Well, I would take that right now. They didn't even touch her. And she was fat and sweating. Now I guess the guy who set up the page is asking for donations for himself. Why? Because ah, he realized, hey, look at this shit.
Oh, he's an idiot, man. Oh, man, that's funny, because now he's like, shit, a bunch of people, I need money, too. He should have set it up in a way where he takes his taste. Yeah, you know. I learned from the mafia, you always take your taste. Just got to know what your fee is. <laughs> right. Your fee. You always take a taste. What's yeah. wrong with you? You set up this whole thing, You there's some kind of administration fee you take for yourself. Oh, my God. He could have taken 10%. He could have taken yes. a nice taste. Yeah. That fucking 40 Gs. What's wrong with you? You take your taste. But, uh, wow, man. Yeah. I'm, now she's a star, too. She's on everything. Everyone feels sorry for her. And she's probably being praised everywhere she goes. Like that, like when Maury would have those freaks on and be like, you are a beautiful, <laughs> right. yeah. beautiful girl. Yeah. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. Now she goes on these shows and they're like, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. I can't understand how these children did this to you. So she gets kudos, praise, and a shitload of cash. And now she's bloody rich. But you know the government will fuck her over somehow. Oh, can only hope. They'll probably take 70% because of oh, some, kind yeah. Of, yeah. some kind of loophole Gift in the thing. tax system. Right. There's gifting, and I don't know. Well, the tax code says when you're bullied and someone sets up a, <laughs> right, uh, right. a, a account for you and you make money, the government does take 80%. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's in the law. Sorry. It's in the law that you guys voted on. You guys voted on it. <laughs> well, your week. representative voted on it. He right. represented your best interest. You would have been up for that, right? <laughs> right. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Our stupid representative. Oh, I hate the representatives. Go, go suck a dick. Not representing me. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh. Oh, we were discussing that the other day. My my peep, peoples. How everyone has to. If you do, if you talk about anything gay, you have to go. Oh, the. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. You feel like you have to say that now. From the Seinfeld episode. Yeah. No, I know, but everyone yeah. has adopted that. <laughs> no matter. what. No matter what gay subject you bring up, you have yeah. to say that to protect yourself against what? I'll tell you one thing. The old man wouldn't have fucking wanted to hear this. Nothing, you know, he wouldn't not have, that there's anything wrong with that. He would have just went gay. <laughs> Meaning, you know, talking about Son gay. of a bitch. <laughs> the gays? Now, there is something wrong with that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He'd show me, like, fucking, that's, that, there is something wrong with that. Yeah. And you don't even fucking go near that. Wow. That's it. Did you have like a clockwork orange thing at your house where he kept your eyelids open and just showed just you horrific gay stuff? Like an... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that interspersed with like what I supposed to watch, like old John Wayne movies. <laughs> right. My father had all those things. His office was like all those cheesy, and the John Wayne plate can be yours. The John Wayne statue. Yeah. This tribute to the Duke. Do you like John Wayne? Ah. Huh? Because he was all man, John Wayne. What if you found out that John, you know, might have taken a couple in the shitter? John never took any in the shitter. What if he did? John Wayne was all man. Uh, yeah, all man! That's what your dad liked, likes to think. Yeah. It was that. It was all like fucking... You know, you'd walk into his office and for some reason there's just a saddle on the floor. Fucking horse saddle. He wanted to show everyone he was all man. He was all man. Oh, you think maybe my dad might have had some I'm, ideas? I, I'm and not going down like, that road. Oh, really. boy. Then no man. Next thing you know, he's gonna fist fight my dad and wherever in the fuck heaven? they are. Well, they're probably not there. Purg purgatory. My no, dad's in know. heaven. Yeah, he's in heaven. God, man is a saint. Uh, all right. Well, they still yeah. do the presidential fitness test. Of course they do. I had a gym teacher that scolded our whole class because only two people passed the fitness <laughs> test. Because <laughs> that was his whole world. <laughs> that was. It probably reflected badly on him. I, if the students couldn't do well, because he's like they're supposed to whip them into shape. I remember being in grammar school, Washington Drive, to go local, out there in Centerport, Long Island, and our gym teacher at the time got so upset. We're twelve years old. We're we're doing some kind of gym class nonsense, and nonsense. something happened. And like you, like we said here, it it was his whole world. He took his stopwatch and threw it against the wall like a fastball, and I remember it shattered. To this day, I don't remember why he got so upset. He's very mad. We're 12 years old in gym class. Man. What can we possibly do and be doing wrong? Oh, uh, they love just fucking ragging on you, those gym teachers. I know we've talked about that before, but I still cannot fucking ever forget. I'll never forget when I, I used to come into class and, you know, I was fucking, you're a kid. 
Right. So I was I was a dopey kid. My I was always in disarray. Mm-hmm. Like you know, my mom's fucking license working. Yeah. No, I never had the lice. It was back in the day before you Were had you? a shitload of foreigners in school that brought lice into school. Okay, yeah, yeah I said it. <laughs> fucking a. Wait, you think that's where the lice came from? Of course it is. <laughs> Holy shit! Never had lice in my schools. My schools were fucking amazing in the Elwood but, School District. But walk me through it. How how did they bring the lice in? They uh, fucking they same way they brought the bed bugs into all the hotels in the city. Mm. Before you know, before there were fucking uh, everybody coming over to the, to the city. Yeah. These tourists from out of town and students from fucking faraway lands. Mm. They didn't have all these bugs. They brought bugs with them. Bugs mm. that creep up on you. Mm. So uh, yeah, I don't know head lice. But I, I was I was always in disarray. Like I was clean, but you know my clothes were a little disheveled. Maybe my hair was a fucking wreck. <laughs> it was just because I was in a transitional phase between straight hair and my hair started curling up, so I didn't know what to do with it. Right. And and I it was just it was crazy hair. You had those waves. Yeah, and my mom couldn't bother. She was a working mom, so it's like I used to dress myself and everything, and I wear stripes and plaids. Fucking just my shoelaces are untied. And I was just a disaster area. See, that's where we're similar. We we had shitty clothes too. Yeah. But I think everyone our age had shitty clothes. Yeah. If you remember when, when we were growing up, you didn't have many places to even buy clothes. Yeah. You had Macy's and you had what? We didn't have the gap. We didn't have uh you had Kleins on the square. <laughs> yeah, some Kleins. kind of like Department store that had a clothes had, section. That's all we had, really. Yeah. Sears. Sears. Yeah, yeah, shop at Sears for clothes. Yeah, there weren't no specialty shops, motherfuckers. There was, um. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, so you had crappy clothes with pads yeah, yeah. and stripes and, and uh, plaids uh, and stripes and shit. And, and the gym teacher came up and he's, he's like, he was one of these like real manly <sighs> gym teachers with big mitts on him. And he, he squatted down and put his hands on his knees to get to my level. And, and, and he flicked, he like flicked my hair with one hand. And he goes, look at the way you groom yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> he literally said that. And I remember it like it was yesterday in my head. Look at the way you groom yourself, man. He said- was mad at me because I didn't have my hair combed. Like I was fucking, you know, right. uh, a piece of shit. Well, you didn't watch the hygiene uh, film I strip. guess I was film fucking, strip. yeah. Uh, I, Where you got to take care of your pimples. Yeah. And you got to wash under your arms. Wash. You know, I didn't watch that film <laughs> where you had to wash yourself. Wash. They showed and comb your hair. I remember they showed pimples coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny noticed he started getting hair on certain parts of his body. Right. He had to wash under his arms. But weren't we washing already? I remember the big deal was yes. to wash where the hair is coming in. Wash your ears. <laughs> you have to wash. Clean underwear and you. A Delco instructional Oh, boy. Film. Maybe I should watch oh, this. Oh, jeez. This is My a good My name is Dr. Ronald J. Finkelbauer. This is a good I'd like to talk to you about today is hygiene. Meet Jimmy Farnsworth. That's, That's a goof. Yeah. I'd rather see a the real parody. Uh, Look at the way you groom yourself, man. Uh, I hated that guy. You don't like him? Yeah, and there was a guy in gym class named Buddy Bell, his name was, and he was like the gym teacher's fucking hero. Buddy Bell? He's always one of those. No, wasn't he like a yeah, baseball the, player? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely Maybe it's a, the same Buddy Bell. I never knew, but there was Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell? Buddy Bell was the greatest jock since Boomer Esiason in my school. So he might have played for real somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where he went. When was he born? He's 60 now. Okay, no. I All right, that's about right. Buddy Bell. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. All right, so he was a few years younger than you. All right, so you guys were in high school at the same time. <laughs> uh, Buddy it was, Bell. It was elementary school. Buddy Bell uh, was the greatest jock ever. And um, he, like the gym teacher, whenever he wanted to demonstrate stuff, he used Buddy Bell. Like, like all right, uh I'm going to show you how to how to block a, a soccer kick in the goal. Buddy, get in the goal. And then the, the gym teacher would like fucking do, 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 you know, the finesse the, the ball mm. and then kick it. And Buddy would do this amazing fucking leap sideways, fucking grab the ball and shit. All right, now you do it. Come on, Cumia. Look at the way you groom yourself, man. Get the ball. It was your way off. Buddy, show him how to do it. Buddy Bell just showed all of us how much we sucked. Take solace in the fact that he was probably getting raped in the shower. You could only hope. 
You think that started with Sandusky? Oh, hell no. Buddy, get in the batter's cage. Buddy's going to show everyone how to hit a fucking baseball thrown at 95 miles an hour by me. <laughs> Fuck. That's what I call a little chin music first. Now we're going to... And then Buddy just whacks it, and I'm sitting there like... Aah! And he did it Petrified. perfectly every time, right? Yes, Buddy Bell knocked it out of the park every time. Fuck, I hate Fuck Buddy, Buddy Bell. Bell. <laughs> Never met this guy, and I oh, hate him, too. Oh. Is that his real name? Because we could be sued now. No, it was Buddy Bell. Damn it. No one knows where he Damn lives it. or anything. There are plenty of Buddy Bells. You just described... I don't, every was, fucking gym class had that guy. This guy would fucking do everything perfectly. Buddy Bell's going to show you what a three-pointer looks like. Fuck. Show him again, buddy. And again, and again, and again, and again. <laughs> and I can't even fucking do a layup. <laughs> oh, did I stink in gym. But you were okay with that. That's I was the difference. fine with it. That's uh, the difference. Because to watch Buddy Bell toil over a test tube and a Bunsen burner was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the beauty of growing up. You yeah. just described it. If you suck at one thing, guess what? Your brain is good at something. You got to find out what that is. Yes. But not nowadays. Nowadays, everyone has to be good at everything. Oh. Fake good at everything. Oh. Because because the teachers and everybody else are forced to basically tell the kids they're great at everything. That they're great at everything. God, that's the dumbest way to raise your kids. Build and their confidence up. I got to find a special school. I ain't going through that shit. Don't call it that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> special school. You know, I'm watching Little Einstein with my kid. And oh, you know yeah. that retard means, really means slow in classical music? Yeah, 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 right. Retard, retard do? Mm -hmm. Retardo. Re so why can't we say retarded anymore? Yeah. Yeah, you could say retardo when you're talking about Roland. <laughs> 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 it's retardo, but then retardissimo, I think. And... Retardissimo. Ah. So why don't they go after the classical music people? I don't know. I guess they, they consider started that, that thing. shit. Yeah. Retard is always... Retard to retard something. It's a little bit slow. It's always meant to slow it down. Pull it back a little bit. Retard it. Dude. You know, you retard the spark on your fucking... Uh, in your car when you twist that distributor. They had a waterhead story on... Um... CBS this morning that fucking brought tears to my eyes. Really? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't like present that oh. in the way I just did, but a kid has got the down Oh, got the down syndrome. He owns his own fucking restaurant. What? For real. Not really? like fake owns. He really owns it. And his parents leave him every fucking day and he's in complete control. Oh man. And he seems like he's 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 not in the shallow end of the down syndrome pool. There are very He's sort of in the middle. He's not in the levels. deep end, but he's kind of like not just a little taste of it. He's he's got it. There he's are got it pretty good. Profoundly retarded people. And supposedly his restaurant's doing real well. I think it is Tim's Place restaurant. Tim's Place. Takes unique approach thanks to special owner and they're going to franchise. Special. Come on now. Are you going to have to have down syndrome in order to and on the menu, you, and on the menu, you could order the the uh, the Tim hug. What? And I was, no way. I was bawling like. No a, way. And I was bawling like an asshole. Oh my bawling. god! I can admit it. No way. I was bawling. Literally a hug from him. They did this for Father's Day, of course. So oh. they really fucking uh, you know play your heartstrings. Oh. What a difference 26 years makes. Oh, nice out here. Today, here in sunny Albuquerque, oh, yeah. you'd be hard-pressed to find a more glowing father than Keith Harris. I appreciate you coming out and walking with me. Or a more shining example of what truly great parenting can accomplish. Oh. Keith and his wife, Jeannie, who also have three That's typical nice, boys, uh, have raised them all the... Oh, with the same no. <laughs> expectations. Oh, they <laughs> zoomed out of the picture. But none more I gotta explain what oh, happened. Oh, gee. <laughs> they showed a family photo, <laughs> and, and yes. they slowly <laughs> zoomed out from the parents and showing one kid at a time. It looked like the perfect family. <laughs> That's so yeah. wrong. Man. There it is. Look at those two boys. <laughs> two, the three, three boys. I mean, they're adorable. Right. And, and then you pull out a little. Still pulling out, pulling out, pulling out. No. no. See, we can't do this. I, it brought tears to my oh, eyes. Did I, can't, it? I can't play both parts today. Aw. Well, let's. I want to hear what he did. This is a, actually a, this is a nice As story. A result, they're all successful, but none more successful than Tim, who it's not only make the other lives brothers on his feel own, good. He worked for me. 
He owns his own restaurant. Hey guys, welcome to my place. In fact, as far as Walk we right know, out. Tim is the only person with Down syndrome in the country who owns a restaurant. The rating in the window is R. All of us who are dads want our kids to wind up having a life where they are independent, happy, secure. Morning. That's why Tim's dad, a small business owner himself, uh, provided the initial investment. I bet. Other people do the managing. Yeah, come up with the capital. But Tim is the front man. <laughs> Here we are. And the genius behind it. You're welcome. Tim figured out what people really want from a family restaurant is a family feel. That's why here, love isn't just in the air, it's on the menu. Aww. You can actually order a free hug from Tim. <laughs> Calorie free. Don't order it. Oh, it's, cal it's on the menu. Calorie free. Measure of it just hugs everybody. Hug. Almost 19,000 hugs. Almost. Well, you keep track? Yeah, in the hug counter. Of the hug counter. <laughs> I'm a hug counter. Of course, right, he's pretty functional, this guy. Come Tim on. Has Let's be real. Plans. Give me a hug. And yet, no matter how big he gets, Tim says he will always be in debt. I bet he's all that crazy about that hug counter. First hug. <laughs> I bet he's he fucking uh, crazy. Yo, hold on a second. You think he's obsessed with that? I hug bet counter. he's fucking obsessed with that goddamn hug counter. I do hear they focus on one thing. <laughs> like the second someone at the door is like, give me a hug, and he gives a hug. Put it up on the counter! Hug come, another, another hug in! Everyone's trying to run the restaurant, and that's all he can concentrates on. You know, you don't give a fuck that sales are way down because he's people. just pushing free hugs. Yeah, you think Other he just created the restaurant just to give hugs? Yeah. And count them? Do you think he's in the office with a fucking visor on going over the fucking books? No. He's got his own book. Like, somebody an accountant is sitting there deciding how much has to be spent on food and, and uh, overhead and, and employees and what's coming in every month. And he's there going, had five hugs! <laughs> he's got one of those old-time cal uh, calculator yeah. things. <laughs> no ten hugs! <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh this God. is in deep trouble. Oh, trying yeah. to explain yeah, to yeah. Look, look, we can save this. We just got to get rid of the hug counter, please. Yeah, the hug the counter. Love of really God, is. it's not doing anything for us. Concentrate more on the business end of this. <laughs> Hugs, very important. Very important hug. But the story made me cry. Uh, You'll well, see. You'll see the more. part. All right. Inspiration. I'll go back. Yeah, See, you oh, missed it. Yeah, that was uh, that looked a Hugs. little. Almost. Will you keep track? Yeah, in the hunt counter. <laughs> <laughs> the hunt counter. Of course, yeah. profits are adding up too. Tim even has expansion plans. Give me a hug. And yet, no matter how big he gets, Tim says he will always be indebted to that man who gave him his first oh, hug. Oh boy. He's my superhero and my in inspiration. Oh, he's crying. So I'm happy for you. Oh, yeah. Happy for you, Dad. I don't think any one of us can imagine the time and tears that went into this moment right here. Uh, that made it possible for Keith and Jeannie to walk away from their son and know that he will be all right with or without them. Yeah. Is the reporter crying? Only Tim knows that, which is why this Father's Day, no father in America will be any more appreciated than his. I love my dad so much. Steve Hart. Oh, I wish, oh. I wish I could say that to my dad. I never got to say that one last time to my dad. Uh, uh, but, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I was trying to think of something. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I, I came out of Dayton, Ohio with two <laughs> bad brain lobes and a dream to own a restaurant. <laughs> wow. It's a nice thing I brought to the show. It's very it's a sweet. nice thing. Of course it is. Nice thing. Father's <laughs> Day just passed. Hot Connor! <laughs> <laughs> you think he's just constantly asking? He <laughs> talks about it all the fucking time. After work, think, during work. You think he has a hug counter t-shirt that he sells? Oh, God. Look how many hugs. <laughs> Everyone that comes in. Another hug up on the board. No one wants to hug him? No, oh, they're just like, they come on. They have to. Hug. Hug's on the menu. You got to. They have to because they have a tasty, what was it, a Monto? A Mon Monte Cristo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I have the Monte Cristo? Uh, let me tell you about our specials today. Free hug. <laughs> Free hug. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Before we get started, free hug. You want the hug? He asks. It's all awkward. Now you got to say yes. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, I'd love to go in there and just smash that hug counter with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> just, you, just, you just hate everything nice. I do. I'm terrible.
Oh, God. Now, that's a very sweet story. That is. I, the guy's highly functional. I don't know if that's uh, the correct thing to say. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, man. But, um, yeah, he is. You know, you watch the opening sequence of From Dust Till Dawn <laughs> and get that um, sheriff's take on the whole thing. That's <laughs> 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 hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what fucking have a potato head making my food for me. <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> should be doing that. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking hilarious, that scene. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he gets his brains blown out. Another movie, I gotta say. It's been a while. It's fantastic. Love that one. All right. Uh, yeah, let's see, because I have a new breakfast today. Ooh. Wow, I what went, are you trying today? I went crazy on a Friday. What are you trying today? I don't want today? him getting cold. I decided... Two eggs over easy, motherfucker. Wow. And some toast. Wow, that sounds good. Yeah, it's Friday, right? Friday. 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 Can we get some Intamins? Oh, man, that's crazy. Original? Original what? Original Chocolate what? donuts? No original what? Just original coffee cake. Oh, you want no coffee swirls, cake. no extra crumbs, no, no I remember... fucking chocolate chips in there. What's that? Kevin Pollock had a tough time. Yeah, I remember last year I tried oh. to go get some. Oh, Why don't they just have the regular original? It's very difficult Entin to find regular. that. Entin and Do you pronounce the N in there? Entenmans. 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 Is it Entenmans? There's an. Ent there is an N in there. Is it Entenmans? I don't know. That's how it's spelled. I think. Entenmans. I've said Entenmans my whole life, but there's an. Yeah. And see, look at that N. Entenmans. The fucking place is on Long Island. I've grown up eating that, looking at those boxes all of my life, and I've never noticed the other N. Entenmans. I fucking hate words. <laughs> Stupid they get, words. They get in my way. We can send someone down to the food emporium. Get some entenmans. Get some entenmans. Let's try. It, uh, and, and, and really make sure they know. Just original. That's it. Regular. Don't fucking fancy it up. Don't need to fancy it up. No. Now, if they don't have entenmans, do you want a different kind of coffee <laughs> cake? Entenmans. <laughs> That's going to be in everyone's head now. Uh, Look at that. Drake, do you want a Drake's coffee cake if Look, they don't have entenmans? Yo, Drake. That's a word where that end just doesn't need to be there. No, take it out. Is that a last name? <laughs> I've said that many times. That N doesn't need to be there. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> Entenmans. Entenmans. Oh, yeah. William Entenman yeah, immigrated well, to New York. Well, idiot. Most people, when they came to New York, they fixed up their name nice. <laughs> yeah. They did, though. Shorten it up. Make it easy. They got rid of all that weird foreign shit and made it easy for everybody. Yeah, right there on Ellis Island. Right on Ellis Island. <laughs> you yeah. dropped that N. Fix that shit right up. Frank Sinatra was a weekly customer of his... Entenmans Bakery. <laughs> hey, give me some Entenmans donuts, you fucking creep. I need some for my broad. Hey, what do you I, need? Wanna, I need some Entenmans donuts. <laughs> oh, the Entenmans donuts. <laughs> Entenmans. Entenmans. <laughs> Sammy, you spook. Get me some Entenmans. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me laugh all day. It's so dumb. <laughs> that end's been there the whole time, yeah. though. Tell Ent me about it. Entenmans. Won't leave the stage. It makes you stop it's pronouncing Entenmans. it. You have to stop. Entenmans. Entenmans come blowing in <laughs> from across the sea. Nothing wrong with Frank. I know fucking Jimmy doesn't like the Frank Sinatra, man. Yeah, but who doesn't come like? on. Let's do this. Let's do a little summer wind <laughs> yeah. as we go to break. Uh, Let's do this all nice for everybody. We'll be yes. back. You know what pisses me off about that? There, there were a lot of other guys on the team. Oh, yeah, yeah, And, yeah. and none of those guys, they're, they're completely overshadowed yeah. in the end. Fuck, man. Mike Miller killed him last night. Mike Miller's a three-point uh, shooter there, Ant. Yeah? Specialist. Came off the bench. I think he scored 23 points last night. Is he as good as Buddy Bell? Buddy fucking Bell. Oh, fucking prick. But everyone will just be talking about, uh, you know, LeBron James finally getting his title. Not <clears throat> barely acknowledge anyone else on the team. Even the, even Dwayne Wade and uh, that stupid dinosaur will have to take a back seat to this whole, whole thing. I know the dinosaur. The dinosaur head. Chris uh, Bash. Yeah. In light of everything you've been through in the last two years, what is this moment like for you? Uh, it means everything. Uh, 
You know, I, I made a difficult decision uh, to leave Cleveland, uh, but I understood what my future was about. And I understood that coming to Miami and being a part of this organization and being able to put together this team, I knew we had a bright future. And, uh, you know, this is a dream come true for me. I've been through a lot the last two years, but, uh, you know, this is definitely the way that it pays off. Yeah, uh, been through a lot. And we got to give him full credit. Uh, before the show this morning, we were watching MSNBC and Mike Barnacle was on. hes <clears throat> I guess he's a drunk or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, he talks about how he drinks a lot. I don't know. He I does. Know. I don't know if he's a drunk. It's like that running joke thing. But he had a real moment on TV, which is so weird when it happens. Mm -hmm. He actually stopped that clip and goes, been through a lot. These guys, and with the heavy Boston accent, which I can't do, they, these these guys make $30 million a year. Yeah. What do you mean, been through a been lot? Been through a lot. A been, lot. Been through a lot. A lot. A lot. They make $30 million a year. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you could be through a, a lot if you're making thirty no. uh, thirty million a year. <laughs> so there you go. Con congratulations to King James. Yeah. I I personally don't like him that much, but you know, got to give him credit. Got to give yeah. him credit. Well, you got to give a lot of credit there. I uh, I enjoyed. Oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, I, I follow Mad Dog on Twitter, uh, yeah. and he and he writes, you know, got to give him credit. Oh, on, he does all, all the time, <laughs> and I, I I read every single one of his tweets in his voice. He's giving pe a lot of people <laughs> a lot of credit. I, I, I love him, but he's, he's a strange he's man. Out of his mind. <laughs> he is so strange. <laughs> Gives you big hugs when he sees you. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but his tight fucking slacks. <laughs> That are that pulled hard, up a little high. Hard handshake he's got. I don't know what the fuck's going he's on with him? He's yeah. Nice. He's exhausting to be around. I he's did high uh, energy all the time. All the time. He walks in at 8 in the morning and, and he's on. Yeah. That, oh. That's how he starts. Hey, look who it is. is. Hey, look who it is. How you doing, guys? <laughs> Great to see you. Have a good What are you doing? Stay on the little late for a meeting? Yeah, we are. There was some big sports story and I gave my opinion. And he went from that high energy to, oh, that's good. That's he just okay. lowers it. Oh, oh that's that, good. Yeah, but very like that's good. He was in the moment. Like, oh yeah, in oh, the moment. Yeah, he oh, does. That's good. He takes it down. Takes it down, oh, and then it's back up. That's very, very hey, good. Guys, here they are. How you doing? <laughs> Everything going okay? That's tweeting you good. <laughs> yes, I sir. hate this fucking place like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand rolls. what they're doing around here. He fucking rules. I wish I could do his. Uh, oh, you are. That's a pretty bit. much all there is to it. All right. Yeah. Just uh, turn your R's into V's. And, ah, ah, ah. and then just. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> See, look, LeBron James leads Heat to victory. He did have an amazing uh, finals. Absolutely. But what about the other guys? No one cares. Mike Miller beat Oklahoma last night with his three pointers. Doesn't even matter. It's all about. And who's LeBron. the other guy? Bat, Bat Batier, something like that. Huh? I think his name's Entenmans. Entenmans. <laughs> like see that on the back of a jersey. <laughs> and Entenmans, Entenmans, goes with, yeah, the three pointer. Uh, what I did last night uh, that had to do with the game. Yeah. After it was over. I. Oh, you were still up when it was over. Oh yeah, yeah. How the fuck do you do that? Because I sleep during the day. I sleep. During the day, <laughs> I'm jealous. You got a nap when you get home from right from here. I go the second my car pulls in that driveway. Mm -hmm. You could guarantee I am asleep within 15 minutes. Yeah, that's great. From pulling into my driveway, asleep. I'm too busy walking the streets in New York. When yeah, it's 97 with degrees out, <laughs> brewing your asshole. <laughs> I like the coffee drip. Yes, it's analogy. a drip filter. <laughs> God, I wish Jimmy was here. Uh, he would have appreciated my underwear. Oh, he certainly would. Fuck, I was gonna <clears throat> bag that shit and bring it in. Yeah. Anyway, what did you do after the game? Oh, after the game, I uh, decided to uh, use one of the apps I have on my phone, uh, the police scanner app, and punch oh, up Miami. Wow. And see if there were any shenanigans going on. And there were a few shenanigans. Nothing big that is newsworthy, riot worthy. But it was pretty funny. You're hearing like uh, some of the some of the calls that were coming. Forty nine two. Forty nine two. There is a, um, a gentleman uh, jumping on an automobile. <laughs> Black male, wearing a, a red uh, shirt and uh, blue jeans. Roger, my answer, man. All night long. That's great. That's it. 
yeah, I got a fire. Call for fire. A car fire. All right, I'll take that one. That's all great. night. Yeah. That's better than any TV show you can watch. It was fucking cool as shit. I actually fell asleep to it. Yeah. I just popped the iPhone up on my uh, night table and just left it on. And I was listening to like cool fucking calls. There were a few people going a little crazy, little crazy. A lot of um, a, a little, a few uh, gunfire incidents, uh, some domestics. I guess people getting a little drunk and rowdy. Mm -hmm. Groups of roving teens. It's fun. It brings back the old story, but I I don't mind doing this whole bit again. What's that? The uh, scanner. Oh God! <laughs> we used to go over ants and Ashland, and just sit oh. around and drink beers and listen to the police scanner. Listen to the scanner. And holy fuck, did we hear some great shit? Yeah. Remember the guy that got caught cheating? Oh, was that one great? <laughs> and he was just crying his eyes out, trying to save his marriage. I know, I know, uh, I know, no. I know. That was when the scanners would pick up phones. Right. We'd pick up either. Oh, they don't the, anymore, really? Not really. They kind I didn't of figured that. that out. They fi they'd pick up the um, wireless phones that people had in their house. Because it was such a new antennas. technology, right? Yeah. And then they'd also pick up cell phones. Early cell phones. Yep. They'd pick up cell phones. So we would get conversations of these people just that were around the neighborhood it was for the wireless because i was in an apartment complex so the wireless phones that were in your uh, house right. i'd get all those and then the cell phones i'd get if people were in the general area it was amazing remember some of the shit Fucking remember the great. one we got s really scared because we didn't know what the fuck the guy was up to shenanigans it sounded like he was doing maybe a little uh job if you know what i yeah, mean for yeah. somebody there were a lot of those things. The one of the best fucking times though was uh, the interactive one, yeah, of course. where we realized that the person on the phone was right downstairs from me. Right, they were the apartment right below me, and right. we were listening to her phone call. Right, so we started making it interactive, and and we started like throwing things at her slider because right. I could go out on my patio and lean over it a little and toss change, and it would hit her sliding glass door. Right. So she was on the phone, and we're listening, and we start doing that. And she goes, I'm hearing something at my door. Well, i got to stop you for a second, a little, just back up slightly. It was a guy trying to get a little booty. Right, he was going to make a... Uh, he was trying to make a booty a call, and booty she's call. like, she, was all, she, she wasn't in, interested. No. So, so we, we started just uh, uh, making noises at her door. Well, we started with stomping. Yeah, we and was, then and you got to hear what she thought of you guys, was, which was hilarious. Fucking people upstairs having a party again. <laughs> all they uh, do is party upstairs. So all I hear is them banging around. They jump. They walk around like they got cement on their feet. So next thing you know, we're jumping up and down as hard as we can. She goes, oh, I can't take this. And then didn't uh, didn't Jay go down to the door, knock on our front door, and run away? <laughs> yeah. There's someone knocking at the door. Hold on. There's no one there. I'm really scared. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then you started throwing rocks. Throwing rocks at her door. <laughs> so we throw rocks at my window. It was interactive. And then, you know, I guess we don't have to do the whole story, but long story short, next thing you know, this woman is begging the guy that she didn't want to come over to come over. So that we definitely got a guy laid that night. Yes! Exactly. God, that was fun. I, I didn't realize you, you can't pick up the cell phones anymore. Uh, no, no, they fucking changed that whole thing, the frequency. It was all analog, too, and uh, now it's digital, all the phones, so it's harder to pick up with a scanner like that. It's, right, right. Yeah, but it was fun while it lasted. Yeah, sure. we heard that, that guy and the, his wife caught him cheating, and uh, they were going to break up, and he just started crying on the phone. We were cracking up. <laughs> I was like, and you cheated on me. And he's like, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> he's, I, I never forget that line. We that, were rolling that laughing. That is a perfect impression. You're not you're not overdoing it at all. That's exactly how the guy sounded. I know. And now you're gonna have to you're gonna have to now live with what you did to yeah. me and our family. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Just a blubbering <laughs> idiot. <laughs> And then there was another one, the woman that was talking about how she was having an anxiety attack. And, uh, I don't remember this one. And, yeah, she talked about how she was driving, having a, an anxiety attack, and had to go to the bathroom. And the husband's trying to calm her down. And she's like, I can't go down. Oh, my God, it's coming out. It's coming out. She's talking, <laughs> she was turtling as she's driving home. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is hilarious. 
Uh, uh, but you got to listen to police scanners. Those are still yeah. cool to listen to, I guess. Yeah. Well, with the uh, with the apps on the iPhone, it's amazing. You could just pull up any city in the country, in the world, really. Right. So you just find, you know, there's certain ones I have favorited. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in Los Angeles, you got to go with the sheriff's department. And um, New York, I usually go with the precincts in uh, in uh, Harlem and the Bronx, where there's a little action. Mm -hmm. eh, places like that. You know, there's a common denominator. You in ever the... do your local? Yeah. That w I think that would be uh, the most fun. Oh, it's great. Here's what uh, I hear. <laughs> Not <laughs> uh, 1403, uh, taking a break. 1403. Nothing, huh? Not even a cat in a tree? Yeah, uh, cat in a tree. Oh, it's a black cat. Forget it. <laughs> kitten, I should have said, I guess. A little right? cat. No one gives a fuck if a cat's in a tree, but a kitten. I am still uh, pretty crazy uh, with the goddamn uh, cat videos. <laughs> Of course. I, I, but it's such a, you know, everybody says it's such a faggy thing to, to look at. There was one. It's like Munchkin is screaming very loud or something. Munchkin, something about little Munchkin talking. Oh, Munchkin talking. Is that it? Munchkin kitten right there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Turn. Um, <laughs> it's just... It's adorable. He's just walking around. The camera's at like floor level. Walking in front of the little munchkin. And he's just meowing. Oh! No! Why do I... <laughs> Why do I try so hard on my videos? This has four million views. Four million views, and, and, it's, it's, and nothing's going on. It's just a kitten doing what a kitten does, walking around and meowing. Is, is that thing adorable? Look at him! Ah! <laughs> oh! That's all it does. <laughs> That's it. Four million views and no dislikes. It's the cutest thing What's in the wrong? world. What's wrong with people? Little Munchkin. Uh, we got to do uh, kitten video day. I'm, I'm telling you. Ah, uh, we have to. I'm kitten telling day. you. Just kittens here on the show. We'll hold them. We'll. Well, we got to like uh, make this look like it could be a home, though. Yeah. Radio station videos don't do well because people go, "Oh, it's from a radio station." But we got to well, We we can put little cat toys on the floor yeah, we and stuff. Little shit. scratching posts. How, can and, we take up the the fishbowl? Oh, bring a, a whole bunch of kittens. Ki just load the whole thing up and with then, kittens to try to get a great and weird, video. And just weird kitten shit, like cups and stuff, yeah. whatever the fuck they like. And a lot of camera angles that are very low to the floor right. with the kitten's face right in the camera. Right. Oh, my God, look at this thing. Let's do a kitten video. Three and a half million. Three and a half, but 3.6 million. Just because the kitten is a little views. confused? Yeah. Jesus. It's playing with a little fucking toy and, and it's looking cute and fluffy. Unbelievable. That's it, huh? Kitten videos are what fucking the internet is all about. That is so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got to get Sam in here because. Um, Cam. The bus monitor who was bullied is on um, a lot of TV shows. She is making the rounds, and, uh, oh, there are people are loving her. Oh, my God. What happened to the little ears? It's a Scottish fold. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was scared or something. <laughs> That's all it's doing? It's, it's up on its, its hind legs, and it's standing. It's so mad. And it's, no, it's a Scottish fold. Its ears it's look not like mad. that. Oh, so you silly. should get a kit in it. No. Get a kitten. No, because then they throw into they grow into cats, and I have to put them in a burlap sack with weights. <laughs> throw them in my pool. Jesus. <laughs> um, Sam. Yeah? I want you, because I know I'm not going to do it justice, I want you to repeat what you said to me as you were handing in this audio from the bus monitor. I said that we are so lucky that we could not get the bus monitor on the air yesterday. Yeah. Because we would have ended up bullying her. <laughs> She's frustrating. She is the worst Ugh. interview I've ever heard on any show. Really? The worst. And that's the big difference because she was on, I watched her on Anderson Cooper last night. Yeah. I watched her on Fox and Friends yesterday morning. Fox and Friends was live. And after watching that, you can plainly tell that Anderson Cooper's interview was heavily edited. Heavily. Because of all the pauses. Right. And all the sort of, because she doesn't answer questions. Let me tell you something. I'm starting to think these kids were on to something. <laughs> 
from just from seeing her in very limited, uh, uh, very limited way on television, and the fact that she's now got just about a half a million dollars donated to her, and now she's making the round. She's the fucking you know the it woman of of uh, news right now. Right. I can't stand her. Yeah. I felt bad for her yesterday. Now I'm just like, ah, good for the kids. She, why are the uh, once again? Uh, why are we the only show that points this shit out? Uh, she doesn't seem terribly upset by anything. No, I Any honestly, <clears throat> I, I have I, a feeling I, that the kids knew what they could do yes. with this woman because so, when you go, when you do go to school, there are those kind of cool yes. teacher or people that you know are more accepting. That's of what I saw kinda, this woman as being. Kind of some of that edgy shit. She was laughing we, at a few t points during that video when she was being harassed and bullied. We, she was kind of smirking and like, like, oh, you kids. Like, she, like she enjoys that because she knows they're dumb kids. They're just having fun. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I guess you're not that, supposed to bully fucking people. But, but I think that's it. What's but there's going more on to this story is all I'm saying. Yes. I don't think she really cared. And I don't think it had no. a major imp Like, it happened on a Monday. I don't think she lost any sleep on Monday night. No, or she's any appetite. Sleep now, <laughs> no. <Fat ass>. she's, <laughs> she's got a half million fucking dollars, and and trust me, it'll go to a million. And now, what did this I hear? This will go to a million. What else is she getting, Travis? Because well, that was that was Anderson Cooper. Wait, wait, hey, yeah, that's the oh, big. Is it? Yeah, oh, let's okay. not let's not blow the surprise. Oh, good. She's, she's raised. She's gotten another uh, five thousand dollars in the last twenty minutes since I went to her page. What the fuck? Ah, oh, she's so hateable. Yeah, I don't like Five, this woman at all. So in 20 minutes? Yeah. Why aren't people realizing this yet? Because they're still donating. It's enough money. And there's all people right. that are just for the first time ever seeing her on TV, seeing the video, yeah. and being like, oh, we have to donate to this poor woman. Yeah, watch this. This will this will get close to a million, I'm thinking. Oh, my God. It'll be another oh, big day of donations. Man. Yeah, she's hateable. And the kids should get some of this money. She wouldn't get anything if it wasn't for the kids. And I like sewer. That's true. That's sewer for the, some of the money. I'm a big fan of these uh, people that get famous for really weird shit. Yeah. Like, she's famous because people were pointing out her fucking flab and, and actually poking it. Poking at her. So uh, now when you see her, that's what you have to remember. That's why she's famous. And I can't wait yeah. till she's on one of these shows a year from now where they're chronicling how she is broke and spent all and spent a million dollars so. within four months. Oh, what are we doing? Or you find out she's what a really she is, she's you find out she's broke. a despicable person. Uh, <laughs> she's going to she's going to invest in someone's coffee company that they have made oh. up. They're going to steal all I, of her money. She donates to the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> they said they were knights. I didn't know. They're very good. They, they know they're just nice gullible. people and they're just trying to keep the colors out. <laughs> she just turns into a despicable person. <laughs> no, no, they're not all bad, but some. <laughs> oh, how great. Some or most. Most. I, <laughs> Why don't we? Uh, I haven't heard her voice yet. Believe it or not. Uh, let's. Uh, I heard uh, it on this. This, you know, but it, it's tough to hear. Let's delve into the original this video. Wonderful woman. Now here she is on Fox and Friends. Good morning to you, Karen. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Oh God. <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> Hi. Is she frustrating, Sam? She is beyond right. I couldn't <laughs> believe. <all> the <laughs> and like you could tell that the segment was longer than they had intended. Right. Because she was taking so long to get to the point on oh, any questions. Answer the question. And she didn't even Hi. I'm sure you know it I'm sure it's hard to watch that video. Try to describe how the kids started to bully you oh. this past Monday there on bus number seven eighty four. Well, uh, they actually started out a while ago, but I didn't write a referral for them. They um, would mock out my hair, mock out anything they could think of, but they didn't get vicious like they did on Monday. <laughs> they used... So I, I, <laughs> wow. She, she won't even give the... Like, they're obviously just looking for sound bites because this is the story. Yeah. She wouldn't even give them the sound bites. No. She allowed this for a while. Yeah. She just said they made fun of her for months and she never even wrote a referral. No, not even one referral. Because they were mocking out her hair. <laughs> mocking <laughs> out my hair. <laughs> they used so every I, dirty oh. word I have ever heard to describe you. And you just sat there. You, you know, you, if it would have been me, I would have wanted to spank him. But you just spank? sat whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. Calm down. What's wrong with you? Oh my Which God. one is that? The blonde yeah, guy? Yeah, that guy. Oh, 
What's his name? The older man. Oh, he wants to spank uh, teenage sp boys. Spank some yeah. teen boys. Yeah. When you if say, "I were you," I would have taken their penises in my mouth and <laughs> right. taught them a lesson. <laughs> Who the fuck says spank? You want to spank fifteen-year-olds? You fucking creep. See, he's so when you say, "As a man, I would have wanted to belt them, belt them," yeah, say something. Old you say it in a way where maybe you, you know, you're not going to get right. in trouble for saying it. And he's so worried about people thinking that he wants to beat up kids that he's okay with saying things like he, like it sounds like he wants to. Say Sexually abuse kids. Yes, instead of beating them, it sounds like he wants to sexually abuse them. <laughs> I'd take this kid in the shower and have a soap battle with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spank him, but you just sat there and took it. Why? <laughs> I... What? <laughs> I don't like confrontations like that. Oh. I didn't want to do anything to hurt anybody. That wouldn't have looked good either. You know, uh... I probably would have been fired, actually, if I'd have done anything violent. So I just oh. restrained myself, and I tried to pretend that they weren't doing this. Oh, that worked I've out for you. I've escaped a lot of my life oh. and trying to let things go, you know? Half a million dollars. I understand. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't understand one fucking at, bit, do at, you? At this point, you're like, holy fuck, this is going to be a long interview. Because, uh, because when kids are yelling at you, there's two options. Either start swinging or sit silently. There's yeah. no there's no in-between. No. <laughs> I understand. At one point, one of the kids said you didn't have a family because they all killed themselves oh, boy. because <laughs> they didn't want to be... Why am I laughing? Oh, boy. <laughs> It's black comedy, right? Oh, of course is that why is. we're laughing? Yeah, we're laughing just, for a different reason. It's just horrible. Yeah. I think it's just how he says it. They all killed themselves <laughs> because they didn't want to be near to you. Ah, he's and that was her. particularly yeah, harmful because your oldest son took his life 10 years ago. Well, you know, Aunt, I, I know you said that as a sort of a joke, but he he's doing what the kids did right. for a different reason. His job now is to make her so sad with what uh, they said to her, that she will now cry if in front she, of his face. Right. If she cries on camera, that's great that's for them. That's exactly what and he's going for. that's what he's doing. He don't give a fuck about this lady. He's no. like, okay, we got this uh, lady. It's a big story in the news. My job now is to make her cry. Do you realize how fucking great that would be for him if he got her crying and he was able to go, there, that's that's okay. Right, right. It's okay. Take, take as much time as you need. Right. That's all right. Oh, isn't that the... Yeah. See what the bullying does here, people? Do you see what it does? To, oh, what a despicable You're person. You're so right, because they're the yeah. reason they cry, and then they comfort them, and you want to say, hey, asshole, the only reason she's crying is because you made her cry. Because you fucking brought it all up you again. You sick fuck. Could have been like a little more kids. delicate with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your oldest son took his life ten years ago. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, huh? That's it? That was supposed to be a big fucking no, moment they, for her. That's exactly oh, correct. That's right. Now, you made f they made fun of um, your weight. Your weight. Now, since you are a fat ass, do you think <laughs> that they had any right? <laughs> yep. Now, your saggy tits. <laughs> Instead of crying, she's responding with, yes, that is factual. Yes. Yeah, great. The son took his life ten years ago. Right. <laughs> yeah. I did not hear that part then. But, yeah. I mean, it was uncalled for, that's for sure. It's uncalled for. Everything they said. Absolutely uncalled for. When I look at it, uh, they seem like monsters to me. What should happen to these kids? Oh, they're not monsters. I don't know what's going to happen for sure, but I know there are so many upset people all over the world about this, <laughs> and and all. I've turned the corner. I she have just how awful oh, is she? I all over the world. These aren't the questions he's asking. No. Uh, just a terrible interview. It's just a tough spot to be. Wow. In. What do you think? She, you know what? They she, always made the bus monitors and the hall monitors those kind of crazy women. Right. They they were always a little off to be. They couldn't be the the teachers or you know anybody of real authority. They just kind of put a body in there.
A little crazy. The kids were brutal. To a step know. down from the lunch lady. She looks like a lunch lady. And then we're mad that she's not media savvy. She's <laughs> <laughs> uh, thrust us. into the public eye <laughs> within right. one day. And we're pissed off. For being bullied. And we're mad at her because she doesn't know how to fucking she conduct an interview. To, she doesn't know how to answer a question properly on live TV. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with her? <laughs> hey, fuck her a million and, bucks. And it all comes down to them. And what happens with them. And happens. I don't know what will happen. I haven't heard anything happen. yet. Well, if they're this rotten at this age, just wait until they become grown-ups. I mean, I certainly don't want them to go to jail for this. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> she can at least wow. have a conversation. I'm not saying you have to know how to be TV savvy. That is true. But this is, this is obviously a woman you can't speak to. But thinking on your feet there, dummy. He's a Horrible interviewer. He is. He's on Fox and Friends. I love how they just waited, though. Yeah. It's like, let's see how long she's going to take to even <laughs> answer this, if she ever does. And it wasn't an emotional pause. It was just her kind of no. staring. <laughs> Karen talks about the parents and the money she got. What, what about the parents? What about the parents? Uh, has anybody reached out to you from, from the kids who are, who are involved in this? Has anybody apologized to you? Bottle doodle. Yet. Not yet. I don't think they've all been interviewed yet. Um, just one boy that I know of. And apparently he wrote an apology to Athena and one to me. Goddess? Of course, I haven't gotten it yet, but... Well, time will tell. What is yeah. she saying? <laughs> well, I know that ever since this video, and What's it's up, 10 Tina? minutes long, went on the internet, it has gone viral. And so many what people have, have just sick. watched it, and their hearts have broken for you. I understand some blogger decided, you know what? This woman sat there, took it. She is poorly paid by the school district i believe you make fifteen thousand dollars a year Righteous as a bus bucks. monitor <laughs> so what they've done is somebody came up with the idea let's send her on a nice vacation and i just checked the website and this particular blogger uh... has uh, attracted so many people to it they have raised a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars that they want to put in your hand oh. that you could is that that was yesterday. That was yesterday. It's so now four hundred and twenty-three thousand dollars. Four hundred and fifty-three thousand dollars. If she makes fifteen thousand dollars a year, that's thirty years worth of salary. Yeah. Holy shit! I would take a bullying for that. Oh yeah. Easily. I can take an ass since, beating. Since this segment started, she's made eight hundred dollars. Oh Damn man. Damn it. It's just. It's just, it's uh, ridiculous. way more than me. Sleepy oh, Joe yeah, Five and on the Twitter Not writes, right, "I really hate being it. this guy, but if she suffered her whole life, then she deserves all the money she gets, and I don't like her." It's a weird thing here. I mean, the kids were, were fucking brutal. Oh, they were. But, but they, now we're just kind of making fun of the just, fact that she's kind of just a. Uh, yeah. She's a lump just sitting <laughs> there just trying to fucking interview a fucking a wart. Yeah, but maybe I could put, like, a YouTube video of you guys making fun of me and finally get some cake, you know what I mean? Ah, yes. Like, making fun of my yeah. Google skills or something. Yeah. Did you have a video go You're viral yesterday, by the way? Somewhat viral. It was on Fox Nation. Why? It was my interview with the Miss USA pageant. Contestants. But they said it was awkward or something, and I yeah. watched most of it. I didn't see anything awkward. At 4 minutes and 28 seconds, there's a fantastic awkward silence. Because mm. I asked them... If they got upset when girls were just dumb as bricks. <laughs> dumb as bricks. <laughs> and they just stared at me for ah, like good. five long seconds. Really? Yeah, it was funny. Well, let's find that part. 428. Um, Put in your hand um, that you could either take a big vacation or maybe retire tomorrow. Oh, my God. It, it's unbelievable. I just don't. It's wonderful. I, I, I would like to thank all these people, but it's really not possible when they do it through Facebook. I just want to make a general statement. Thank you, everybody, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Throw mama from the train, money, lady. It's the <laughs> people themselves yes, yes. that I appreciate. So, how oh, Owen! She's on CNN right now, man. Oh, this, my God. She's going to hit a million dollars. 
There's no stopping. You like thing. butter because it's all fucking lard. <laughs> <laughs> These kids, they were horrible. Just like cruel. in their jokes, I mean. <laughs> their jokes were terrible. <laughs> yeah. They should come up with better material. They try to end the interview. Karen doesn't take the hint. Well, you know what, what? Karen? <laughs> you know what? People realize what? you just cannot bully somebody else like that. And that's why so many people are outraged. And that's why so many people have contributed. And for the viewers right now, if you'd like to contribute oh, to uh, Karen's trip of a lifetime, go to Indiegogo.com backslash love for Karen H. Klein. Karen Klein, joining us today from Rochester. Thank you very much. I have a lot of places for the money. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, yeah, I do. All right. Oh, my God. I can pay all my credit cards. My oh, card. no, I know. <laughs> well, 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 good luck to you, and thank you very much for sharing your story with us today, Karen. All right, straight ahead on Fox and Clinton. Wow. Hilarious. She t oh, my God. They, this, they did have the sweeper and everything. A little sounder. Switch on to the next thing. Right. I, I got, got a lot of places. Pleasure. 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 Oh, wow. I don't know. Her Q factor is going down oh, by look. the day. I believe they did that and oh. had this sense of regret. I mean, it reminds you of those, you know, psychological experiments. Right. You, you, you know, you, How far uh, people will go. How far people go, and, you know, especially teenagers, middle but school. Bullying the bullies is not exactly the solution to right. stop exactly. bullying. Quick numbers. Yeah. Margaret's yeah. had two million views of right. that YouTube video and over half a million dollars, about half a million dollars donated. Yeah. That means a quarter from everyone that's watched. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. All right, still ahead on Starting Point this morning. It's not awesome. I, I quite frankly don't think she deserved that much fucking money. That's true. You don't get a five hundred thousand dollars if you suffered all your life. That doesn't. That doesn't. That, that that guy's wrong. Well, you know, she's just because you right, had a hard life doesn't mean well, you have to get the right place at the right time. People bash on her, and you know she fucking took it and sat there. There are people that have been through so much worse than that. She that ain't making a dime. She deserves sixty grand. You think sixty G's is uh, sixty grand? That, I don't even think sixty grand. I'd I'm, I'd I'm give thinking, her a year's salary. Fifteen. <laughs> Well, that's ain't a year's salary. That's a lot. Sixty grand ain't going to happen. I'll tell you what. what? I'll give you 10000 right now, cash money. There's just no market for bullying <laughs> victims. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get people coming in All here. right, look. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to bring in a friend. He's an expert <laughs> on these situations. And he'll let me know how much bullying like this is really worth. But the dude said I should get $400,000. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> that ain't going to happen, son. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Half a million dollars ain't even close to what I'm thinking. I'm thinking more like 5000 <laughs> That's her... cash. No PayPal, no website. Cash money. <laughs> cash money. I'd give her a year. you give her 15 Gs. That's a year's salary. That's yeah. nice. For a good bullion? Yeah. This, I think Ant's right. I think there's people out there fucking pissed off because they've suffered way more. Yeah. And I can't wait for the second because there's always a second person that's going to... The copycat one. That, that's going to get bullied <laughs> and then they're going to put the same shit up and no one's going to care anymore. No one will care. This is Cause, the cause 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 that, du jour. Because as a society, we will we always just move on. What happened to Coney? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. yeah. See? This Coney. Is the, these, we, we, as a society now with this social media, we have our cause du jour. It's, it's like just... It's, yeah. Yes, slacktivism. Uh, bus we, monitors are just going to start walking onto the buses <laughs> with their underwear sticking out of their pants <laughs> and <laughs> toilet paper Open. on their just shoes. Just trying to but look fucking <laughs> buttons all buttons sideways. Hey, hey. But yeah. they're all fucked. The videos won't do well. No, Nothing no. will happen. Try to I, stage it. Fuck, social media, we care about shit for maybe 24 hours, and then we yeah. move on to something It, it really is 24, 24 hours. hours. It, it's like, and then it goes away. Right. The bus monitor comes on with a new kids on the block shirt. Hey kids, is this band still cool? Mm -hmm. what I'm, do you cool guys think? I'm cool like you youngins. Look at me. I, no. Get out your video cameras. Oh God, just doesn't work. No. no. I'm starting to think that Bieber's never going to be uh, a man. Why no, he's not? He's growing into a woman. I think he yeah, has a, really, a really good chance of being a lesbian. Yeah, he, he kind of looks that way. He, he's starting to get a little too old, and he's still still looking a little uh, awkward androgynous. Face. Awkward face. You're very right. He might be androgynous. The problem is, as he gets older, he actually looks more like Rachel Maddow. Oh. Oh, when fuck he, yeah. When he was a kid, it was like, okay, he hasn't hit puberty yet, but he's like 18, yeah. 19 years old. Well, he needs uh, some whiskers. But he's shaving his face, keeping it clean, so the girls still so think the, he's the young bastard. girls, uh, yeah, right. come on to him still. He's got yeah. hair on his balls, though, for sure. He's got to have hairy balls <laughs> at this point in his life.
Yeah. yeah. Um, wow. Um, then, do you want to watch Sam's awkward thing? That no, you sure. Okay. You guys are all... very important. Yeah, it is, but you all three are by far good looking enough to just get by on that. Oh. Yeah, at some point, but if you make your money now, you know what I mean, you'll have it. Like, does it, then does it frustrate you to see good looking women that don't educate themselves that are just dumb as bricks? <laughs> oh, man. Are there questions that you worry wow. about? Wow, they all just there? looked <laughs> like... What was that look, dude? Like, oh, I hope I don't, I don't have to comment on this, because this is... Uh, like. That was polar awkward part. Wow, that, they should have just played that. I didn't get to that part of the video. Man, Man, what, what are you that? thinking? But that's what you should have thrown out there. I don't They're know. just staring at you. It says it in the description. That's great. That really is good. What was it? Fucking not cool, bro? What was it? <laughs> not was... cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, fucking lame, bro. Oh, that was that, that, was that question there, Sam. Come Come fucking lame, fucking bro. lame, bro. Fucking lame, bro. So this uh, bus monitor... Ended up on Anderson Cooper. <sighs> Making the rounds. We thought we were done. But it, you can even hear it in this clip. He recorded the interview earlier in the day. And so you can hear... The edits? Oh, yeah. yeah even it's got to be edited. Huh? And the whole thing was like this. <laughs> I know you know about the, the money that's been raised. It's been donated by people uh, around the country and probably around the world. We've just learned one other thing that you don't know about. Southwest Airlines reached out to us today. They've been extraordinarily touched by your story. They wanted us to let you know that they'd like to send you and nine people to Disneyland in California for three nights, airfare, hotel, uh, and car all included. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, why, why? Sounds like one of those interviews where you take clips and then you make the question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like Kenny's with Gaga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Ant's on to something. People really suffer out there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she got bullied and it was horrible and something should be done, of course. But now it's way over the top. And now it's just to get your name out there, like Southwest Airlines, right. Disneyland. Like, why does this fat fuck want to go to Disneyland? And she doesn't know any nine people. No. Ten of her going to Disneyland. <laughs> she could take the fucking kids on the bus. Could you see she fucking like just takes all the kids on the bus and they relentlessly pound her from the plane trip? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking small world after all, except for you, fat ass. Hey, uh, Dumbo. And, and listen. <laughs> look, hey, look, the Dumbo ride. Look, why don't you just get up there? Oh, you're up there already. We know about Southwest. If they're giving her and nine people... Uh, a oh, truck airfare to Disney. Yeah, they're gonna need to give her more than one plane ticket. Yes, and, and, you know how that is. Fat people, they kick them off with Southwest. And Ant's right; these companies jump on board because now they're getting free fucking advertising. Advertising. They don't give a fuck about her. No. Oh, they see an opportunity, which you know, why not? Everybody, let's sit over on the other side of the plane so it levels out because fat ass is over there. <laughs> uh, she's just stop it. Have they just bullying her relentlessly, poking her ears, fucking yeah. Poking her fucking Mickey Mouse ears that she's got on. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking big ears for your big fucking gut. Which one are you, Tweedle Dumb? Yeah, you're Tweedle Dumb Fuck. <laughs> Tweedle Cunt. Tweedle All Dumb right. as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which hotel room are you staying at? I'm going to piss on your door. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Airfare, hotel, uh, and car all included. you got to be kidding me. Oh, there's the edit. It's awesome. Nine people? <laughs> Do you have nine people you'd want to bring? Oh, that was obvious. Yes. <laughs> My family. Right. Minus a couple. <laughs> oh, hey, you just hey. bullied somebody. <laughs> That's not nice. Bullying her family. She That's just not bullied very her nice. own family. What's wrong with her? Jesus. Not very nice at all. No. Just a couple. <laughs> wow, that, that's too much. Did you ever expect this kind of, of, of support? No. Never. I mean, I don't feel like I've done anything. Oh, hey, tinker shit. You know? <laughs> that's what's awesome. It's the pausing that drives you nuts. Oh, now. man, is she annoying. Very frustrating. And now she gets a trip to Disneyland with nine of nine people she knows. And half a million bucks. I gotta go on the record here. I really do. Uh -huh. I am a hundred percent behind the kids now on this one. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. I don't even fucking have any sympathy for this woman at all anymore. 
And I feel like all the nasty things, like that newscaster said the kids were rotten. Yeah. And all the terrible things Bullying. that have been said about these kids. Maybe we should start a website. Should donate to these poor kids that have oh now just been... Oh, my God. <laughs> they've been put on the news. How do we yeah. do that? Just start an Indiegogo page. Set out an, let's set How up an do account do this? for the kids because they've been called horrible things on TV news. Yeah. Oh and, and you know what that does psychologically? God. They were just being kids on the bus. I mean, that newscaster not only called them rotten, but said he wants to spank them. He thinks about yes. spanking them. Really? Violence against them. Mm -hmm. Something maybe it's sexual. Uh, the mental uh, 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 anguish they must be feeling because they're just being persecuted. How do we write up this page? Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> this get, sign up. get that fucking page. And let's get a press and then release. Once out we there. get enough money, then we can set up a page for ourselves. Right, right. No, we're taking we're we're taking our taste. We're taking ten percent, not like this idiot of everything yeah. that the kids the, will the get kids forty percent. It's called an administration <laughs> fee. Right. <laughs> you can tell when the story is on the news because it pops. Right. Yeah. Holy How much shit. now? She's made. She's made a couple thousand since we started talking about her. Yeah. She's made over two thousand dollars since we started talking about her at seven thirty. Refresh again. Uh, Let me see what this shit. does. Shit. Refresh. Four four three. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it, I might it, refresh it takes, every yeah, yeah, like every yeah, minute yeah, yeah. or so. All right. Well, there you go. Raised of five thousand dollar goal. I guess he wanted five thousand dollars. His goal, goal. five thousand dollars. Holy yeah. shit. He is bummed that he didn't take his taste. <laughs> he thought five grand. Give it to her. Hey, man. Yeah, I mean, he would get taxed on that. Is but... she going to get, like, the giant check? <laughs> hey, the check's as big as your fat ass. <laughs> that check for your pocket because your pants are so big, chubby. Ah, well, you're crying? Crying out of the top of your eyes? You... Or is that lard leaking out of your head? You fucking idiot. <laughs> Kids were awful. <laughs> oh, they were awfully great. But they made her a ton of cash. They did. Our life is completely... You know what that shit life would have been if those kids were quiet and didn't say anything? She'd been on that dumbass fucking bus. She's fucking sitting there. You should. We should be praising the kids. Yeah, they, they, they made someone's life up. better. They hooked her up using social media. Right. Yeah. See, imagine that they had it uh, and they knew this was going to happen. Yet they have to keep quiet about it so as not to look like they knew. Mm -hmm. But they were like all got together and had a meeting the day before this, and said we're going to do something that's going to make everyone love this woman and have sympathy for her, and we'll sacrifice ourselves for this. And then they did it. She should be starting college oh, funds for those yes, kids. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, Christ. Joe DeRosa is outside the studio. Yes, he is. Lovely and talented, today. Joe DeRosa. Any other guests? in uh, New York City. Might have uh, Tammy Pescatelli in today, too. I saw her in the lobby. Oh, I love the Pescatelli. My mother used to make it <laughs> melt in your fucking mouth, that Pescatelli. She's from Chicago, so maybe we can learn about Chicago Chicago, finally. some deep dish pizza, We're maybe. obsessed with Chicago lately. Hey, a little obsessed there about the deep dish pizza. <laughs> pizza. You want, you want some Intenmans? I Chicago want some guy? of that Intenmans. <laughs> Intenmans coffee cake is a really good uh, stuff there to stuff down your fucking throat <laughs> after having a deep dish pizza. <laughs> what happened to that coffee cake? Uh, yeah, what the fuck is it? It's always a problem when we ask for it. Eric it's says they don't have fun. any. Yeah, uh, because they have to fucking fancy it up. Yeah, you want some strudel on it with some of those uh, swirls and no, I just swizzles. want that. They like to swizzle it up. Swizzle, swizzle. I don't like anything that's drizzled on. Drizzle or swizzle. Mix it thoroughly and then dr drizzle on top. <laughs> drizzle it. <laughs> I don't want it drizzled. Fuck that. Everything that's drizzled looks like cum. <laughs> you don't drizzle anything unless it looks like yeesh. Oh, by the way, I read a lot of tweets. By the way. I want to thank everyone for uh, reaching out, saying Wait. the Billy Corgan, and I said Corgan a few times, we're an asshole, uh, that they enjoyed the Billy Corgan interview. They yesterday. certainly did. They really yeah. seemed to enjoy that one. And you I, know what? I appreciate all the nice tweets about that. It was it was exactly, a lot of people thought exactly like I did, that he was going to come in here, be the too cool for the room, kind of mysterious, mm -hmm. evasive uh, rock guy. And he turned out to be so fucking cool that he absolutely could have hung the whole show and it would have just been yeah. great. And he was surprised he had to leave. I think yeah, he was surprised yeah. that the time went by so fast because he he looked at me like, are you, are you kicking me out? And I'm like, no, your people no. are saying you got a fucking flight to catch. Hollywood. He looked like he would have hung another hour easily. I'm off to Holly Rock. Yeah, so I read all the tweets. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. We uh, we appreciate it. that one. Mm. That one uh, went real well. Yeah, that was a good one. 
All right, Joe DeRozan next. Stay yeah. there. Serious XM. This is the OP and Anthony Show. What happened, Eric? Oh, Iraq. What happened? Supposed to bring us back in professional fashion. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, that what happened? Good. Silence. The rejoiner was there, and it disappeared right Thank as you. it played. Really? Oh, thank you. I think someone hit the, you, the delete button. No. I think someone no, needs a spanking. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Wow. If I was, if I was you, I would have, I would have given them a spanking. Give them a spanking. You know, I know, I know. There's parents out there that still do that spanking shit. There's, it's con, it's connected to some kind of sexuality. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> spanking is fucking creepy. Well, it depends on how you do it. Oh, yeah, I used to get quite a sound thrashing, and there was nothing sexual about it whatsoever, believe me. When you had to pull your little pants down? That was early, early on. That just goes with the degrading part of it. it makes the parent the real, you know, it gives them the upper hand in the whole relationship early on. Right. Where they're like, you know, it's like, oh, man, he's I'm being degraded. It's like a, a fucking POW camp. Yeah. And they're the guards, and you're the prisoner. It's like, you got to do whatever they say. Pull your pants down. Like, eh. that's not, uh, eh. that's not, uh, reduce the experience of the POWs uh, to well, a spanking in the kitchen. You know what? <laughs> I meant the principle of it, the ideology behind wearing someone down. I gotcha. I literally I mean, mean that he was, they were, uh, you know, my dad and mom were starving me to death. And yeah. perhaps, uh, it's just like a gas chamber. It's, it's exactly, exactly like it. Joe DeRosa in studio. Yes. Guys. Joe, Joe uh, back in New York full time. How yeah. long were you gone? Two months. That was two months, wow. huh? Two months, but I, I was on the show. standing on my head. But you were yeah. on the show like, you were on the show <laughs> every week. Yeah. I was on the show <laughs> twice, I know. Yeah, it's, what the fuck? It's so funny. I was talking to this girl, uh, a friend of mine last night, and she goes, uh, she goes, what are you doing tomorrow? And I go, oh, I'm doing Opie and Anthony in the morning. I'm excited. I go, I haven't, haven't seen the guy since I left. Well, I was on the one time. But that was no, I was on Twitter. Well, no, no, like three times. Yeah, you know what? It's really not that special. It's not that big a deal, <laughs> right? And everything's going well for Joey. Moved back to New York. His uh, his mom's doing very well. My mom is a hundred percent healthy, hundred ten percent healthy. Back at work, full time, driving, oh, doing everything great. again on her own. She's and and I said this the last time I was in, but let me say it now that if everything's officially over, I can't thank uh, all of you at the show enough for how sincere you guys were when i talked to you off the air about this stuff and the fans man you guys are amazing the fans people were emailing and tweeting me every still i'm still getting emails where it's like first thing that everybody says is, hey dude i hope your mom's cool man oh, hope man. you're good and then when are you coming to poughkeepsie or whatever yeah really yeah wow yeah we, we, we <laughs> astounded kind of, everybody i was showing my <laughs> mom the messages she was wow you know, that's cool. it, was, it was it was awesome man let's, let's bring some positivity into the show yeah yeah oh, a little so, positive so, note so joe looks at me goes, well there it guys. was <laughs> <laughs> well that's that yeah that's my point because then joe goes yeah everything's going so well i moved back to new york mom's doing well you think we can keep it kind of positive today <laughs> yeah yeah can we try good. something a little different All's good. Instead uh, of beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. yeah everything's <laughs> exciting. And fucking now that we now yeah, now that that's out of the way, you know who's a fucking cunt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, have you ever oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, we gotta write a note. Yeah. Well, this is exciting. Have you ever mentioned that about oh, you? Yeah. Okay. All the time. Yeah, because I had a thought about that. Oh. Joe DeRosa, uh, you know, uh, was adopted. What? And the only reason I bring it up today is because Sandusky's son comes out, his oh, adopted yeah. son, and says, yeah, this fucking asshole was, you know, fooling around with me, too. Oh, Jesus. And I was thinking to myself, that's got to, like, you know, you're adopted into some crazy family sometimes. Oh, family that's going to fucking sexually abuse you. I know you also could do it wow. to your, your own. I don't your, under your own blood, I mean. You know what right. I mean? Right. Yeah. But I mean, it, that's gotta suck. That all the families that want to adopt kids out there, and you get—you're the lucky one that goes to the Sandusky home. That God. sucks. I never understood that. I know, uh, I know a few adopted people, not a lot, but um, it worked out very well for you, right? It was fine for me. I mean, I was adopted at nine days old. Nine uh, days. Yeah. Holy so shit. I don't remember. You know, I and my parents. T I don't remember them telling me I was adopted. I just always knew. So they must have started telling me when I was really young. Um, so my parents did it the right way. Why do now, they have to tell you? 
I think it's the right thing to do, <laughs> don't you? Because I look like a fucking goddamn sand heeb, <laughs> and they don't. <laughs> so any Irish such explanation for that? Uh, do you have black parents? Yeah, right. That would be great. Right. Uh, I'm not telling you. I mean, I, well, Anthony still lets me in his house, so that's true. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a? You have any desire to meet the old uh, biological people there? Um, no. Well, here's the thing with being adopted that sucks. Uh, no matter, I think this happens to everybody, no matter how well your parents do it, how right they do it. There's all this, I, I have a lot of subconscious stuff that started coming up when I hit about 30, 29 or 30, you know, abandonment issues. Oh, man. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, intimacy issues. These things start popping up. And you're kind of like nine days you were fucking given away there and it still comes up. Yeah, because I think your whole life, you. St I mean, look, when you're a kid, kids will make fun of you. Like I feel like great, like when you're in grade school, yeah. like I kids would, at least I'm not adopted. You know, people say why, stuff like that. Oh, why would, why would it, bullied, give him a half a mil. Why? <laughs> <laughs> you need a old, website for Joe DeRosa. Like that old fat bus broad. <laughs> yeah. Why, oh, but why, why do the kids have to know you're adopted? Ah, uh, because I never thought it was, there was anything like strange about it. I just, I, I it was just part of my upbringing, whatever thing. Yeah, I just, I would talk about it like anything else. Mm -hmm. Like, like it, I have a brother. You know what I mean? Like that. You know. Do you find it weird least, that you have a biological mom and dad out there that are just right now wandering around somewhere? Possibly, that would be so strange for me. Um, the thing I always worried about with finding them, I don't think I want to find them. Mm. And the thing I was worried about with finding them was that, you know, I'm half Egyptian and half Italian. Are you rich? No. You might be then a you Saudi prince. Well, then I, that, you was... fucking find them because it's like a lottery. Well, <laughs> if I was adopted, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for my biological parents to maybe get, you know. Let me tell you about how, how fucking. A little payout. Let me tell you the hard ends of that lottery spectrum. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With Egyptians. Yeah. Uh, the Italian side I wasn't worried about. My Egyptian side I was worried about. So, like, on the one hand, they could be fucking barons with those little uh, yeah. with those little teacup hats yeah. on. <laughs> Fez. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they keep those hats on, yeah. by the way. So that's the one side. I'm like, I got to find these motherfuckers and get a room at the mansion. The other side is they live in a market. Where they have a monkey that fetches them, steals them apples every night for dinner, <laughs> and, now, and now you gotta take care of them with the little yeah, you exactly. Uh, I gotta free them like it's what? Temple I'm, of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> that shit, I'm not I, doing that. I would take a risk. I would take the risk. <laughs> Temple of Doom. I would take the risk though for the payout. Uh, uh, his biological father's going, call him on, <laughs> trying to pull people's hearts out. <laughs> Please let me die. <laughs> All right, good point, John. <laughs> good point. I don't, you know, man. There's so much to find in your parents in that situation, man. It's, it's, it's. Are you gonna? Hit. I thought you were gonna hit Joe over the head. No, no, I had. I you saw that, hit. right? Sorry, I was just scratching my back with my. I look like you're gonna walk. Anthony just picked up the flute. You thought he was gonna hit me? I thought, I thought he was gonna so. start playing Arab music on it. Oh, I could. <laughs> wait, 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 here we go. He'll come up with something. that is <laughs> you just do that I just that go, Whoa. um here's the thing it's it's you know another another part of it for me was is it worth is it worth it it's not just going to affect me it's going to affect everybody around me and yeah. my family but it's such a mystery i would have to know it's easy to say yeah. that because i'm not adopted it's a different mindset i'm sure yeah. but i just where i sit i i would have to just at least know i think or if look i look at them from afar even find out where they fucking live and maybe just you know Stake, stake out their Let's joints for a while. Them. Yeah, let me stalk them for a while. See if they're <laughs> worth uh, a relationship. I think you gotta. I mean, you don't know. You gotta. I don't know if I'd want the relationship because I'm sure your parents are your parents, right, Joe? Yeah, and who knows? Yeah. They're I mean, probably... they're, you know, I mean, they're. That's well. That's part of what I'm saying, though, is that. It's I'm not just talking just about the curiosity part. I would have right. to know. I don't know if it's I'd want affect... a relationship or any of that shit. Right. It's like you you gave up on me at nine days old. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I can I'm, see, I'm good. I can see your parents though. Your birth parents are thinking the same thing. Like, well, he could be um, a big executive at Apple. 
Or he could be, you know, a stand-up comic or something. Right, right, uh, exactly. With, exactly. A, with the a drinking problem. <laughs> oh, well, God. let's face it. Let's face it. People that have a lot of money don't give a kid up for adoption. That's true. You know what I mean? Ah. The, the chances of them being rich are slim because... Man. Maybe they won the lottery. You know... Mm. There's, you know, the only, if you're rich and you give the kid up, it's like you're partying too fucking hard. And yeah. then you don't get, you don't, you don't give it for adoption, gonna, you just get it sucked out. And then, <laughs> and then you're not going to care if he shows up either. Or you yeah. be like, oh, what's this kid want? I gave him away. Or he could be yeah, a I'm... fucking little dumb boomerang. <laughs> 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 Leave. <laughs> well, I used to have a bit about it where I'd say, I'd say, what am I going to, people would go, are you going to go find them? You're going to look for your real parents. And I go, no, I pretty much took the hint. Uh, when they abandoned me, and then, uh, <laughs> that's very good. But you're a, then, you're a filmmaker. Yeah, you like making little films, man. That's your film, and it would be hilarious to I, see how it, it turns out. I have an idea for a movie about it, and oh. I don't want to say it on the air for obvious reasons. Yeah, but I have an idea. people steal. What's the I, idea? <laughs> Searching for my real biological, not real. I I, I apologize because I, I I get the adoption thing because uh, it's I, part I, of my family now. So I, I get it. Yeah, your parents are your real parents. But yeah. The search for your biological, yeah, I even mean, but it's not a bio. The movie idea I have isn't a biological story. It's it's not or autobiographical. Excuse me. Yeah, I got you. Um, it's 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 a it's a fictional. Oh, oh a fictional what we call fiction account. in the business <laughs> of film. Do you want? I gotta go to the phones. We haven't gone to the phones oh, in sure. a couple of days now, by the way. But we gotta go to the phones because two people on the phone. Mm-hmm. That oh. found their uh, oh, biological parents. I've heard some horror oh, stories. Nice. One's a good story and one's a bad story. Which one do you want first? Oh. The good one. Let's good save one? the bad one. All right. Yeah, you know. We got Chris in Michigan. Chris, uh, you can relate to what Joe's saying here, huh? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it wasn't me. It was my uncle. Uh, All right. He was given up for, uh, my aunt's husband. He was given up for adoption when he was a kid, and he never really had any um, interest in finding his parents. Uh, his dad actually found him. It turns out, dad. Uh, got a girl knocked up and went off to the army, and her parents didn't like that he was a Native American and uh, oh boy. gave the kid up for adoption. So a couple years ago, uh, his dad found him. Dad's a member of the Pachanga tribe out there in California, one of the biggest fucking casinos out there, and uh, put his, his son, who he didn't know or anything, on the, on the rolls several years before. So he got this giant, huge-ass payout. At first, and then every month, you know, he gets thousands and thousands and thousands. <laughs> Jesus. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, lose. man, get out uh, there. So basically, he's a, he's a millionaire, right? Well, yeah, there was got, never... Hold on, hold on, what? <laughs> he runs back, he flies back home here to Michigan, you know, every other week, and flies back out there, first class, back and forth. First class, Joe? There was never... There was never a better opportunity for a smash cut of things to things going wrong than you going, what are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, you yeah. have nothing to lose. And then, yeah, bam, there you are. <laughs> and then it cuts. In a losing situation. And you hear a gong noise, and it's me walking through an empty village. <laughs> A Excuse fucking marketplace me. with like chickens being yeah. beheaded. And Your bio biological you know father's <laughs> missing a foot because <laughs> <laughs> of a deal God, gone this, bad. First of all, I'm not a fucking American Indian. First of all, but I mean, you the, don't know. That's the beauty of this. I, no, I know. I'm Egyptian and Italian. But I mean, you don't know what Might they be some Egyptian they thing. Well, they didn't become American Indians be part with of casinos. The pyramids. <laughs> Something. But they might, you get some of that pyramid money. He might own the Luxor there in uh, <laughs> Vegas. Can I ask you this? What was your uncle doing before his uh, biological father found him? Um, he owned his own business. Kind of was mostly uh, landscaping and stuff. Ah, oh, he's a landscaper. Those guys like to say they own their own business. Yeah, well, you know. He, he, All right, so he went from a landscaper to landscaping to first class fucking plane tickets, Joe. Yep. It's yep. to check out his share of the casino. It's <laughs> Listen, it trust me when I tell you this. Just take my word. It is not going to work out for me like that. Nothing ever works out for me like that. Yeah, but maybe this is the one thing that does. You said it, What if you're related to the Onassis or some shit like that, you know? Uh, well, look, it's anything's possible. I, but again, would they give a kid up for adoption? Yeah. Unless it was something that was going to disgrace the family, like... Yeah, but yeah. what if you know. find out that last name is Tut? <laughs> ah? but, you, but Joe, you're looking ah? at it. You're, you're, <laughs> some gold in that family. You're looking at it n not the right way. 
because yeah. they've had 30 years to make something of themselves. You're thinking when you were nine days old. I'm thinking... 30 se- some odd years. I don't even know how old I, I, I am thinking selfishly. I'm only concerned about dismantling my entire fucking life and <laughs> destroying my parents' soul. It's really... It's shitty of me. I should be more open-minded but about But they might this. be able to get a little action out of this, too. Cow. <laughs> Huh? Because Joe gets the action, and then he passes it on to the, the parents that love them his entire life. <laughs> what if I met him and they go, now here's a million dollars. You don't give a fucking penny of this <laughs> right. to oh, those imposters. Man. All right, here's the other side of the coin that Joe's talking about. Let's go to Billy in Ohio. Billy. Billy. Hello, how you doing, Joe? Hey, Billy. You're the right one, though. Because I was, my, I was in trouble when I was younger. I was adopted. My mom and dad seeked my real parents out. They? Man. Yeah. Oh boy! Yeah, my my real mom was a heroin addict. She died at like forty two, and my real dad's in prison doing life. So oh boy! Yeah, I mean you know the odds of you're the odds that you're going to have a good stuck story is slim to none. So you didn't need to know that your real uh, your biological excuse me I keep saying that your biological mom was a heroin addict and your dad's in uh, prison for life you, mm-hmm. did, you certainly didn't need that info. Mm-hmm. Why is why is he in prison for life? What did he do? Murder? What do you think? No, they hung the bitch on him. The last thing he did was uh, <laughs> robbing people dressed up as a cop, robbing heroin dealers and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? he had it going on. He had a scheme anyway. He had a plan. That... <laughs> <laughs> Billy's he ain't going too far. Did, did you say they hung the bitch on him? Is that what you said? Yeah, the, yeah, That's the bitch. F- the habitual criminal. I fucking love that. Like, I love the Midwestern terms for prison time. <laughs> Remember, it's stir- like in Star Crazy when he goes, you can kiss the baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Yes. You can kiss yeah, the baby. Oh, my God. I'm punching out. All right, well, man. that sucks. All right. So there I'm, you go. But that's... I don't know, man. I'm not doing it. No? There's no fucking way. No real upside there. Come on, really? They're not There's just no... going to toss you boatloads of money, so then you're going to need a relationship with them. You want to hear a horror story uh, about adoption? All right. Uh, this guy I met once, Midwestern guy, very... Very religious family. Very, very religious family. Uh, his mom and dad, when they were just dating, um, before they got married in the 50s, whatever the fuck it was, or 40s, whatever, uh, they um, got pregnant. The mom got pregnant. It was disgraceful because of the time period for a Catholic girl to be pregnant. Oh, out of wedlock, yeah. Right? They sent the Did she kid- have to go to the town? Dude, they sent her to a nunnery. They used to send him away. Yeah, they sent her to a nunnery so she could have a baby in secret. They took the baby, put it up for adoption, and she returned home. Years and years and years and years later, when this guy was like in his 50s, his older sister comes back. The father will not recognize the daughter as his blood. Refuses to. (laughs) Refused to recognize his daughter. And by the way, this story came directly after a story about how this guy was such a man of the church that he donated like a million dollars to them and got to go on a private tour of the Vatican where he met the Pope. And this fucking asshole cocksucker won't recognize the fact that he's got a daughter. Damn. <laughs> and, he's gonna, and he sits there with like a bishop, you know, at, at the Vatican or whatever, praying like some kind of holy fucking mm. whatever. I say fuck too much. No. But, uh... No, I do. I listen to the clips. I say fuck way too I much. I fucking say it all the fucking time. Fuck it. <laughs> you, you didn't. Fuckity fuck fuck. You just said fuck three times. I can't but... think of words. And I just say fuck. Well, we all do that. Yep. That's where we should be pausing and stuff. You know what? I didn't have a problem about it until Burr trashed it. And then now uh, I got a problem. D- yeah. What did he do? He had that bit where he go, he go, do you talk about how guys would say fucking because they can't think of the words? Oh, fucking! <laughs> yeah. All right. Do that? And as soon as he did that, I was like, I'm an idiot. Can we find that for uh, the break there, you rock? Please. Um, I was thinking about Burr yesterday. I, I want to go on record. I owe him $200. For what? Some dumb bet we did. And uh, hmm. I will pay my bet. I don't know where to send the check, so I assume the next time it comes in, and I know he's going to be playing Caroline's, because during my two-and-a-half-mile walk in the heat yesterday, I, I walked by Caroline's as well, Ant, and I oh, saw that he's coming in July. Yes. So I assume he'll come in here going, where's my money? 
and I will hand over the two hundred dollars to Bill Burr. He finally gave I'm me the for it. money he owed me for the push-ups. Oh, really? All right, so I don't feel as bad. Yeah, I call. I, well, he forgot. He forgot. He says, but I called him on it at a show, and he I gave it to me. But I know it'll be better if I pay him in, in person instead of mailing out a dumb check. Sounds like you're felching. <laughs> not. Sounds like you're felching to me. I'm not. Oh, I can't find his address. I, I, we only have it on file. You did legal push-ups. <laughs> you did. The Joe, fans have spoken. Joe did legal push-ups. Fans go out to the show. My eyes. What is, what is he gonna? What is he, Joe supposed to do? Like tell the guy that is monitoring <laughs> the push-ups. Hey, I'm not doing them good enough. Why don't you fucking yell at me my or just continue to do them and win the bet? My mistake was uh, getting the wrong judge. I thought I, I assumed the martial artist knew how to do a fucking push-up. Let's yeah. not start this again cuz I'm hearing it at the shows. They're hey. all saying they're all supporting. In the end, Joe, you won the bet fair and square. <laughs> I absolutely fair have, and square. I absolutely have some problems with uh how it went down, but in the end, how could you have problems? According with to that? the rules we set, you did the, the rules you set. Yeah, I picked a fucking idiot. Well, to dang. judge the contest. he was your guy. He was my guy. He was your guy. <laughs> he was my guy. The uh, I right. like this adoption thing. I'm going to go to Nick in New York because uh, this is another angle that's pretty interesting. Nick. Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? All hey right. man. Uh, uh, my uh, my ex girlfriend in college. She was adopted. Always knew she was. And then by the time she was like 25, 26, she was working for the local newspaper, would go in every day and talk to her boss. Found out later on that her boss was her actual mother. Ooh, that's, that's a good one. I like when that happens. That's weird. Yeah, it was, a whole, it was funny. Ooh, that is weird. They looked alike and everything. So one day they were just talking and the story like compared that the, she had a C-section, that the, the, um, the days all lined up. And back like 2020, like Reader's Digest did a whole like story on them. Mm. I like when that I like when that kind of thing happens, where you find out like your neighbor mm. that babysat you all along was your dad. <laughs> 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 well, we got one of those too. Oh, you do. All well, right, sort of. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's go to Derek in Philadelphia. Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Hey, man. So, my aunt has a stinky womb. She can't have any kids. Her womb stuck. Wow. <laughs> Way to make it hurt. Right? Jesus. Jesus. Bully. <laughs> really? We should right. set up an account for her and yeah. get her a half a million dollars yeah. for doing nothing. <laughs> fucking infuriated by that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. She just doesn't fucking deserve it. I'm sorry. There are other people suffering fucking half a million dollars. We, can fucking, it, it could be amazing. We get bullied every We're, day on Twitter. We're not, we didn't get a yeah. half million dollar payout. Oh, the bully thing. Oh, I didn't know what the fuck you were talking oh, yeah, that, about for a that second. That fat bus oh. lady. She's yeah. up to a half a million dollars in donations. And a free trip to Disney World for her. And half a million friends. dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's good. Wow, it went up how much since we oh, my stopped God. talking oh, about it? Oh, my God. It? It's almost at I think it went up another $5,000, didn't it? Holy shit. Since we got back from break, about $5,000, yeah. She's making $5,000 an hour at this point. Oh That's fucking God. ridiculous. Oh what God. a cunt. But what? I, I said give her a year's pay. She was making 15000 a year. <laughs> give her 15000 You know what? Hey, her ship came in, right? It yeah. really did. I would take a year of my uh, salary to be bullied by those To be bullied. Assholes. Yes. It's, All right. Oh. Uh, Derek, go ahead. Philadelphia. Jesus. Christ. Nice break there, guys. Um, so <laughs> What's he That's talking about? Well, what was the problem there, sir? No, don't worry about it. Can I talk now? Hey, what's your oh, name? man. Derek. 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 Yeah. Can you do me a favor? What's that, Joseph? Why don't you go fuck yourself? Exactly. <laughs> Thank so, you. We're, we're keeping it positive today <laughs> with this guy. See how it You're starts? Right. I'm sorry, Fucking Derek. Obnoxious. Derek, I'm sorry. Derek, Derek, I'm sorry. Just See how positive we've kept it? We want you to All right. find the, your biological parents. Derek, blow me. That's fair, right? That's fair. <laughs> That's, That's fair. fair. All That's right. just a whole up. Go ahead, we Derek. We got off on the wrong foot. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, long, long story short, my aunt adopted this girl. Never told her she was adopted. Straight up, never told her. Her daughter went to get married, found out out of getting the marriage certificate that she was adopted, she went that shit insane, slipped on her mom, dumped the soon-to-be husband, has been gone for five years. We literally have no trace of her. Fucked the family up completely. They're destroyed now. See? Really? She told her at her wedding? 
No, she she never. The plan was to never tell her, but so that the family was hush hush. Some knew she was adopted, some didn't. And then on top of that, when she applied to get the marriage certificate, the government told her. Oh wow! The okay. government. Wow, wow! And she just went a wall. Yes. Oh, she fucking. She's gone. I don't know. She might be fucking DeRosa's dad. I don't know. <laughs> oh, this not. guy bugs me. Why does he bug you? He's, he's, too, he's got too story, much right? swagger. He he's, just fucking bugs me. It might be a fake story. He's too. call. He's talking like he's got a fucking glass of wine in one hand and a cigar in the other. Yeah, it might be a fake story. And no, guys, I, it, it really, if you want it, whatever. It's yeah. not. But, yeah, yeah, I don't believe you, Derek. All right, Derek. Okay, thanks, Derek. Why'd you make that up? Yeah, Derek. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good story. Good story. We took one too many phone calls. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. And he was obnoxious, that guy. So we're not going to find your biological parents? No, I'm not doing it, man. I don't need to do it. I got enough fucking things in my life going on right now. I don't need any other goddamn grief over this. Do you know that? Do you know how stressful? Forget about the actual meeting the parents part of it. Can you imagine how stressful just the journey up to that point is? Oh man, yeah. It's just got to be brutal. Maybe dude. Joe, they didn't feel worthy and wanted to give you a better life. Oh, they. Boy. Look, so that's what he holds hence, on to. Hence, no abandonment <laughs> issues, sir. That's what he's got to hold Maybe on to. Maybe your parents really just wanted yeah. to give you a much better chance. Yeah. That's, I think, that's what they were doing. There you go. So, why the imba- ab- abandonment issue? Oh, I don't know. That just that, that it's one of those, dude. I don't know where that comes from. I mean, I I can theorize on where it comes from, but maybe your maybe your adopted parents used to whisper shit in your ear when you were misbehaving. Yeah, we're gonna send you back. Right. We're gonna send you back. Right. <laughs> you know, it's. I think it's just. I think it's just a thing, like a genetic thing. You know, genetics are a lot. Uh, genetics are a lot stronger than most people give them credit for in this day and age you know a lot of people want to ignore genetics and ignore um also the nurture along with the nature and all that sort of thing they they just want to ignore it and like so going through an experience like that at a very young age i think can have a lifelong effect on you mm. uh and and it needs to be dealt with and do you have um you know? traits of your adopted parents like do you have their sense of humor or do you have like um I yeah don't know, their anger or i don't know we have a lot of similar traits we're not weird because you're not biological. And there are people that tell me I look like them. See, that's weird. Yeah. The well, traits like, you could kind of see. That, yeah, but they just picked out a kid that they felt looked like them. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like how it works. It's kind of like when you see people walking around with dogs oh, and they look funny. And they look like they're dogs. Right. It's the same shit. You yeah, just pick them. There aren't, there aren't, the same uh, shit. There aren't cages. At, uh, oh, you don't get to just walk and point at a kid and go, oh, that's that not, one looks good. Oh, I thought that's how adoption worked, like a pet store. Right. Yeah. So did I. I thought there was like little you vats in, with babies in them. You weren't in an orphanage and they came walking through. Orphanage. To say, orphanage. Wearing one of those dress right. and those just dresses, right. those long things that you sleep in, and with the little cap. And they only save off your head with the pom pom yeah. on the end. And, what they happened, only, and they only save one kid. <laughs> yeah. What What happened was was uh, the what evil a twisted uh, way to do it. The evil uh, landowner was going to shut down the orphanage if they didn't yes. come up with the rent, and my parents. Conducted a concocted a scheme. Spanky, when my back pension comes in, you'll get your monkey. <laughs> yeah. No. So I mean, it's you know, it's it's uh, look. There's 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 just things that come along with it. I don't look. I don't want to. All right, we Christ, you know, but uh, it's I just, I just find it fascinating. That's all, because I got some adoption um, stuff in my family now. Mm. It's and very I, and I and I find it very interesting. That's all. Very hard to adopt. Not cheap. Yeah. I mean, I think when my parents did it, it was well, much nice more affordable. <laughs> I hear it's true. You, I hear you go to Texas. It's, I mean, if you now, if you want like you want a special needs child, if you want an Asian or that kind of thing, that's well, of course. I've always Why equated that like Asian? like if the if the if the adoption agency was a Sam Goody, ah. the Asian kids would what be a, in the that three dollar bargain. Oh, you well, think? Because <laughs> they're just like getting rid of them. There's, I don't know what's I, going on so over there. There's so many. It's an overstock That's of Asian because kids. Because once you adopt one, they're like uh, one one day lady, you want to adopt more. You, <laughs> All right. You want to know how I feel about that? Because on the Upper West Side, you got some of these ladies that adopt, right? Ladies. And you see them <laughs> where they have the Asian kid, and I immediately think, and this is going to be horrible. Uh-huh. Cheap and lazy. <laughs> oh wow! They got cheap and lazy with their adoption. It does seem like oh. it's easy to go that route, the Asian route. I isn't think it? you, you kind of give in instead of going. You know what? 
I want a, I want a kid that's more well. Here's the here's more why. like me, meaning you know I'm white or whatever. Here's right. why that comes from a culture around the world that uh, really just casts off children if they're not yeah. the type of child that that family wants, right. especially girls. You know, if they want boys and stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of them available. It's not like they're just giving away. You know, white American kids. I would dare to say uh, uh, they do not have the. Uh, Adoration for children in Asia that we have nah, in this country. Nah. When you see a homeless lady in China uh, and her kid is missing eyes, and you go, I'm going to give them money, and then the guy that's taking you around China says, Don't do that. She poked her kid's eyes out on purpose to make you feel sorry for her. That's what people do around here. All right. Like, How do okay, you know that? this is a different. Oh. Well, a Chinese guy told me, and he lived there. Wow. So that's all I know. Yeah. By the well, way, I'm going to base everything on that. By the way, there's nothing <laughs> wrong with adopting an Asian child. I just want to say that. No, of course oh. there's not. Of course not. Who was even fucking getting that but idea? But I'm saying if you want to get this fucking nice <laughs> Italian Egyptian mixture, right? At Sam Goody. But I just feel like I'm the I'm on the rack where you're going. 1999? Are you fucking kidding me? I yeah. just feel like uh. during the process you just decided. All right, enough. I'll just take an Asian. Yeah, it seems like the you know getting the white kid is a little too difficult and a little it is a little too time consuming. So I'll go with the Asian. It's not it waiting is. for the car that you want to order. You, <laughs> right. you just take the one off the floor. Yes. It's like yeah. well, I would have liked it in red, but right. I'll take the white car. Yeah, I, I think I, I think parents that adopt, I think they're terrific people. I really yeah. Do. Oh, just, we're, we're, we're making some jokes though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're outraged now. Who is I'm, the people? I can I can just feel it. Good. I can feel it. Good. It's not my fault you fucking went cheap and got an Asian. No, I'm kidding. I'm, the, I'm just I'm kidding. Cheap. I'm just joking. Went to the dollar store? What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, look, I'm no... I, I put myself above that a minute. I'm in the bargain bin, too. I'm fucking half Arab. I'm just fucking know. around. No, I'm, I'm saying it about I, myself. I, I hear Texas is the place to go now. For Arab kids? No, just to adopt in general. That's yeah. like the, the hub. That's the oh, hub Jesus for adoption. Christ, fucking wasteland People will call. down there. People will call. They'll, they'll back me up on this. For some reason, Texas has become the place. The yeah, hub. if you want to fucking hills have eyes, nuclear baby. Why? It lives in a mountain. <laughs> Out in that fucking desert. I don't know. I just thought of that. and it, I thought it was funny, and it wasn't that funny. I would take a Texas kid. <laughs> I would take a Texas kid. Well, yeah. yeah. Why, why wouldn't you? They come from good stock. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't what, know but you Texas know what? All right, I'll tell you Discarding a lot of kids? I, I would adopt, actually. I don't think you would. From where? I swear Texas? to God, I would adopt. Because I'm. Uh, I, you what know, would you go I, for? I don't know if my wife wants to go through a bunch more pregnancies. What would you go for? It's expensive, uh, dude. White kid, or would you go specialty item? Uh, you'd, ha you'd have a couple of white kids already. No, I would. That's why uh, I was making dumb jokes. I would probably would go. African baby? Well. African baby? You would disown me. No, I like uh, African babies. But man, they they look like Jesus they look Christ. like models, though. Man, they look like fucking models. Who African black babies? Kids. I would adopt the they black start out, right? They all start out looking like models. You got to pick out the right ones. I'd go with a mix. Yeah, <laughs> they could be cute to have a little Asian. Kid no, I'm being dead now. serious though. Without the jokes, I would adopt. Yeah, yeah. I would throw uh, an adopt a kid into the mix. Well, here's the thing. Why? 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 If I get a big house. Why not? Why wouldn't you? What? That's what. Like that's the th not you specifically. I mean, you wouldn't because you're selfish. But the. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, but I'm not selfish. <laughs> I'm just to play a good role on the show. But, <laughs> oh my! God. I got to defend myself a little bit. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm, not, I'm but... not a monster like you think, Joe. <laughs> Go ahead. Theoretically. Blown up your joke. I'm sorry. The <laughs> I'm sorry. Theoretically, why wouldn't you adopt? I mean this generally to you. It's like there are there are literally thousands to millions of children that need it, number one. Number two, you don't gotta go through all the like you just said with your wife, going through the body stuff. You don't have to go through the misery of putting your body it's tough, man. It's tough and there is something beautiful about the entire process of conception to childbirth, obviously. Especially but, the conception part of you. Yeah. 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 Josh, what we need on. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking... Ah! <laughs> Fun-loving Josh. Uh, yeah, so it's like, but, you know, it's like, but it's it's so easy. It's I mean, it's not easy. It's fine. It's a, it's a lot of money. That's probably why. But mm. it's like, why not just go adopt a kid? And I never understood, probably because I'm adopted, I never understood that whole, but it's not mine thing. Oh, no, man. I, I never got that. Second. And I, I've never thought, ever since I was a kid, I never believed in that blood is thicker than water horse shit. Like it is, you... though. <laughs> oh, I was talking chemically. <laughs> <laughs> Hence where that comes from. See? It's absolutely correct, Joe. Yes. You're right. I'm sorry. I was talking chemically, too. I don't know why I said that. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just, I just never... Um... I never bought it. I was always like, if you're a fucking douche, you're a douche. And if but, you're not, you're yeah. not. I don't give a shit but if we're related. You're one of those guys that doesn't want to have kids, right? I have. You know what's funny? Until we just started talking about Asian kids, I didn't want kids. And then I started thinking about having like... a little Asian baby, and I liked it. It was making yeah. making me happy to think oh, about yeah, that. man. Asian, Asian Raise kids someone that can do your taxes man. eventually. I'm going to time it. I'm going to time oh, it perfectly. Sorry. I'm going to time it perfectly. Dumbass joke. Where Stupid. I'll adopt a kid, yeah. and then uh, it'll be just in time for them to have to take care of my fucking floundering ass. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna... that, that way I avoid all the uh, be... child shit now. But you would be and perfect. Wife and... You'd be perfect for like a soon ye situation. Oh, I need someone that's like, oh. Where it oh, starts out as a kid, and then Misa, you marry it. Misa, I'm the... <laughs> How great would that be? You need the food today? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. How great would that be? It yeah. starts out as your kid, so you get that. Nice, like you know, father-daughter thing, uh -huh. and then you marry it. Nice, it's perfect. Yeah, and it's not blood, so <laughs> it's not blood. So in the end, it works. All right, <laughs> and then you bang it, and then you fucking bang the shit out of her. <laughs> and then a few. Right, here's, here's what you do: you go to the adoption agency. You go, hey, give me one of these chicks over here. <laughs> Is something that's gonna grow up a little hard, and then you take her home. You wait till she grows up and gets the fucking big tits and juicy ass and fucking fat pussy, and then you fuck the shit out of her. Uh, guys, guys, whack the bag, whack the bag. Then you make her your wife, and then a few years go by, and everyone accepts it. It's like, hey, yeah, it's don't the Woody bitch situation. at me. Weren't you my daughter? <laughs> and now I'm. You. <laughs> you should thank me. Hey, you should give me a. Hey, wipe the cum off your face with the Father's Day card. <laughs> <laughs> but then a bunch of years oh, go God. by, and, and then everyone goes and sees your films Nobody and cares. thinks you're a fucking genius, and no one gives a fuck. No. That is a twisted situation that went down. Hickory was... dickory duck, my daughter's sucking my cock. Oh! <laughs> Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Hey, look, my daughter's sucking my dick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's in a Woody Allen movie, too. Yeah. He's in the new Woody Allen movie. It's so perfect. Uh, he'll blow that. <laughs> Dice, he's gonna good blow for Dice and all that, but he'll fuck it up somehow. Hey, he, he, it. he doesn't know how to make good movies. <laughs> uh, you know, is... yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll definitely say something if he's directing me. He goes, oh, Dice, stand over here. And I'll be, no, asshole, I stand where I want. <laughs> you ever see Fort Fairlane? It's brilliant. <laughs> He will fuck it up. He's going to tell Woody, you know, that he's doing something wrong. So I'm gonna... licking my daughter's pussy at the line under Bang. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> yeah, I was over here with my daughter, but I'm over here now with my wife. <laughs> she went from over here now. My daughter's over here. Not my wife. I'm over here now. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking all right. So, <laughs> but that's how it, was, it happened. But it was never Woody Allen's daughter. It was never his daughter. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it wasn't. It was, not. It was never legally his daughter. No. What happened? He was. This is what right. happened. And this is where it gets fishy. Uh oh, uh, don't say that. I, was, all right. Uh, she should clean that shit. He <laughs> was uh, dating Mia Farrow. They were never married. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mia Farrow adopted several children. Soon he was one of them. That was it. It was not his daughter. Right. But here's where it gets a little weird is he had a child with Mia Farrow. So Woody Allen has a biological son with Mia Farrow whose sister 
by adoption is Soon Yi. And his son, who has said he will never speak to him ever again, yeah. said very recently. Wait, um, Woody's son won't speak to him? No. His you know, son is a Rhodes see, Scholar. You see the tweet? Yeah. On Father's Day? What did he write? Oh, you got to read it. Uh, oh, no, it. Father's Day, it or, as we call it, uh, brother in law day, right? Uh, oh, Jesus was Christ. That went? Yeah. I think it went viral, his tweet about it. Yeah. But that kid is brilliant. He's a road scholar. Woody's kid is brilliant. Yeah. Well, and, and Mia Farrow, obviously, is his mother. Yeah. That kid is fucking a genius. Well, he said, that kid said in a recent interview, he and Mia Farrow were interviewed when the Woody Allen documentary came out. Right. Five months ago, six months ago. And he said, uh, he said, um, you know, he can he can justify it all he wants, but he married my sister and there's nothing more to it uh, than that. Yeah. Wow. Here it is. Happy Father's Day, or as they call it in my family. Yeah. Happy it. Brother-in-Law's Day. Yeah, you nailed it. Jesus Christ. It's take your daughter to work day, so I fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, if you're going to get that weird, like what he did, when you pick, like, I don't know, maybe someone that's a little more attractive. It wasn't it a is... woman who lived in a shoe. I married her, had a kid with her, and then fucked it. <laughs> If you're gonna get all that weird, when you find something that's a little hotter, she's hot not hot. Yeah. I don't find her attractive, she's, and she's kind of uncomfortable to look at. She seems kind of pushy. Like I watched that Wild Man Blues documentary yeah. with him, and she's she's a little like bossy. What documentary? I saw something on uh, TV, like a three parter. Is that what you're talking about, or is there? No, a I've seen thing? that too. I've seen that, but no. There's a documentary called Wild Man Blues, and it's about it covers his tour that he did through Europe with his jazz band. But they don't interview him, really, right? Because he doesn't really give no, interviews. No, the whole movie is him. So it's not really oh. a documentary on his life. It's just a documentary on him traveling around with his band. Yeah, but there's oh, a lot cool. of there's a lot of screen time with him and Soon Yi, like in the hotel and stuff and whatever. And, All right. I'll, and, I'll uh, check that out. But she's a little pushy. And I was like, it's just kind of weird. He said we have a little pushy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You think they have anime oh. sex? Oh, 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 yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Woody. Woody doesn't me. Oh, Mr. Woody, can we play Master Chef again? Oh, Mr. Woody. That what? hurt me so much in my high knee. Oh, yeah, pull her in the ass, Woody. <laughs> Just bang her. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> She knows how to handle the goo. The goo. <laughs> the goo. The goo. The uh, goo. <laughs> Clean it up before your mother gets home. We'll <laughs> both get in trouble. Uh, Does Will Mia Farrow talk to Soon Yi? Oh, yeah. That's oh, a good question. No fucking way. Uh -huh. it, she probably goes, thanks a lot. What he did, what he's cock stories. <laughs> she probably just sends her text messages. Oh, thanks Jesus. a lot. Yeah, thanks. I, I try to make your life better, and you fuck me over like this. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you know weird. you can't stop uh, what you call a love. Yeah, the love thing. <laughs> what are you gonna do? You're, ah. you're, you're right, Ronnie. B. Well, I mean, uh, you're not a rough look, as... And we lost a phone call. Unfortunately, if he's still listening, uh, he uh, was adopted, never knew his biological father. I guess I could do the call for him. His biological father dies and leaves him, according to this guy, fifteen million dollars, Joe. <laughs> You got to take the chance. Oh, but how did he know? Huh? Uh, oh, he didn't find out until the father was dead and left him all that money. All of a sudden, he gets this big fucking check and is like, "What the, the fuck story is this?" Of that. This Turns is, out it's from his biological father. This is the wrong reason <laughs> to try to find your biological parents. It can't be a cash run. You can't go try to find them <laughs> like are. you're saying yes to a shitty movie that you don't want to be in. Yeah. But but the money's good or yeah. whatever. But that's, you know? the, that's the whole uh, movie you make. I'm going on a cash run. Let's see how it works out. Oh, boy. A little wordy in the title, but, you know. <laughs> I'm going on a cash run. Let's see how it works out. That's the name of your film. That's the name of the film. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I, I, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoilers, <laughs> spoilers, look out. Look, you can't make a cool movie like that anymore. I, spoiler alerts. I have they're everywhere. <laughs> spoiler yeah, alerts. they're the worst. If I was a filmmaker, I would just make fucking five different endings. Fuck all you spoiler alert there you people. Go. I have intimacy issues. You saw the wrong issues. version. Plug one in at the end. Yeah. Right. I have intimacy issues as it is. 
It's like I don't want to bring two other people into my life now that I have to figure this out with. I'm still trying to figure out how to communicate health in a healthy way with my regular family. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm still trying to figure that out and like that means they do. Yes, yeah, so you're going to throw too. someone else into the mix like that you don't even know that probably sucks and try to have a relationship. Yeah, well, with everybody them. thinks you're going to have this fucking field of dreams moment. <laughs> what, a, what a play catch. <laughs> <laughs> Two fucking old people standing in the yard. That'd be hilarious. You and you throwing a... Oh, Dad. You're throwing a baseball around. Ew, how gross is that? Oh, yeah. You're trying to, you're trying it's to say it's not going to be Ray Liotta. No. It's not going to look like Ray no. Liotta. You're trying to say it doesn't work out that way usually? Never. No, it's not going to look like Ray Liotta. It's going to look like Sala oh. from Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah. Bad dates. <laughs> Bad dates. Can we break now and do some other shit? Okay. What do you want to talk about next, Joe? I'm going to leave it up to you. Oh, man. We never do this, but well, the, uh... give us something you want to talk about next. And I want to talk about what fucking cunts people are, because I'm really on a kick about this. Yep. Oh, I'm with you. I like it. <laughs> Look at your face light up. Oh, I'm there. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I got Christ. a few. Yeah, I want to. I'm serious. Because all right, all right, save it. Save it. Don't start the. Do you want the tease? I was going to tease. Oh, yeah. You go for I was the gonna tease. going to do the radio tease. And point at Fatso, and then he'll hit something. This is. Oh, sorry. This is. <laughs> this is one of the. This is. This is my whole. This is like since I went home uh, with my mom for the two months and my dad. I, you know, had a lot of time to sit and think, whatever, and I thought a lot about the business. We all know this business is disgusting. It's a disgusting, cutthroat, awful, evil, rotten business, mm -hmm. but we're in it for better or for worse. And I just realized something. There are so many people in this business where they don't give a fuck about integrity or quality or their art or anything. They just want to be known. They just want to be fucking known because they're that sick and self-centered and psychotic. They just want to be known. And they don't even know why. The fuck did I do to you, yeah. man? <laughs> what the fuck? And I've just been thinking about it, and it's just it's just helped me, even outside of this, this business. This doesn't out. really sound like a tease, Joe. This sounds like the uh, it sounds no, like meat the of the thing. subject. No, Is that's this it. still the that's tease. It. That's oh. all I'm gonna say. Sorry, was that too no, long? No, it's my <laughs> first time doing a radio tease. <laughs> that's hilarious. Look how he gets. I know. I don't know. I was gonna. That's all right, it. It's sort of a tease. All right. All right. But do you have names and situations? I can't name names. Then you I got to see these people. Then you did the entire bit already. No, no, no. I, I, I feel like there's a lot here. Okay. All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll just see. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Serious XM. Well, God damn. Joe uh, DeRosa was ranting pretty, pretty good. Hey, I'm going to put two uh, shells up to your ears at the beach. Yeah. That's all the time for all me. All the time now. All the time. I think my laziness with uh, not cleaning my ears out ever might have saved my hearing, though. I think if really? I like, get oh, my... I plugged them up a little? I, I think. I think if I, if I just clean my ears, I'm going to be good. What's so going on? You're really anything, losing anything your hearing? Yeah, you're really losing your hearing? <laughs> oh, just a normal day. Yeah. What? <laughs> you're really losing your hearing? Well, I went to... Um, I went to... Uh, Bra a Brazilian steakhouse. The this best. is a scam going on. I haven't been here since I went to that place because I was sick for three days. Scam? I'm sick this week, guys. You got sick from the, from the flu? No, no. I had something going on. I, I, it started with a sore throat, and then I, I, I think it was the flu. I'm good now, though. Oh, jeez. A little clogged, but I'm much better. But I went to a, a place in Philly, and they treated us great. The service was great, blah, blah, blah. But, man, people started tweet. I love Twitter because they, they turn you on to shit. Got, uh, a bunch of people go, oh, I, I know you're at a Brazilian steakhouse right now because I said it on the show. To like pass on the few, uh, pass on the meat for a while. They'll bring the good stuff out eventually. They what? fucking hit you up with some cheap shit. Oh, initially to make you full. This is what I figured out. Why wouldn't they do that? Oh, this is what I figured out because it's expensive to go to a Brazilian steakhouse because you're like, holy fuck, I'm going to eat meat until I pass out, basically. This is what they do. I fucking saw it in front of my eyes. Wow. They start with a really nice piece of meat, like a sirloin, really spiced up nice. Right. So you get the first uh, tape. Wow, it's weird doing radio without headphones. Yeah, <laughs> what are you Fuck thinking? Fuck my ears. What the hell are you thinking? I right. like it with the headphones off. I never really? wear them until you start taking calls. That felt weird. Now I'm, I'm back in my environment. Who gives a fuck about my hearing? 
Half the shit that people say around me, I don't want to hear. You don't anyway. want to hear it anyway. That's a great idea. Ah, screw you, I'm turning my hearing aid down. <laughs> <laughs> they they see me checking my phone and stuff because I can't hear the conversation at the table. So thank God for cell phones. You got them. You get, you have a you, you have an out. Like oh no, I got to check on some shit. But anyway, so it's that bad that you can't hear conversations at dinner table. Well, what? <laughs> Come on, I can Come hear. On. In my day to day life, I could hear everything. But when it's in a crowded restaurant with a lot of other noise, I, I can't like pinpoint voices anymore. <laughs> it's all just uh, it's just all noise. Jeez, all right. I guess your I guess your ears were were made where if you're in loud environments, you could like actually hear individual people. But when you've been doing radio since you were 18 years old, Ain't I guess that happen. part of your hearing goes away. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not like you've been like doing like tech at concerts since you were eighteen. Is it that loud? Oh my in your god, ears? I've gone to a shitload of concerts too. Not as many in the last ten years, but fuck, I've gone to hundreds of shows. But I mean, the actual hundreds. Do, the actual doing radio part, it's bad just having the headphones on every day. Yeah. Well, because then you you start like cheating on the volume and make it a little louder. Your like, ears aren't made to have an amplification device on them every fucking day. It's just not good. Right. Right. It's so Jesus. yeah. Uh, really fast on the Brazilian steakhouses. Mm. So thanks to the people on Twitter, for real. They t they break out the really nice piece of meat to, to start you off. So you're like, oh, fuck. It was so worth coming to this Brazilian steakhouse. $100 a head or whatever the fuck it turns out to be after drinks and everything. So you have that first uh, slice, and you're like, oh. And then they, they attack you. So they don't even give you time to <laughs> right. think. Like right. You don't even have time to think. Whatever they're, You're hungry. You've been saving your appetite all day. This is what people do when you go to one of these places. So then they, they hit you with the shitty chicken. But they wrap it in bacon to make it like, no, this is good chicken. And we're making it even better. Man. It's shitty chicken. It is. The bacon wrapped chicken stinks every time. It right. never is good. And then they break out the steak again. But now it's the fattier one. Not the good fatty. Not the marble. Oh. Oh, man, fatty. and then they break out. I don't know. I'm trying to think like a sausage sausage in general is like whatever. shit. And then they eventually come back to the good shit again. Mm -hmm. So the people on Twitter told me, wait it out. Wait it out. Do they, thank look me at again. You? Do they look at you like, oh, this guy's on to our shit, it's a motherfucker. Like they got the knife and the thing. Do you want some? Yeah. No? I, yeah. They look at you like, right. yeah. All right. Right. I'm trying to yeah. think, but it's like every third or fourth uh, meat they come it's, out on the big skewer with the steak knives, by the way, that would chop your head off no problem. These these knives they use are ridiculously sharp. They hit you with a good one. They hit you with about two or three shittier ones, shittier, and then they go back to the good one just in case you're on to them, and then back to the shittier. And then it, uh, then it's all shittier, by the way, because by that point, you're bloated and you don't even know what you're doing anymore. Wow. Uh, yeah, I've, I have noticed that those places when I'm disgustingly full and I feel like I'm going to puke, all of a sudden they're like, would you like some uh, filet? And you're like, what yeah. the fuck, man? And at that, that point, at? you're yeah, at that point, you're so full, you're like, no. So now you're passing on the filet, so they get they, the filet goes a long way in those places. You, they filled you up with shit, so yes. you don't eat the good stuff. Not shit, brilliant. but just shittier. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You. It All is right. brilliant. You would never eat chicken uh, wrapped in bacon if you knew no. there was a nice filet no. waiting around yeah, What the is corner. this, Wendy's? Yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't. What is that? Yeah, I, 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 like, I like chicken. I eat chicken every fucking day. Chicken is relatively cheap. Can... You know, compared to the nice uh, and the nice fillet chicken, is... and I didn't know this until yeah. people on Twitter said, mm. "Dude, I go to these places. I'm a professional foodie. They like to call themselves foodies. Foodies, and they're like, trust me, wait it out. They'll hit you good. They'll hit you good to get you all into it, and then they're gonna hit you up with some uh, uh, less desirable uh, meats. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna in, uh, in I'm going to instate this policy. But they attack you, too. They come from all directions. So you don't even know what the fuck's going on. You're confused. So what you should do, take that nice filet, because that's what they start with, and then turn that fucking paddle over. Some places are green or, or red paddles. Uh, the place we went, I think it was yes, please, no, and no thanks, I think. So you go right to no thanks and just sit there and go, all right, let me see what the fuck's going on here. Yeah. Let yeah. me see what the fuck is actually being brought to me yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. Because exactly. they wrap a lot of their stuff in bacon because they know they're hiding a world of hurt. Uh, fuckers, man. All right. this is, That's great advice. I'm doing it. I, I, you know, it's not my thing. I mean, I, I'm just passing all, along what I learned. Yeah. Well, but it's yeah. your thing, though. That's this great, is though, because your... I never knew that. Go now. 
Go now. You'll have a great experience, but wait it out. I'll just pass. I and by the way, I places. also want to applaud my brother-in-laws. I, I went all in. I was like, I'm going for the experience. I ate like a fucking pig. My two brother-in-laws went an extra hour after I did. I'm amazed. Just am They ate another hour of meat. Were they sweating? The meat sweats? They said they couldn't think. They felt like they were drunk. They got drunk off of meat. Yeah, it we had a few cocktails, bad. but nothing crazy. They they yeah, felt yeah. like they got drunk from meat. They had so much. The sodium intake. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm gonna. There, there was one right near my uh, old apartment. That's the one I went to uh, for my uh, with my uncles and my cousins, and we had shit stories for days after that place. It was good though. I used to eat there till I was. They literally thought I was going to throw up, and the food was great, but I just felt I was going to throw up. But do you ever throw up from? F I've literally thrown up from eating too much. Oh right, never. We drinking oh. too much. <laughs> well, yeah. When I was a when I was an asshole uh, fraternity guy, we all went to spring break to, together, and we went to one of those all you can eat bu buffets, and we ate until we puked, and we actually were humming "We Are the World" as we were. This is a true story. Oh. While we were puking in the bathroom. And then we came back out and continued eating. That isn't very sensitive. No, no. I, uh, yeah, when I was in college, we went on spring break. And one night, my buddy challenged me to an eating contest. He's like, I can eat more than you. And I was really, like, proud of how much I could eat. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, you fucking can't, man. I really took it like a challenge. And he's like, let's do it. And we just, we were at a Taco Bell. We started going at it. We ate I, we each ate six tacos first at the Taco Bell. Then I ate a Choco Taco. <laughs> uh, Choco Taco. What's a Choco Taco? It's a chocolate the taco dessert. And yeah. See, I don't know. That yeah. I, I, I they try don't have to avoid the fast food place. The I dessert really try. one. Choco, Choco Taco. <laughs> then, That's great. Then we went to we went to 7-Eleven. That's the... I, I never knew this existed. They, no, really, yeah, they sell them on ice cream trucks. They're not just like at uh, at fast food places. Oh, they yeah, sell, I've, I've seen them on the ice cream uh, truck. They're great. Oh, they're delicious. Delicious. Yeah, the they're shells great. made a cone of waffle cone. There's ice cream in the middle. It's dipped in chocolate. It's great. That's some nuts. So then we went to 7-Eleven, and we've got a bunch of shit there. We're eating it and went somewhere else, got a bunch of shit. And the last stop was I got McDonald's, and he got Waffle House. Yeah. And I got cheeseburgers at McDonald's, and he got a fucking egg runny egg sandwich at Waffle House uh. and we're in the car we're like this is it we were so sick and I started eating the cheeseburgers and he bit the egg sandwich from Waffle House and he turned to me and he goes please let's stop and as he said, as he said it had egg yolk running all down his face into his beard. Disgusting. It was so gross. He goes, please, let's stop. Let's stop. And I go, all right, all right. Do you tap out? Do you tap out? And he's like, I tap out, you win. And I go, all right, I won. And I, like, jumped out of the car and just started fucking throwing up. That's great. It was disgusting. That's awesome. But it's fun to do I, that. I've never eaten until I uh, puked. It's not, it not feel Because I just can't get any more food in me. Well, you got to you muscle through yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. I'm a, here's a guy. Here's a guy. Uh, Jim in Newark. He, he went to a Brazilian barbecue. It, it, was it one of those Brazilian steakhouses where it's all you could eat? Yeah, there's a joint on, uh, on 21. But we used to go there with my coworkers once a month. And, uh, you know, they come over. They, they bring the meats on the skewers. Like you said, everything's wrapped in bacon. And, uh, and I ate... We ate for a good 45 minutes. They probably came around two different times with the skewers. Uh, about 45 minutes later, I had a gallbladder attack. And uh, I was in the hospital for three days. I had to get my gallbladder removed. <laughs> you needed surgery because of your fucking piggedness. <laughs> yeah, but, but, I mean, when you go to these places, you're not just picking around. Even the, even the women we went with were eating. So fucking and they're all in, out. They're in all in good shape, and you know they they take care of themselves. But man, they fucking went all in. I was proud of them. Yeah, you got it. I was proud of them. You got it. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you do it. You right. know. But I he mean, lost his gallbladder because of one of these places. Wow. It's like a war <laughs> war injury. Fuck you, Gary. <laughs> it G Gary. It's a, is that his name Gary? No, one of our bosses just walked by. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, the guy that just <laughs> there he's walking away. He's walking away. Just walk away. He's he like a Stanley Tucci from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just react. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. It's very involuntary. Let's start. Well, I'm fucking pissed off because uh, I told Ann before the show, I'll tell you guys, I was sick for three days, and that asshole is uh, emailing our agent like, uh, well, we, we want to know if he's coming back to I work tomorrow. I told you, dude. It's unbelievable what we they do. We all get hit with this shit. Ann thinks he's the only one, and I had to, I had to make sure he knew that, it, that he's not the only one. It's amazing. Why is he emailing my fucking agent? Because I'm sick. He wants a note. I have every right to fucking take the whole week if I wanted to. Did you give him a note? I came back early. I I, I easily could have uh, taken yesterday. Easily. Yeah, and then and know. then if you take four out of the five, you take the fifth and go, you know what, I'll just start fresh Monday. But this fucking asshole's emailing my agent going, yeah. we, we want to know if he's coming back tomorrow. Fuck you. Here I got go. sick days. I'm using them. <laughs> Did you request the days off? No, I was sick. <laughs> if you're sick, you're sick. You shouldn't have to email my agent. This is, what I, him. this is what I'm talking about. Now we're getting into it. Really? This is what I want to do. Why the fuck is he emailing my agent? <laughs> yeah. Did he think I was faking? And even if I was faking, it's none of your fucking business. <laughs> you probably should add a note. Yeah. <laughs> Holy and shit. Who I, that pissed me off. And I didn't even know about this until yesterday because I was, I was so sick. I wasn't checking corporate email or nothing. So I, all of a sudden I, I, I open my corporate email to catch up a little bit, and I see all these emails going back and forth. And then my agent's like, oh, uh, I got an email from the company, and they're wondering if you're coming back tomorrow. And then I, I want to, and then I want to tell my agent Bob Eman, go fuck yourself. How about you tell the company to go fuck themselves? Uh -huh. Why are you playing into their stupid game? Uh, I I need to. They want to know if you're coming back to work tomorrow, so uh, I'm emailing you now. Unbelievable! Holy I'm fucking fuck. believable! Who do they think generated the sufficient dollar revenue to start this network? Thank exactly. you. That's right. Oh, that's God. right. Gary. <laughs> so that's why the fuck you to him. And that's why he fucking went back to his cubicle. Yeah. You don't know where you're going because you don't know your history, Gary. It's called talent. You'd know it if you ever spent a day in your life. I would love to know what that's about. If you're sick, you're sick. I'm with you on this. They, I don't even know the guy. I'm with you. They constantly and, do that. And most, most of the times I come in here sick and still do the radio show. But, uh, you know, Kenny was the one. He's like, yeah, why fucking kill yourself over the, those assholes? I'm like, you know what? You're right. You know that he, I was in the car. Did you talk about this? On Wednesday, I was actually in the car coming to work. And Kenny looks at me. He's like, you're not ready to come back to work. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what, Kenny? You're right. Maybe fucking he just, drive me back home. Maybe he just didn't want to get you your food that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he was the one. I was actually on my way in. Really? And I go, you don't even yeah. know this? No, I'm just saying for the oh, audience. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kenny goes, you, I knew. I'm just like, really? Kenny goes, you look like you're still sick. And I'm like, you know what, Kenny? I am still sick. Turn the fucking car around. And then I had a joke to the doorman. I'm like, huh, short day today. <laughs> uh, speaking of short, oh, you I got asshole. some movies. <laughs> that was that guy. He should have slammed the door work. in your face. <laughs> short work day. I worked five minutes today. <laughs> ah, tough day. <laughs> but then I had to fucking get emails from these assholes. What fuck the fuck you. do you got to do in this business to take a sick day? Half these people don't work Fridays. They call it uh, Summer Fridays. And they're going to bust my balls because I'm, uh, I'm actually sick? I fucking uh, prefaced when I was going to be off. I, I said, you know, I don't feel good. I'm probably not going to come in tomorrow and shit like that. And I said, I don't want to fucking hear one goddamn person calling my agent like it's my parents. Right. Oh, yeah, what is he sick? Is he uh, really? What, what, what is I, this? I know you, you probably feel like they only uh, do it to you. Trust me. They do it to all of us. Oh, assholes. Well, what? Here's they my question. All of us. Here's, if I may, yeah. pose a question. It's not my business, but I'm a prick, and I like to stick my nose into things. Sure. Here's my question. What do they think is going to happen? Do they think the ONA audience is not going to listen anymore because one of you isn't here for a week? Do they think that the audience is going to turn their back? Do they think that oh, yeah. people are going to go, oh, the show sucks now. Opie was out for a week or Ant was out for a week. It's Plus, like they're going to – they know what the fuck the deal is. Plus, we, we're doing them a favor. You know that it's rare that both of us are gone? We give them all, we give them live shows. We give them so much more live shows than we used to. There used to be a policy that me and Ann had with each other. One guy out, we both we're both out. Yeah. So if one guy's sick, guess what? We're both technically sick. One guy takes a, a day, we're both taking a right. day. Vacation, we're both taking vacations. Now we worked it out in such a way that it's nothing but live shows. They're now. still getting live shows, right? But the amount of live shows we do compared to Howard Stern, it's laughable. And and then on top of that, this asshole has to email my agent. 
Because I might be, might be. No, I actually was sick this dude, time. Dude, it's a power thing. It's all it is. Yeah, well, it's fuck all you, it Gary. Is. Fuck you, Steve Blatter. Fuck you, Scott Greenstein. Fuck you, Mel Carmazin. Leave me the fuck alone. I was sick. I love it. I shouldn't say fuck Mel. They'll leave you alone, all right. Know. He actually asked me the other day. He goes, "Oh wow, you still work here?" I'm like, "Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks." I know he likes to joke a little bit, but it's like, "Thanks." Yeah, that's his little. Joke. Oh wow, you still work here? Yeah, I do. How about you take notice that we're kicking ass for you? Anyway, what were you gonna say? I love it, dude. I want to. I want to trash people. I'm into this. Well, <laughs> anybody you want to trash? We'll jump right on board with Lots you. Lots of people. How about that fat fuck on the bus? No. Oh, you know <laughs> we got to get Tammy in here because I ain't staying late for oh, nobody. Yeah. Where today. is she? I saw Tammy Pescatelli in the. Uh, oh, is Tammy here? In the yeah. lobby yesterday. Oh, Tammy. Tammy's here. And I got guilted into inviting her on the show. Guilted. But, but please don't let her know that. Well, She's get a her in here. I love her, but I saw her in the lobby and I gulped and went, uh, you want to come in tomorrow? <laughs> She's a sweetie. <laughs> we love Tammy. And get her in here. Tammy Hi, Pescatelli. Tammy. How are you, sweetie? I'm good. How are you? Take a seat right Hi, here. Hi, Tammy. See, I, I said I wanted you on the show. See? I know. That was so sweet. I felt like I was stalking you. I, I ran into him just coming in and he was like, like, oh, come on the show. And I said, you don't have to do that, really. It I know. Like I had to you look like you could be any one of my relatives at, like, holiday dinner at my oh, grandma's house. I love house. you. I got to tell you, I <laughs> feel so I much better you. about myself now. Really? Because I, like, you know, I, I'm 42 years old. I felt like I hit the wall. I'm, like, I'm no longer <laughs> cute. And, and then I'm walking through the streets in New York in this heat, and yeah. I realize how fucking ugly people are. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting pieces <laughs> of flesh and flab are folded over like origami underneath, like, these Chicks, bras, and baby uh, vaginas are hanging out. Back to Most humans oh. are ugly. It's so crazy. I'm not one of those. I'm pretty good looking. But, <laughs> it, but uh, <laughs> it's not that I always thought that I was like, you know, you comparatively. Should lose, you should lose the bra, and then people will really fucking ho oh, holler. Oh, forget man. it. I'd have yeah, to hire Snooki right. to hold they, them up. They're oh, like, really? They're, 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 please, I'm old. It's not even close. Oh, you're not old. You look good. Anymore. Tammy, you Thank look you. good. Were you like yeah. wild in your younger days? Were you one of those girls? No, I got to tell you the truth. I wasn't because my father was like 6'5", 350. He was like a former lineman for the St. Louis Cardinals, you know? So I was always Wait, afraid. Wait, for real? Yeah, for real. You oh, played sure. in the NFL? Yeah, So, but oh, in the man. old days when they made like $12 and had second <laughs> jobs in the summer, you know, so it's not like some big badge of honor. And, uh, you know, so I now, now I wish, now that I see, I'm like, holy shit, I should have been a whore. That would have been so much better. Maybe I could have banged a guy to write my material because mm -hmm. I think that's a, a mm. real option now. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It really is. I'm so fucking stupid. Is. I really had great on. real tits. And had to write my own jokes. How ah, stupid. Shit. Yeah. If well, I was abroad, I'd be just banging all the way up that ladder. Well, I, all the yeah. way up a that ladder. A woman should never be homeless. No. Because there's a, you have a key yeah. to almost any house. If you got nice tits, you should never be homeless. Well, it's funny. This is the shit. time of year, though, that the girls who, like, put the fake boobs on, you know, like over the winter or having a hard time with boob sweat because they oh. never had them touched before. So right. like they're all <laughs> with <laughs> rashes sweat. they never knew. It's disgusting. Chicks Even the are, hottest chick. Uh, chicks have such an easy... It's easy because if you're a hot chick, you can bang a hot guy, you know, or maybe a guy with some cash or whatever. Uh -huh. And if you're a fat mess... You could bang a hot chick. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, like lesbian lipstick lesbians bang the most disgusting, yeah. Yeah. softball catcher fucking women. Dude, it's all about these fucking uh, uh, like dikey kind of hot girls these days are with these things. They're fucking fat. The hats on backwards and sideways. Yeah, exactly. The baseball Softball cap, catches. tatted up arms. Like they all look like oh. fucking. Uh, what's what's a fucking. Uh, Chaz Bono? Chaz Bono. I know. They, they all look like that now, and they're fucking like, and they, they mm -hmm. try to carry themselves like men. But the it's thing, disgusting. It's and it's, it's, it's like, for any woman out there that goes, you men will fuck anything, why don't you look at what half of you lesbians are fucking? <laughs> well, <that's laughs> you sink right. way lower than we you will. You wonder what happened to them, like, at Christmas time with their uncle. If that's what you're with, like, what kind of sick, fucked up bad things <laughs> happened to you? Right. Who got finger banged at Thanksgiving? <laughs> <you know? laughs> I love the accent, man. Oh, yeah. I'm from Cleveland, by the way, not Chicago. Oh. I don't Why does it sound from. like Chicago? Because it's, it's all area. messed up. No, We've been to Cleveland enough where I don't 
I hear people talk like because that. Because I'm married to a mook. That's why. My husband's hey, a, yeah. a really, really good guy, but he's like from Brooklyn, and he's first-generation oh, Italian. Man. And then I grew up with this weird Italian, Clevelandish accent because these people would move right from yeah. Brooklyn or over to Cleveland trying to get away. We, uh, we went back to Cleveland for the first time in five years, and... <clears throat> Absolutely nothing changed. It's oh, unbelievable. It, except that they it's the now weirdest. Have... It's the I, we don't want to trash it. It's just a weird fucking. Po- we no, can't figure I'm it from out. There, so I'll tell you, we have nobody. Like here's the thing. The only thing that changes is now they hate LeBron. Like that's the, <laughs> last night. I think more suicides happened in Cleveland yeah, probably really than ever. Yeah, they really bad for Cleveland. Oh, uh, it's all. Bad. Please feel bad. Because because you know what? I mean, he would have won that championship in Cleveland. You I think? Belie- I believe it. They were so what? close, and they were going to figure it out for him. Yeah, maybe. Well, maybe he didn't want to wait. Right. Well, but he what? He, dude, they had oh, a they nice. Were so <laughs> close, they didn't figure it out. Meanwhile, he now he does have a I ring. Know, Look at but... the Ravens. Listen, I ran into Ozzy Newsom, who was an amazing Cleveland Brown. Now he's like Ozzie the head. Newsom. He's the general manager at the Baltimore Ravens, <laughs> right. and he was at a show, and he goes, uh, yeah, we play you tomorrow. It's like during football season, and the Browns are playing the Ravens. I go, you are us. I'm like, you won the year after you left. It's right. just disgusting there. Yeah. I don't know anything about anything you guys are talking about. Sports. Is it, are these, are right? these sports teams that you're speaking Some of? Some type of sports thing the, going the broad, on. The broad knows more about sports than you. I do. I really Did I know nothing? It's disg- it's, if you start talking about uh, recipes, I can hop You do in. know the Miami Heat won the NBA championship last night. Right? Watch it no. Night. Why yeah. the fuck would I know that? That's just general knowledge that <laughs> if you're a human being, you just kind of know. Yeah. You know what I was doing last that night? That doesn't mean you have Bullying to watch people it. On the bus. <laughs> no, let me tell you what I was doing last night. This is how opposite of the end of that. I, I was playing Fist of the North Star on my Xbox. Oh, I don't my even God. know what that is. So. <laughs> I have no oh, idea what that my is. God, with your girlfriend from Canada, the supermodel. <laughs> yeah, I was playing This is the North Star on my Xbox, and then I watched uh, Chud. And planning his, <laughs> oh planning his trip to wow. Comic Con. That's what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> Chud had one Joe. download last night. It was Joe DeRosa. Yeah. How lonely are you? Str- you, 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 don't, you don't want to know. You I don't know even want to step but into this. I never as humanoid uh, underground dwellers. Yes. Joe, that's right. you can Chud. make them come and reenact that movie at your house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody They'd cares. They'd be happy. Don't come to a live uh, action uh, play uh, in your living room. Wow. <laughs> what were we talking about before Tammy came in? I just didn't want what? her to sit outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was we were on we were we, to Even s- though this is good, don't get can, me wrong. We are starting to trash people. That fat broad from the fucking uh, bus. Oh, oh, wait, can I tell half you a million. something? That thing just pisses me the hell off. We we turned the corner. Yeah. We felt I, bad, and now we're like, holy fuck, enough with this lady. No, you can't. Yeah. Some people deserve it. Some people have that annoying face that you gotta fucking say something to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, some people just deserve shit like that. Yes. And no one is strong anymore. If you grew up in an ethnic family, tell me something. If you grew up in an ethnic family, whatever was your flaw was your nickname. Yeah. And they did it to you. Like, my brother had a cock eye, and my son calls him Uncle Cocky. Because, like, <laughs> That's, you right, just yeah. were tough. Yeah. You were tough. They yeah. said shit to you that was so bad that when you left the house, no one could say anything to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Yeah. You my, had to buck up. My cousin cocksucker had to deal with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Terrible. different world, man. We yeah. got to take the, care uh, of everybody. We got to bring everybody up. Now. <laughs> everybody. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I didn't know that like people got offended by shut up. Until I shut moved, up. That, they're getting like, offended by that now. Well, because my family, we would be like, "Would you shut up? Shut oh, up!" Oh, and they think it's horrible, right? And then, like, when I, I remember, like, when I got out of the house, I was like talking to some girl, and she was running her fucking, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love Joe. And I, yeah. go, I go. <laughs> <laughs> right I love what Bert, what Bert goes where we goes and they were running their yaps, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. But she you was know, guys. They she was themselves. just up my ass about something. And I go, will you shut the fuck up, please? And oh, she goes. Man. Don't you fucking talk to me like that. And I was like, like what? That's like, I don't even understand. You white girls. You, if you, if you did anybody <laughs> with ethnicity, they'd be like, well, no, fuck you. Right. I'm right back at you. Yeah, it's well, difficult. Speaking of the bus Entitled. monitor, uh, because we have turned the corner. You know, we we feel like she should have got a year's salary tops, and she makes 15000 a year. That would have been nice. Look at me and my nose. You think I didn't take a lot of shit if you <laughs> could start giving some money. But you got Let's nice go. eyes. You got nice boobs. Yeah, you got a nice hell? figure. Where's the our hell? money? You can look Where's the money? We can look around the nose you got other Please. things happening there yeah. Adam Carolla picked on me why don't we just you know, oh, come did on. really well not really just in general oh, why don't we start a were you mad about the article he wrote not really because he's was not I. completely wrong yeah, I know. You know. He made some valid points, and people are writing to him like, you fucking asshole. Here's, here's my thing with it. Here's my thing with it. 
Uh, just for women the people. Aren't Thank funny, you. Right? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. knows how to do radio. <laughs> Jesus, Joe. <laughs> Fuck. People are tuning in for the first time. Hey, man, I'm here to plug my dates. <laughs> and that's it. Maybe they didn't hear what Adam said. I'm like, going to plug your dick. Adam that's went the with the whole women aren't thing. funny thing, but he had a little, uh, you know, insight to it. And yeah, and you didn't just throw was, that out there without any uh, fucking knowledge. There was a lot of backlash about it, obviously. Right. And here's my problem with it. If you're, number one, if you're a comic that kills, you, you don't care. Whether you're a guy or a girl and right. you kill, yep. you don't, you're like, whatever, I don't give a shit. And I, this is what I'm tired of, and I I'm, I don't say this to pick on women. It's just in this particular case, it pertains to women. It bothers me when somebody says something like that, and then female comics that aren't that funny, the ones that aren't that funny, I mean, come out and go, we can do it too. It's like, well, you know what? I could go to a fucking bench pressing contest and stand there and go, I could do that. Fucking do it. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, get up there and do it if you can do it. And if you can't, then shut up. And the ones that can, like you or Lisa or whoever, oh, thank you. they don't they don't say anything. Are you just saying Tammy because she's here? Right, that's right. No, right. Oh. Tam, no, no, no. she was wondering that. I saw it in her right. eyes. Why did you say I go? What? Is he I, you say just me? mentioned her and because who she's is here? this? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, Tammy's <laughs> fucking mine. Kathleen Madigan. No, <laughs> she, no, but I'm I'm not just saying that. I'm serious. Like you know, you you kill and Lisa kill. There's a lot of really killer I wrote chicks out there. My act, not as a chick. I wrote it as a comic, yeah. and then I happen wow, to be a you woman. Just nailed you know? it. Exactly. That's, why. That's exactly. That's exactly the whole thing. You just nailed it because I've been trying to figure out what that is. Always, you see these uh, female comics, and they're yeah, they're not just writing an act. It's like oh, I got to talk about my period and my overbearing mother. Right. And and that's not my that problem. That I'm still single at 35. It's, you, we've all heard the exact right. same jokes from and, a million different female comics. And the defense the defense of that shit will be like like if you go, ah, oh, women ch they talk about their period. A lot of female comics will go, well, if you had your period, you'd talk about it. It's like, guess what? There is an equivalent to guy period jokes. They're called dick jokes. Masturbation <laughs> yeah. jokes, I think. They are, jerk off jokes are about the same, yeah, right? And yeah. dick jokes are the go-to you stink as a comic insult. This guy's all fucking dick jokes. That's all he does is dick jokes. Right. It is the go-to thing to trash people yep. about in comedy. Right. And it's like, I'm so fucking tired but of it. it's great it's on like... a Dixie cup. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. I, yeah. I, here's the thing with Adam. First of all, it, if you said it, if, if Bill Burr said it, Bobby, I would be offended because I'm like, they're monsters. And I think I would feel bad. Adam Carolla, to me, isn't that funny. So... I don't right. really give a shit what Adam thinks about just That's a good and point. he has never really been at I've never seen him at my show so I can't take it personally cuz right. it's not like he Jerry Lewis said it probably like a week after I did the telethon and I was like, "Is that me? Wait, what was happened it there? me? Oh, like man. I did the telethon, and then Jerry and Lewis that's said when it. Jerry Lewis but said, he had yeah. a giant dome. Like his head was like a beach ball. So I can't really <laughs> think that his thoughts were connecting in his head. Yeah, he, so I he didn't start, know. He really got uncomfortable to look at on TV. Huh? He looks normal again now. I know. I know. I know. It's really rough. He's a. I don't, but he's also the kind of guy where he'd be like. He was great. He would be like comedy. blacks on funny, and then if you were yeah. a black guy, you'd be like, "Really? He, not you, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, I don't mean you. you." Like you know, well, you like know, he seems like that kind of guy. Traditionally, to me. Yeah. blacks are not funny. He'd be <laughs> right. like, "Yeah, what? <laughs> right, yeah. right. What? Yeah, not you, Bubula." Well, the, <laughs> Dean and I shut down the tunnels in New York City for 11 weeks straight. <laughs> the fucking ridiculous stories he tells. From 97th Street down to 8th, you couldn't drive a car. Uh, did I tell you guys that story? <laughs> really, Jerry? Uh, uh, hilarious. Dean, at the, at the, uh, uh, at the, the, whatever it is, the telethon that he does for... Yeah, the muscular dystrophy right. telethon, right. So I had never done anything like that. And, what, uh, what year? God, I think it was like 2004. It was just coming oh, off no the last comic, shit. right? So yeah. everybody was still alive, like Ed McMahon and Edith oh, Stephen really? Edie right. and, and wow. Robert Goulet. Oh, and I'm cool. like old getting standards. out going, how did I overshoot stardom? Like yeah, and just I end up yeah, on completely. that end. I just missed oh, it. Oh, man. Uh, those telethons, though, you got to climb a ladder, I think. That's all right. Yeah. So oh, right, like Alpy? You miss, you miss all the good parties. You just end up in a right. steam room with right. all those people. So listen Wait, what Ed's referring to, I also was on the MDA telethon. Okay. But I was on the local feed, and oh, I was an terrible. idiot fucking DJ on a, on the top of a ladder answering phone oh calls. Oh, my God. DJ. Call in now uh, for your pledges. You know, well, when they went local, then you got to that see was me. You? I didn't even get Nobody the national like, I'm spot. not going to get off this ladder until we raise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I was walking back to my dressing room, right, and I saw Robert Goulet, and I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. these guys are, yeah. you know. Bob, 
and, it, it, and he walks into, <laughs> he like goes off to the left, and you know, like those little kids with the little earpieces, they're like these free interns. She stops right in front of the room, and she goes, uh, yeah, I, I don't, and she runs away, and I'm just standing there. She comes back, she goes, that's your dressing room, and he is in there. Mm. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm sure. Fifteen minutes later, he comes out, swear to God, proverbial newspaper under the arm, gives me that little finger salute, and walks away. <laughs> he took salute. the most atrocious dump <laughs> in my dressing room that they had to move my call time. I got wow. I, I got goulade. Like, it was so fucking <laughs> oh, awful. Uh, you know, oh, it, you know I, it had to be like a stewy dump. Oh, it's Horrible, like a 74-year-old. Old oh, casino died, foodie beating all the time. I've been on the gray side. Um, <laughs> One of those. I'm hoping to get the Tropicana in Atlantic yeah. City. I so own my own tux. Sweetie, <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta pass a surf and turf in your dressing room. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me. Wow. You know how bad it was. He couldn't make it from his dressing room to the stage oh, without. God. Time. <laughs> Last time I took a shit like that, Joey Bishop was walking in the dressing. Room. <laughs> Funny story. True story. Uh, Joey Bishop. And, <laughs> right. I, was, I was in Leslie Nielsen's trailer. We were shooting Naked Gun to it. I fucked Priscilla Holy Presley shit. in her ass, then I took a dump in her fucking boudet. We gotta get back to the bus. We gotta get back to the bus monitor for a second. So this guy sets up a website for donations, right? Right. Holy fuck! Since we've been on the air, could, what's the total up to? Well, the total's at four seventy one. Hold on, four seventy one. Okay. I think if you donate, right. you get to Christ. sling something at her. Like, if I, I'll give you fifty bucks if I get to just annihilate you for a while. Can I Skype and personally pick this, on you? This is she, what I, this she, is what I want to say. Thank you. Let me say it, Joe. She has made, <laughs> and this is why Ant's completely outraged, and I'm right behind him at this point. Yeah. She has made. Forty-four thousand dollars since we started this radio show. Since Shut we started up. the show. Since we started the show. I have lost twenty-eight dollars since we started the show. She has made forty-four thousand dollars since we started the you show. You fucking believe She's that? She's going to make close to fifty thousand uh, in 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 the time we've Can done you this radio show. Believe that? Why don't we let people pick on us to She's raise making, money? She's making fifty thousand every four hours at this point. Because and, and and you know a lot of people were sleeping. This number's going to go up. I, I yeah, said right. she's going to make... 7 o'clock on the West Coast. She's going to make a million dollars by the time this is And you know, Corky from done. Life Goes On is homeless. Right. And yeah. he brought us right. hours of television joy. Jesus Christ. You it, know the money I is deserve? Is he really homeless? Because that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, I th yeah, they <laughs> said he, he's like in one of those homes that... Oh, boy. Just yeah, from... Free. <laughs> just from... Boy, he didn't know how to fucking like, manage his stuff. money. What an he's idiot. Trying to, uh, he's what trying to fuck the old retards. What is he, a retard? I was on television. What the fuck is he thinking? Oh. Fucking retards are bad with money. I've always said it. <laughs> She'll be, she really will. She'll be broke. She'll, some fat black guy will marry her yeah. <laughs> and steal it all from her. Oh, man. I, I did the fucking seller trashings that I've gone through. The money I fucking deserve. Uh, yeah. From Keith Robinson alone. Just the shit oh, people man, say yeah. to us on Twitter, we should get a fucking handout. Right? What about the uh, drunk the broad at 1030 who just feels like the world should be handed to her right. because she's hot and just mm -hmm. interrupts uh, constantly and you can't get a thought out? Yeah. God damn it. I hate everything. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm at my, I'm at like the, I'm going to hang it up point. I, I'm serious. I'm, I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I can't make sense of anything anymore. I hate everything. I want out, dude. I, I really think about leaving the country yeah. like a lot. Oh, God, I hope that like, happens. Where, where would you go? You go? <laughs> yeah. oh, and where would you go? That was an inner thought. Sorry. <laughs> Look, I'll call you guys from the plane. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's just a good one. Where, uh -oh. where would you go, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Egypt to find his biological father. Oh, would you go to Egypt? Where would you go? Oh, dude, I think about going to Italy or yeah, yeah. or England, just anywhere. What about like Amsterdam, Canada? I think about Canada a lot. Do you Canada? think? Do you think it's? Really? Do you yeah, think Holland? it's that much different where people are magically not assholes and? Ah, uh, they're you look. They're they're Europe. They're real fucking cunts over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like I'd I'm, rather deal with cunts. Then morons. That comes from a country that was like bombed into oblivion and had to rebuild I'm, everything. Yeah, I mean it's, <laughs> it's, it's like cunts. I'm thinking you know, they, they, yeah, yeah. they got this attitude of <laughs> yeah, being yeah. bombed. I'm thinking Vancouver, <laughs> yeah, yeah. man. Vancouver's a place for you. And Vancouver, you can smoke weed. Vancouver seems mm. really nice. That's, yeah, I mean, look, it's just. I mean, how can you not we I take mean, over Vancouver, man? Just go, let's just go. I'm like, serious. The only bad thing about Vancouver is it's like it's New York expensive. 
like to live there. That's all right. No, really, what you should do is stay here in this country, but declare yourself Native American and like move oh. onto a reservation because they get to do whatever the hell they want. That's why I'm petrified to play those casinos because they have ultimate sovereignty. Yeah, I know. And I'm always afraid I'm going to offend like the tribal council and they're going to say you have to fucking live here for the rest of your life. <laughs> we're not going to. We're slave. not giving they you. They do a, make right. their own rules. Yeah. Right, they make their own rules. So if you <laughs> just have a, like just a quarter in prison drop, or something, right? Yeah. They don't have to give you, and the, and they can't come get you. Like the American government. Government cannot come get you. Sorry. You don't get your phone call and your due. Where do you think we want process? another fucking Custer's last stand? You're on your own, <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, yeah, I, exactly. I yeah. um, I have to say this. I tweeted the picture of the girl naked with the body paint, yeah. and I figured something out that I want to pass on. Oh. I I gave the advice on the Brazilian steakhouse. I got another one, Joe. What's that? When you see these girls that, uh, you know, they got their boobies out, they're topless, but they put the body paint on. Uh, it's another right. thing I'm sick of. But listen to me. <laughs> And they yeah. think they're all covered up and nice because they got paint over their boobs and stuff. Yeah. You put, and I didn't do this, but you could do it at home. You put a black and white filter on these broads, they're completely naked. Yeah. They're completely naked. Well, it takes away naked. the body paint. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you get all confused because you see all those colors and shit. <laughs> but you put a black and white filter on, you could see them completely naked. It looks like... It looks like they might have a tattoo or something, but besides that, they're naked it's, now. It's, 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 this whole body paint thing and this whole other thing, too, where now women like want to walk around topless. Yeah. It's like, I'm so sick and tired of people want... Well, in a perfect world, we should be able to do that. Well, guess what? We don't live in a perfect you world. We live fun. in a sick fucking world. Yes. And w you, there are horrible things that happen out there. Whether you want to recognize it or not, they happen. You can't walk around topless. It is an arousing you can thing in to New York men. City. But why? It's but, stupid. But women want. It's just do causing... It. It's going to cause problems. That's yeah, all it's going to do. You know, here's the thing. Go ahead and do it. But then don't get upset. Don't fucking whine and moan when some guys tell you exactly Exactly what they want to do to you when you get fucked and they don't call you don't stalk them let them be you just put it out there like that right like let You've it had be. a few of those in your uh... I, i'm writing a book really i swear to god called suck it up princess because i am so sick mm, yeah. of attitudes from chicks right now like that that princess mentality it really goes back to a long time ago i had this friend whose father was a cop and he was like this kind of straight up guy and he just looked at us we were like these two little girls and he goes listen if you want to be queen you got to kneel before the king oh <laughs> man holy like, shit all this stupid all right, that sounds <laughs> but, you sandusky ish know, yeah that, oh, for, it uh, seems like he might have got away with a few crimes that, uh, that guy is so disgusting <laughs> I turned so, the corner on him too <laughs> oh wait <laughs> do you want to do it by the way he doesn't well, so did everybody else who caught him in the locker yeah, room yeah. Oh. The the corner one thing quick. that hasn't been said about that when he goes to jail he doesn't even get Oh, fuck. He's not going to be punished. You don't think? Oh, oh dude, you can see in his so? face. He's like, whatever. You know he's what looking I, forward to the adventure. He's like, you know what I got away with? I knew this was coming eventually. Dude, they are going to widen don't give a fuck. his asshole. To so They're going to make it they so wide that the team would be able to run out of it at the beginning of you a think, fucking game. But you think they, one of the guys are going to give it up and, and sacrifice themselves to fuck some old man's disgusting. fucking asshole? Dude, in prison? Yeah. In prison? That's like fuck. if you're a child fucker, they destroy you and put like that's yeah, like I a, that's when you I, get the I, broom in your. I ass. think he'll yeah, get it's brutal. His, uh, the shit beat out of him, but no one's sticking their dick in Sandusky's ass. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> they're, gonna, not, they're not going to do it because well, they. I understand. <laughs> one, two, that's not how we did it. There's something to be said though for I understand they're not doing it because they're enjoying fucking it. It's like it's a rape. It's a power thing. I understand that, but there is a point. Where it does reach where you can't even fucking do it just for the Dude, sake no of way. fucking someone up. No way. They He'll might be... shove a fucking broom and handle up his that's ass. That's what I think. They'll beat the, the shit out of him. No one's sticking nope. their dick in nope. his you're ass. The He'll, be... He'll be protected, Joe, first of all. No fucking they way. Fuck you're telling to me. Fuck women. You're... <laughs> yeah. that would be you're telling me. You're telling me <laughs> what that there aren't going to be convicts lining up in prison to they, go, they, they, I fucked. I fuck Sandusky first. I taught they're him gonna, a fucking... You don't think people are going to line up for, for their... They're hoping, you living. they're hoping for a chance, this probably, is, it's, but it, it's more from going to be protected. Yeah, bro. <laughs> What's that? They're gonna, he's going to be protected. No, no one's no. fucking Sandusky asshole. Nobody. Who's going to 
protect him. So. You think they're throwing him in just general pop? No, Dude, I... he, they are going to throw the fucking book at this guy. Because this is how everything works now, is everything is back compensation. They realized, oh shit, people got away, he got away with this for a long fuck. we got to make a fucking, we got to do something really harsh now. They are going to make an example out of this guy. We fucked up with OJ, we can't do that again, we got to throw the book at this guy. I'm telling oh, you. Oh yeah, we There'll know be all that. But... Raising money for his yeah, wife. He's, he's, a, he's a, a high profile. profile. King. He's high profile. He's a high profile. <laughs> <laughs> he's a high profile. He's fuck kids. I know, but he's, they high, protect, he's, high, he's, profile. he's a high profile Trust me, inmate and they protect Something will go wrong and someone will get at him. But it, it's, it's like Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. Would uh, they beat Gardner him with the, the back way. of the toilet or something? In the something, end, right? yeah, they, they got him at the, the, the toilet, man. Is that but how he protect, died? Yeah, they yeah, protected they, him. I think but, they beat him in, but he had a little toilet. job and uh, someone got to him finally. But it, was, it wasn't it was even about what he did, though. It was like he had a some kind of prison beef, beef going on. Yeah. A prison beef. Yeah. Look at us talking lingo. Yeah, he had some beef with some other guy. So he shanked him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> fucking he, that guy ain't going to suffer in prison. I, I, anytime soon. He'll suffer. He doesn't even But he's not getting fucked. He'll suffer just because he can't get to I think we're getting away from the point. I think we're getting away from the issue here of him getting a dick in his asshole. I don't see it happening. And he might just enjoy that anyway. Yeah. I mean, who, I mean, he, Everybody will be younger than him in prison. Yeah. I, yeah, oh, man. I'd bang a woman his age. So if I was gay, I'd bang him. But jo it's not a gay Joe likes, thing. Uh, it's not Joe a... likes old broads. Well, if you wait long enough, you can get anybody. I remember Farrah Fawcett before she died. He used to come to the improv in L.A. all the time. And you remember, you know, Jimmy Schubert, great comic, very funny. He goes, I had well, such Well, that's your opinion. He goes, I had, a, I had <laughs> such <laughs> I had such yeah. a great yeah. crush on her well, when hold I was on. a kid. I, 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 I apologize, That's but it. he might have had a tough time at one of our virus shows. That's really? the only reason I say well, that. Who wouldn't? I All like right. Jimmy Schubert a lot. Actually. Some That's people true. would. All right, but true. anyway, he had a he crush goes, on her. I had a crush on her so bad. All I wanted to do is be with her when I was I'm like... You can get her now. If you just yeah. wait long enough, you can get any of them. That's the best thing about Comic Con is you go up to like Daisy Duke. And you're like, Ugh, I could fuck you in the bathroom right now, probably. <laughs> you feel like you got a shot. Yeah, I feel good about you did over you, my bed. Did right. you think about that after watching Chud last night? <laughs> yes, I, I got a text here from somebody in the know. Okay. Uh, uh, more than likely, he will be in the uh, SHU, S H U, segregated, segregated housing unit. Uh, for the, his entire sentence. Yeah, they protect him because they don't want the mm. bad reputation that yes. some shit went down in their prison. Thank you, Vincent. Or in their right. county and all that then shit. Maybe they'll it's just poison bullpen. him a little bit at a time. No, but something will go wrong and somebody will get to him. It'll, it'll take a while. I love to Somebody do... that knows they're leaving the job soon might look the other way. Uh, you know, that crap. I think they should... <laughs> Put that dude no, in Texas. Remember no. that dude in Texas well, that well, just well. beat the oh, yeah, shit, yeah. just killed the guy from less than. By the way, daughter? no charges. Yeah. No officially. charges. It's the best None. thing ever. It, it, they've decided no charges. He was protecting his daughter. That's yep. what he did. He had to yep. pull the guy off of him, uh, her. So oh, obviously, my God, I can't even think about yeah, it. Another text. I was just laughing at Joe DeRosa. Uh, yeah, a text about Joe DeRosa meeting his biological parents mm -hmm. or the, the the fantasy we had. Uh, earlier about we think he should because happened. they might be rich. What is this? Right. Doctor, this is Dr. Steve. Of okay. Course. He Dr. goes, tell Steve. Hosni DeRosa <laughs> if he meets his biological parents, they'll just hate him like everyone else does. <laughs> wow. Jesus. See, Joe. Aww. Jesus, Steve. And we wonder why you have abandonment issues. But there was Aww. there was a weird. winky face at the end of it. Oh, a winky Aww. face. That makes everything good. All right. A winky face makes everything better. Yeah, actually it does. I've had nice <laughs> yeah. emails with Dr. Steve. Dr. Uh, Steve's a good guy. Yeah, just... tell him to. Tell, can I have his number? Because I need a doctor to call him oh, prescriptions no. for me. So I don't have insurance. Uh oh. <laughs> he doesn't you do know that? He used to be my. Huh? Uh... He doesn't do that. What are you, nuts? Can doctors not do that? No, no it's totally illegal. That. They they gotta gotta see you. Yeah, he doesn't do that shit. They have, oh, to, I didn't see, know they that. have to see you. Well, that's something. what I mean. I need a guy I can see. You need yeah, to find yeah. a doctor. Go to Mexico. That, you need to find like an Elvis Presley <laughs> type doctor. I thought doctors could just do that for you. No, you can't do that. What he will do, though. What he will do is he'll re uh, refer a doctor to Who for you to you? go to. Yeah, and then Nicole Smith. <laughs> yeah, right. I need twenty doctors because I need. Well, I need uh, you know, once a year I get a flu or something, and they, you know. Well, well that's what happened to me. You have you have me a doctor. Well, I don't have health insurance. <laughs> I'm I need sure a... this guy's out there, oh, but he's not. He's not. That I didn't know that guy. was illegal. I thought the doctors no, could just man, do that. Do that All this time, I went to become friends with a doctor, so I could. Well, well, it, it. it does happen, but uh, well, you know who used to take care of us in the early days was Ken Jung because he was a doctor. And if you didn't have health insurance, he would, like, just charge you minimal. Like, if you got strep throat or whatever, you'd go see him. It's like and 
fucking you know, Dr. Baker bucks. on there. Yeah, is there a doctor out there that can do that for me? Is there a doctor in the uh, house? Yeah, the only sure. doctor I know is shooting the Hangover 3. <laughs> so, <laughs> are they going <laughs> for 3? Career. Of course they are. I, of course. Come uh, on. Two, of course they two are. Was, uh, 2 was this 1. This is where Zach shaves one. his beard. Oh, it's going to be crazy, I half bet. Half of it. Just half. Ken Jong's penis is so fucking tiny. And then I was thinking... Everything looks bigger on TV to begin with, right? Or in movies? My nose is Pound. bigger no. than his penis. <laughs> the camera adds 10 pounds is what All you're right, thinking. All right, so of. then it has to make your penis look bigger then? No, so how tiny ten, is this thing? It adds 10 pounds. It doesn't make it look bigger. <laughs> if you're yeah. adding 10 pounds on your body in general, it would make your penis look bigger. No, it would just naked. make you look bulkier. You think? It doesn't really do anything. It's a horse shit lie his penis is fucking that tiny. fat women did, made did you freeze it really frame it and look tiny. at it like it i had to go it it's my friend tiny, i don't yeah. want to yeah. see it we didn't have to it, oh. it, it is tiny it doesn't help that he's got that giant bush around him <laughs> 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 right? like that. no <laughs> i think that makes it look smaller <laughs> that's an asian thing yeah though, clear right? out that brush they like and, growing you know, that shit down there or that bush i don't know what that's about yeah i mean uh you know fuck man uh you know we're all set we're all set for ken jong why are you sad his for tiny, him? Tiny, his tiny dick, penis. His little dick, his little dick. I take a little dick for a that little career? more. career? Yeah. Right? Look at that. Yeah. And he's a doctor, too. Oh. Wow, I'm like, glad can you, he make you I, feel worse about yourself? I'm glad you, you finished that statement. Oh, you thought I was saying I'd take that little dick? <laughs> yes, I'll, Jerry no, Sandusky I'll Jr. I'll take that little dick. <laughs> but, uh, you want to wow. feel bad? Only if it was <laughs> attached to a certain lady. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's not a lady. Why do we have to talk about the same shit every time? No, we're not. I'm not It's not a lady. Let's not do it again. I know. It's I missed something, but I, I'm sure I get not, it. Trust me, I read Bailey. Jimmy's books, Bailey. so Bailey. I get. Billy J has Bailey a Jack. massive fucking penis and looks like and a I, girl. I, and I don't. Wow. I just don't think that makes you a lady. I think we outdid Nothing our... against her and whatever you whatever, but that just doesn't make you a lady. I think we reached the peak of this discussion when Gervais was here. I think that was oh, as was great. great as that discussion yeah, was ever going to get. Great, oh, I know that was terrific. I, he was my, yeah. I really love that cartoon. That. Whatever yeah, the yeah. Ricky Gervais show, I watch and it's so hard because my son will walk in the room and he thinks it's a a cartoon for like a kid to watch. I'm like, get the hell out of here! He's like, Mommy, I want to watch it. I'm oh, like, it's that. not SpongeBob. My kids watching Family Guy already. Oh, I was amazed by it too. I'm like, all right, all now I got something. It's all yeah, the he's looking at. Well, he's starting to figure shit out. It's two. It's too hard. A little over two now. How old's your kid? He's four. So, like, I can't be naked anymore. You can't do anything because there's a... What's that? <laughs> you were walking around Nothing. naked in front of your kid, though, for a while? while? Well, you do. when You you can't help it. You got to You got to shower. You, you got to do shit stuff. in front of them. They run on. in front of you. You got to shower. Like shower. Yeah, Put on a goddamn robe. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Put on a fucking robe. At least wear a bra or something. Kids going to remember that shit. He's going to grow up all fucking stunad. Please. Scott for life. It's Trust Scott me, for I life. We want to see his issues. mother's fucking uh, tits and fucking mm. pushy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like my dad. Come my on, I'm mother in law is always naked in front of us still. What? I, Who my is? mother in law will be just drop and be completely nah, naked. Now like you're just doing of, radio shit. I swear to God, in my <laughs> really? life, you could call my brother, all my, call all my sister in law. Your mother in law is just naked. I have seen her naked more than I saw my own mother naked in my whole life. I never saw, I saw my mom's tits Why? once when she bent over to tie my shoes. Oh, really no. Besides that, I never saw her oh, naked. Disgusting. <laughs> She had a she had big boobs. Holy Jesus. fuck! Can we get a set big them on either side of the that dinner table? Even. She had a little crazy. slip on, and we were at uh, we were living in a fucking uh, motel in Kutchog, New York, because our house was being redone, and she bent over to tie my shoes, and I saw her boobs, oh. her big tits. Oh. I love that you go. You're only <laughs> doing right. radio. No, this is my sick fucking life. That's okay? hard. I, was just <laughs> That's no. I wish. But I does she really? Is naked she has now? no problem na being naked now. It's How old is she? Uh, 64. Joe, you listening? Yeah. Oh, man. Joe no likes old. That's I, fucking you inconsiderate. Wanna, wanna bang Magda. I got a play. Joe's bang 60-year-olds. No, I never banged Tell a 60 year old. I, I hooked up with a 60 year old once when I was no, in my 20s. No, you didn't. Yeah, she was If hot. you bang a 60 year old, their <laughs> fucking hips break. Well, you didn't you even go through with it? You have to be it? gentle. Hold on to the walker. Why yeah. Yeah. Wait, Bend her over the walker. Through, you hooked Get those up tennis with balls squishing down. Yeah, why didn't you have sex level? with her? Like, why wouldn't you just yeah. go all the way? Yeah, why wouldn't you go all in I, at that point? Because she wouldn't come home with me. I made out with her in a bar against the wall. She would pick up her grandchild. A 60 year old with morals? What's that about? That's fucked up. What's she have to What are you expecting? 
Oh, she don't want to come home to fuck on the first fucking time you meet her and she's 60? Fuck her. Yeah, what else? Yeah, what is she waiting for? She thought you were going to put her in a home. That's Pig. what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I made out with her against the wall at a bar and I... And I, I Jesus. I, oh, my God. I grabbed her... Uh, That's right. The taste I grabbed of old her. lady red Yo, lipstick and effort dent. What a 60-year-old woman? Like, I, wait, I want to go back. Like, how did that happen? I, she was really attractive and I was really turned on by how old she was. Oh, wow. I like it's older so, women. Why are you acting surprised? I've talked to you about no, this. I, 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 know, I know, but, but it's a it, surprise every time. Every time. It, it's just odd to me that you were turned on that she was 60. I was completely turned on. Like, you can, I, I can understand you being like, yeah, I'll fuck her. But to actually be turned on that she's 60 is the weird part. I went after her. She was with a group of young girls. She was with a group Jesus, of girls John. in their 20s. So, and Jesus, I went John. after Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> Jesus Christ, John. Jesus Christ, John. Jesus Christ, John. It makes me fucking sick. Jesus Christ, John. Come on, now. Jesus Christ, John. Jesus. <laughs> I get it, DeRosa. We, we, we all get what you're into. We get it. We get it. We get it. You like to bang an old broad. It makes you feel like you're at home. She bakes you some fucking bag. Go fuck yeah, Here's the other one. Here's the other one he does. Hot Joe. Hot Joe. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus. So uh, she, you made out with her against the wall. <laughs> Dude, that's nothing, dude. I fucking seventy-seven-year-old broad oh, fingered my asshole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. would so be no, like, no, he has dude, one of those stories. Fine, dude. No, I know. It. Wasn't no it like a, col what a colonic story yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter where she was giving colonics in her apartment or for something. Free. And and I don't know. I don't want to put words in his mouth, but he he's yeah. Hey, Bobby's she him. next awesome. album should be called "That's Nothing, Dude." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's nothing. No matter dude. what story you tell him. Uh, yeah. Bobby, once I, you know, killed a man in a fucking alley. That's nothing, dude. That's nothing, dude. <laughs> I like when he talks about I sex, killed three dudes. and brings it down. But he's like, oh, dude, that's nothing. Let me tell you something. Send this chick, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fucking it. He gets that, you like, lean in and? yeah, the mm -hmm. down and dirty fucking and? Bobby Kelly talk. I used to, I used to, uh, I used to do tired Bobby. That's for tired, Colin, sometimes. Tired, yeah, tired, when you call Bobby, he's tired. He, he, Bobby, what's up? Ugh, dude, I'm just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yes. I just, and then Billy and me were laughing. We're going to say, Bobby, just even everything is food. Even when he's talking about how tired he is, it's all food terms. <laughs> ah, I'm just fucking cooked, dude. Right. <laughs> I fucking fried, got dude. up to I'm, I'm fried, dude. <laughs> 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 Ah, that's great. I don't know which Bobby's uh, the real one because you get sensitive, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Reflective type, Bobby. Sarcastic, angry. Sarcastic, angry. Yeah. Which one is he? There's a lot of shades to Bobby. You know, there's a lot of levels. Yeah, there's yes. a lot. There's a lot there. I don't he's know. A deep man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Tammy, what are you Who's promoting, by the way? Anything? Nothing. I'm at the Just Stress hanging. Factory. No, I'm at oh. I, not nothing. You're I'm at, at the Stress Club. Factory. And uh, by the way, that Vinny made a, a special because apparently I'm selling so well. <laughs> like, uh, oh, oh, no, shit. I'm not. Like 20 bucks for like dinner and the, really? the show. Nice yeah. little, uh, uh, what? Yeah. Little package. Little package. Little package. I like that uh, Stress Factory. Tammy's yeah. funny, yeah. man. Cool. If you're near uh, the Stress yeah. Factory, go oh, see Tammy thanks. Pescatelli. Yeah, definitely. We've been having fun. I'm having fun now, but you know. fuck Vinny and his stupid chicken wings. Jesus Christ. Takes more pride in his food sometimes than the comics. Relax. Well, it's so funny because he goes. Holy fuck, you know, I don't give a fuck your food's good. Joe, don't you think like all good? club owners now like give you a hard time about your ticket sales? Like you literally could have a sold out show and like, oh, yeah, you missed it by four. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you told everybody. I'll let you know when I. Out. I'll let you know when I have an almost sold out show. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus. Oh, Joey. Ah, oh, Joe, you had to bring that up, Joe. Jesus, Joe. Joe. Jesus Christ, fun, Joe. Joe. Jesus. Keep the illusion up, dude. Yeah. It's fucking Hollywood, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up, dude. What the fuck are you doing? You're never going to sell tickets. Now, you know what? <laughs> you <laughs> motherfuckers, this is going to be my weekend. Like, I, I, know, always, it's always, some I always take something from Friday, and it lasts the entire oh, fucking Joe. weekend. This whole weekend, I'm just going to be like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> What are you doing? Can I say, didn't seem Billy, although I was so happy for him, but I'm Breaking Bad, take you out of it. Did you used to watch that show? I, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a Breaking not a Bad guy. I, I got to get in. Episode one of this new season. You do not. And I'm watching it tonight. Oh, man. And I'm getting your house. four or three more episodes tomorrow. No way. Oh, yeah. I love it. I watch it's it so much. I watch it in a marathon like I could make meth now. Like you get crazy. I know. Don't you feel, feel like, like you could? Okay. Doesn't it feel like a viable career when you watch that? You're like, <laughs> why this is kind of good. Why do, people, why do people love Breaking Bad so much? 
It's just because I'm out. I I've, I haven't seen any. It's, it's just sick. Well, you, if you watch one, you'll see why. I'll be hooked, like I can't right? even tell. Yeah, it's the just pilot so... just hooked you immediately. You're like, what the fuck, fuck is it. going on? Yeah. yeah and then it. he's just it. great. Brian Cranston's fucking great in it. Uh, the story's good. It's it's like it's very stressful to watch. Like, oh no, what's he doing? They they really know how to do the uh, the cliffhanger very well. It takes it is not jump the shark by any stretch. Except no. that it's really right. hard for me to see Billy and Lavelle. I, it's really yeah, Billy like, coming to the door. It's like, <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, check the water or something. Oh yeah, yeah right. like, Jesus like, Christ! Oh, dude. I hate that when it happens because is it he a recurring shark. character now? He Billy? is now. Like it's like he's been in like three or four episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? he's like right. fucking. It yeah, is great. You, you make a fucking mess, Jesus Christ, dude! You make a fucking mess, <laughs> dude. <laughs> There he is. Can I help you? Yeah. Thanks. What were you just kidding? I love this. Look at the belt. Says nothing. No. It's just sweats. What's this about? I'll tell you what this is about, Mr. Banky. This is about you and me doing our best to keep Huel happy. Huel? The belt looks like Grimace. This is Huel. <laughs> Huel, you happy? Reasonably. What would make you unhappy? This little mofo not doing what he's told. <laughs> if you were to become unhappy, Mr. Benneke wouldn't care for that? I'm going to say no. Well, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. We've all Here heard we, that. There you have it. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you have it, Joe. And he's hot. That's straight out of his fucking act. I think Billy is hot. You're That's like straight out of Burr's act. Oh, yeah. oh, well, there you go. Well, it's the hardest job. <laughs> I thought roofing in the summer as a redhead was the hardest job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's fucking fantastic. Now he's an enforcer. Yeah, yeah. Now he's fucking racking head in a, a uh, TV show. Oh, this is, is the best. I, uh, don't watch that scene. Oh, no, if I don't you haven't seen it, that's it's true. Ruin it is it. a really, spurler. Shut it up. Yeah, really, because it's it's, it's really worth you sitting at home and oh. watching the all the seasons I back did a, to back yeah, in America on the weekend. Festivals where you just mm -hmm. sit there and. <laughs> Let it rot. Yeah, this yeah, I'm going into yeah. my fucking movie theater tonight. I cannot tonight. believe you. Popping this You have in. to call me and uh, tell me oh, what happened. No spoilers. Aunt, remember when I said that the bus monitor made $44,000? Shut up. I don't want yeah. to hear She's now up to 49000 She so, just made another 5000 since we just met. Pretty much 50 Could you guys publicly she humiliate made, me she made right 5, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just start. Just start heaping Is that trash. right? She made another 5000 in in the last half hour. Uh, Jesus, look at her. Fuck this broad. Watch her get hot. Watch her take that money. And oh get, man, like, that'd be hilarious. Surgery. All the guys at school. Five thousand right? in about fifteen minutes. Five thousand fifty minutes. Because now everyone's awake. <laughs> <laughs> She's not old enough yet, but in a couple of years. Would you, would you make out with oh. her against the wall? No. Can would I you... tell you though? I yeah. have seen comics bang <laughs> retards. Yeah. I, I did work Ew. with a comic who literally well, brought this. So retarded. is the person they're banging. <laughs> right, no, for, right, for, right. For this this guy, there was this little retarded group that came to the show, oh, and they shit. were like, they were nice. Like this girl had like on her pajamas and. It, you know, like those old kind of kimono -y pajamas. And uh, after the show, he was signing autographs. I thought, wow, that's really nice. He's taking time. I was like the feature. Uh, after this, back in condo days, right? So after I go back to the condo, he comes in with this girl. I'm thinking, this is weird. Maybe he needed a ride because he didn't have a car. Sure as hell, uh, he goes in the room and he calls her back huh. in there. They start making this. Bleh, bleh. If you ever heard a retard get pounded, it's absolutely wow. horrible, Ew, right? That's disgusting. Jeez. And then she leaves. And he literally comes out like he's smiling and stuff. And I go, hey. dude, you're, I don't even understand. Like, I did. You, why would you cheat on your wife with that? And he goes, who will believe it? <laughs> <laughs> but she was alibi. legit retarded. For real. Not, not no, not like, li not like Mongol. You know what right. I mean? But like, like, what obviously level? slow, what level? obviously, yeah, yeah. you know, really like oh, she got a, a check. check. Oh, well, she got a, a, check. a woman. Oh boy. <laughs> she got a check oh, from Adam Carolla. Look out. Whoa. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, women aren't funny. <laughs> I, 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 all they're good for is trimming my eyebrows. I don't know the difference between him and Gilbert Godfrey, really. Like, it's, uh, it sounds the same, looks the oh same. Oh my God, she's back <laughs> yeah, on TV. Hold on. Oh no. Oh yeah, oh, no. you got to play it. There could be a silver lining to all those. Uh, Econot, we're glad for Karen Klein. Wow. As we continue well, to look at her, her she is going to go to Disneyland, her, right? and she does have nine people to bring with her, so good for her. Oof. Okay. But, but didn't she on say, I want to take story. There we off? go. There could be a silver lining to all those economic problems in Europe. Oh, I thought she was, like, uh, having a birthday. I know. No, the that's lady's kind of all fucked up. That's all, this, and that's all this fucking culture is. It's okay now because you have money.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. That's okay and now that somebody said they were going to cut you. But you have money now. But Jesus Christ, tomorrow. I've been saying this for years. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> hey, hey, people wonder why the fucking bankers are taking everything over. <laughs> hey, hey, go make some money. Hey, no, everything will be fine. Yeah, just make some fucking money. <laughs> hey, you know what the World Bank is, Joe? You know what the World Bank is? Yeah, look it up. Dude, I was on the phone with Burr last night for 40 minutes talking about the fucking bankers. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, I go, Billy, what do we do? He goes, I don't fucking know. Ugh, he just stinks. And by the way, that, <laughs> re that retard story, that was nothing. <laughs> I had one locked in my fucking basement, <laughs> and we were threatening to hit her on the head with a rock if she didn't blow us off. How, how sad is and it that you had to stay on the phone with Bill Burr for 40 minutes because your career is not going that well? <laughs> if your career was going better, you would have hung up on No, him. I was doing Bobby was talking doing Bobby. to Bill. That was Bobby. Oh. Not tired, Bobby, though. <laughs> I, I feel and look like an asshole right now. Hey, uh, I got a note from Amy Schumer who needs a little uh, plug. <laughs> See how I got on Did she? Did she send a note in? Yeah. Wow. From a plane. Oh, oh well. From, from a, a plane. plane. <laughs> All right. Well, then let's stop everything. I guess, I guess, <laughs> Drop I guess she's not hurting that badly that she didn't call the show. Yeah. But passed on well, a note know, that you... she's taping her hour in San Fran tomorrow, and tickets are available online. So, does that bother you? What? I see. I, I what, said that, that she yeah. sent a note in? Yeah. From a plane? Yeah. It's mildly irritating. Why? It's mildly irritating. And we'll preface this by saying we all like Amy Schumer, but why? Why? Go ahead, Josh. Yeah, I'm Great. friends with Amy, but that, yeah. Don't, don't, don't hold back. What's up? It's annoying. Why? Because when you had to plug something, you, you didn't send in. notes, huh? Who was she, Hugh Hefner? <laughs> you never sent notes, did you, Josh? Yeah, Dolly, hold my calls. I'm going to be very busy right now. If you could send a note into Opie and Anthony and tell them to plug the I thing. think what's going on here is when yes. Joe... She dropped it like propaganda. When Joe needed <laughs> World uh, War II. to plug something... He would leave his sick mom in Philly to drive all the way up here. You're goddamn right, oh. I did. I was in a goddamn car at four o'clock in the morning She's trying to get up here by six. She's not your real mom anyway, though. Jesus so damn. Right. <laughs> oh, so, I'm just kidding. Joe, Holy shit! We, we made a pact with Joe that we would keep everything positive. I gotta touch today. him. I'm rubbing him. Might have been you so fucked it all up. She's a huge. She's a huge fan of you. She was very excited when she found out I became friends with you. Yeah, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I swear to God. Really? Huh? I swear to God. Oh, she used to I know love... you don't know how to take it. Like, I'm just waiting for no, the no, stand. No, I swear to God. She was like a huge fan of Last Comic Aww. up through maybe the season after you. She's when she stopped watching. What was the season but after she... you? Because I'm trying to figure out when I stopped watching. Because uh, I definitely watched your season. I, You know, I really stopped, but I think it was Josh Blue. Yeah, I never saw it after us. I sort of I got, watched like, the Josh I felt like I was, Blue. It's like watching your rapist. That. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I watched the Josh uh, Blue. It didn't work out too well for him, huh? Yeah, <laughs> he's like he's killing it. Oh, he he's is. I don't making know. like shitloads of money at colleges. He's and... doing really well. In fact, I got a note here from Josh. <laughs> <laughs> he's got something to plug. Can I plug something for Josh? You're it's mad that Amy just sent a though. note. <laughs> Amy's at that stage with us where she can just send notes. That's she can just awesome. send a fucking note. You're almost there, Josh. That's awesome. The, uh, you don't have tips. You can send you me a there. note. Uh, listen, next time I'll just tweet what I need you guys to talk about. Oh yeah, me. we'll get right to oh, that. Yeah, sweet. yeah. You, Amy sends a note. I gotta meet you in a turnstile. And then we had that awkward. We're like, no, I really do want you on the show. Like, really? You sure? You know, I really don't want you to feel obligated. Oh, like, you know why I thing. wouldn't send a note? Let me tell you why I wouldn't send a note. Why, Joe? Because I love being on this show with oh, you guys. See, see how he fucking you know that? going to be here. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you guys are my friends, and I like coming in here and hanging out with all of you, and it's a great fucking time. Dates and plugs are secondary to having a good time on the show. All right, so me. this is what you do. Don't plug anything as we end the show. I won't plug to shit. To prove that you don't oh, wow. fucking come in here. I don't need to plug plugs. anything. Look I really don't. Is he sweating? I no, don't need to plug really. I got dates. I'll come back later and plug them. Uh, or not. Just plug or not. I don't care. Or not. <laughs> or not. That's the when key I to that. It, or not. When I it texted Rowan, when I texted Rowan, I said, hey, dude, I'm backing down. Would love to just come in and hang out with the guys. Right. Nothing about, I got to push this. I got to push that. I got to plug this. I got to plug well, that. I love Joe. Well, that's, you know, I unplug. Should we well, put Amy Schumer it, on the fuck list? It's always oh, the weirdest have. thing. We might have to. It's what? the weirdest thing because you guys gave me the last time I was here was like more than a year ago. And it was so, the guy goes, come in anytime, call us. 
And then you don't want to take advantage. And I think, like, most no you go, I don't want to just call them Whoa. and take advantage. I don't want to just show up every time. And then you wait so long that people forget about you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. We, we oops, waited too long. <laughs> we all live in the anytime world. Want to pay me no mind it, list. It means nothing. <laughs> we all get hit truth, with the anytime. Right. Oh, come on the show anytime. What does that really mean? Nothing. It puts it in you're your right. court where you're going to look like an asshole by calling and going, there hey, I'm rolling. They said anytime. <laughs> I'm ready for it. my anytime. <laughs> <laughs> we all I'm live. ready for my any time. <laughs> we all live in that world, no matter what you do. Yeah, nobody. That yeah, like that vague, whole... vague invite. Like I love when you see like, like Letterman say it. You call him out on it. Yeah, I love when you hear like Letterman say it. Come see us anytime. Really? Uh, really? Imagine, I can just imagine drop just in like, on the Letterman right. show. Hey, you said come see us. Any yeah, right. uh, come back see us anytime. That's what oh, that woman what? does that stalks him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe he, maybe she he heard said that. that. Know how many times show. we've heard? Uh, we got to get you on the on the show soon. That what does seems, that mean? That seems to mean what? the same but thing from, when you say it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Seems to be the, mean the same thing as when you say it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, we play the game, too. Yes, you're right. Well, that's but I'm, what I calling, my, I'm calling myself right. out on it, but it happens to all of us. I, know, I yeah. swear to God, that's how I felt yesterday. That's why I'm like, look, no, no, no. Really, you don't have to. It's okay. Don't feel obligated because right. you're seeing me. I saw you before you saw me, so I could turn. I could have easily turned around. And you would have never known. Oh, that was so. Nice. That was my first move. Oh. Then I would have been like that dick. And then we had that right fucking guy. <laughs> and then it was true. Like I didn't. I wasn't on Twitter as much, and I know that people were like <laughs> tweeting you that you should be on the show. And I saw that when I caught up with my Twitter. Right. Why are we going through this? How can you tell? You have so many followers. Like, how do you pay attention to that? I can't read them all anymore. I know. And then you become like so narcissistic. You don't even read your feed. And, and then like I, you just go, what am I going to say? I don't I just spew shit out and, then, and don't even take any <laughs> in at and all. I've hired people to read my tweets ahead of time. So my feelings aren't hurt. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Are you serious? That's and, and hilarious. They, and they block people before I even see them. You hired somebody for him? Yeah. Because my feelings that's, get hurt. That's funny. <laughs> His words hurt. Yeah, well, no, they say some real cunty uh, shit. Maybe we can raise some so money hire, for you. You hire a person, and they they filter through all that shit. Let's raise some money for you. That's what we could do. We so could put guys, you on a bus and read you your guys, tweets. These guys actually <laughs> think they get to me? No, nope, not anymore. Just buy it. What? <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're joking? Of course, of course I am. To you, honestly. <laughs> yeah. If he was Why doing that, do you think he'd say it on the air? Yeah. See, uh, the stuff that's really oh, that's happening. Funny, I really feel like, like yeah, can't take it. You can dish it up, but can't take it, faggot. The, the stuff that's really happening, you'll never know about. Of yeah. course. That's funny. I didn't know that. You got to take this. Because my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> that's always been my biggest show business uh, mistake. Yeah. Is I'd really just I, air it all out. I have no yeah. line between no. real life and I, stage. It's the please like, like I, me. Fucking terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I actually feel bad oh, for the people God. that I ob obsessively hate. I feel bad. I'm like, wow, really? You're wasting that much time on, on hating me? 140 Fuck, look, characters. Look into your yeah. life. Do something, man. I feel bad. You're wasting sh time. Haters going to hate. I get the I get the uh, I, I get the occasional hate shit. I, we all do it, but the, the obsessive ones that's sad. That's we, my um, real thought on that. The last time I was in here, we you I'm were like, here. Really, you're wasting that much time on my, you're my dumb career. Because think directly to them, like somehow that you hate. Like I'm sure that we probably get more hate off of stuff than you oh, yeah. get love. Because people don't have time to give you love. No one gives. Oh compliments. no, I know all that. I get a but... lot of compliments. Of course you do. <laughs> You uh, too. Why would I nice, think otherwise, Joey? I get a lot of nice tweets <laughs> from people. It's usually very positive. <laughs> really old broads that are so excited you want to bang them. Ah, uh, they need I, something I, in that clam. I Martha see, Ray. I, I see the guys that are, uh, you know, they start up a new Twitter account every day. I, I feel really bad for those people. That's like weird. That, to me. that what? What do you mean? You block them and then they fucking start up a whole nother account just to go back at you. Oh, yeah. You see, they got. But zero over followers. and over again. They're following zero people. They have one tweet, and it's them bashing you. Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. I, the the occasional yeah. hate is that that's human nature, obviously. But the ones that are obsessive about it, I'm like, wow, what is wrong with your life that you've got to continue doing this? Mm. It's weird. People are really, 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 weird. really lonely. Well, and you never know what's going to upset them. You know, like I, I swear to God, I had like a 10 minute argument with my father over whether Wendy Williams was Tyler Perry or not, because like he totally believed it. People started right. That's funny. Right, people started sending me all these She's things. A we love Wendy Williams. How dare you say that about Wendy? What is that? You should write him. 
Well, it's <laughs> like you should call him. Yeah, I remember I trashed CNN uh, on. I trashed Br- Britney Spears once on CNN, which I actually wouldn't even do that now. But like I did it a couple years ago, and this I was getting like hate mail from people being like, "You're fucking ugly." <laughs> Right, How dare you? Just because you Jesus Christ, I was trashing her song. Like, uh, you're on CNN? Comedian, dumbass. That's the biggest surprise right, right. there. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, you're on CNN doing what? Like a pop culture segment? <sighs> I, I Were just, you going I, for a joke? I stood in the lobby and I just kind of yelled it. <laughs> they told him, stop by <laughs> no, I was anytime. on like Showbiz Tonight or <laughs> well, something. Were you going for the joke? Yeah, it was like uh, on Showbiz yeah. Tonight. They had me come on as a oh. comic and like co- do commentary on Britney Spears' yeah. new record at the time or whatever. And I was like trashing it. Right, right. Being like it stinks or whatever, and and I got I got hate mail telling me that I was ugly. I was like, that's really a lot more. I harsh. am so sorry that you remember that still. I find I didn't odd. until you just said that actually. <laughs> and, and so that I'm not carrying it. I just, that was from a girl. Yeah, the ugly. Uh no, it's from a guy. See that I find <laughs> fucking bizarre. I've always said this. There are guys that'll be like fucking ugly. For it's like, look, do you think I fucking care? That another man doesn't find me attractive, it, and and why are you f- even commenting on on that? It was the guy who was like, right? "Leave Britney alone." It was yeah, like, yeah, that one of those kind queen. of maybe. No, we get <laughs> we get <laughs> yeah. guys that comment on our appearances. That's like, like really, I, I don't care. That's what, fucked up. But that guy thing. Because everything it's, it's yeah. easy. They don't does do that it mean they want Skype. They don't yeah, send yeah. a picture of themselves. That's the but thing. Does that mean uh, they want to fuck us? That's the thing. Yes. No, I'm serious. Yes, no, does. well, I, well, I don't. But, but they that, they go through their lives that they're not gay, I guess. But they secretly want to fuck us, and they're bummed out we're not hotter or more attractive hate or whatever. You. That's really what. It <laughs> yeah, is. Right. Here's what I don't get. No bullshit. I don't. This, this is what I don't get. Um, when I go on Fox and do Red Eye, mm-hmm. oh, out of all the times I've said like inflammatory or provocative things about women on there, which is a lot because they have a lot of really stiff women on the show yeah. right. that just make you, you just want to fuck with them. <laughs> um, you know, it's like, you know, of all the times I've done that, every time when women respond, they go, I'm behind DeRosa 100%. That chick needed to chill out last night, whatever. Oh, wow. It's never huh. a girl that's angry. It's yeah. always some fucking guy. That's like I can't stand your opinion, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like I don't get it. Because he's shit. trying to get laid oh, I'm by sorry, his lose a girlfriend. Yeah, That's yeah, probably yeah, she's, she's typing it and then signing his name. Yeah. Uh. Did I lose a male groupie? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sure you're a lot of fun, Ted from Idaho, <laughs> yeah. who's 57. Go fuck cares. yourself. Exactly. Who fucking cares? I'm not coming to your show, and if I did, it would be to punch you in the nose. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> Play in Idaho all the time. Too. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I'm going home. This is bizarre. Yeah, we're here very, very You guys must today. have did real well, because we would never stay past 10 on a Friday, no. especially. Oh, we love you. Thank you. 10, 20, 5. You guys want to leave? I mean, just having such a fun time with you guys. You can just come with me. I got to go. I got nowhere to go. 8,000 degrees and I have a pool. I think Uh, I want to fucking be here right now. So disgusting. Uh, Sorry. I forgot about camaraderie for a second. Exactly. (laughs) I'm out. That's because you spell camaraderie. C-U-M. Soon the mics go off, no one talks. (laughs) Jesus, it really hurts the way Anthony says it. I got a fucking pool, douchebag. Okay. Well, you're I know you think our friendship is cute. And, <laughs> Anthony said, stop <laughs> by any time. Me and Anthony. Yeah. Stop by any time, Joe. <laughs> me and Anthony had the most. He had said that to me about his house. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Time, you dude, we've all gotten that. I may but hop me, the fence to see that break. Me and Anthony episode. have the most yeah. uncomfortable conversation every day after these mics go off. It's the, it's strange. Who does? Me and it. What? Which what ones? Mean? What? Which conversation? <laughs> No, it's just uncomfortable. We don't even know what to say to each other. <laughs> like, oh, my on. God. I don't mean that in We're a bad way. Out. I it's don't think that's true. We have, we have literally, at this point, have talked about everything we could possibly talk about that with each true. other. That is true. Yeah. You run out of words, though, don't you We've been doing that? this 18 years. I what else are we going to talk that you, about? That's, the we- at this point, we talk about the weather on the way out. I do believe that you Lambast run out of words. people. Uh, yeah. That's really it one does. of the problems. But I'm not, I'm not saying that in a bad way. That's where we're at. We've talked about every fucking thing we could possibly Especially talk about. on a about. day-to-day basis. You're like, yeah, I pretty much talked been, about everything right, that, like, that my that day. came in my head. Yeah, that was what I did yesterday, been, last night. It's what I'm I, thinking today. I've been with my girl eight years. Right. And I guarantee we've talked about way more, me and it. 
I couldn't yeah. date four guys hours a day. Early, we on. talk to each other twenty hours a week. Who do you talk to? to twenty hours a week <laughs> every day. You don't talk to your wife or husband twenty years. hours a week. <laughs> oh Jesus! So four hours horrible. a day. This is the beginning years. and the end right here. It's like like we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to take. They're gonna think break about up right now. This is it. They <laughs> think about they your, all right. You're married, Holy right? Shit. Right. Yeah. How many hours a week do you talk to your husband? Barely at all, especially when I'm on the road, because nothing changes. But an hour a day would be a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe tops. Seriously. So that's tops. seven days, seven hours a week, seven days a week, right? So seven hours a week you talk. Yeah. We talk 20. That's insane. 20 hours a week. I don't know week. anybody I'd want to talk to for 20 hours so, a week. So that's what <laughs> right. I mean by that. Right. Like I, These if, mics will go off I and we'll Jesus, awkwardly say. if he came back, I'd be like, listen, I'm done talking to you about yeah. hour seven, eight. We, we're we're going <laughs> to awkwardly talk about, hey, have a good weekend. You know, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, all, all right. right. Well, hey, that show was good. Yeah, that was show was good. All right. Well, all right. Take it easy. Oh, see you Monday. Right. Uh, whatever. <laughs> that's it. That's all right. you're going to get. Well, you know You talk like two people in an office that fucked each other. All right. I'll see you. Uh, uh, well, yeah. well, no, it's like the old, it's yeah. the cartoon where you punch the clock. Yeah. yeah. We're on, man. When we punch that clock, we're on. But as soon as that fucking... We're dropping anvils on each other's heads, and then we yeah, punch the clock. It's like... We have that, though. It's, Good night, yeah, Ralph. I was, I was just going to say, it's not incredible. I just I was at Bonnaroo last two weeks ago. Braggered. And I was... <laughs> Sweaty and disgusting. <laughs> not, not I don't want to brag, time. but I did warm up for a special <laughs> that I wasn't part of. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> What was this gig? Oh, fuck. What that. was the special? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe. Joe, you don't take a gig Christ. like that. Oh, what the you fuck are you doing? To... You don't have to tell everyone that. You say you're a bonner. What the fuck are you doing, dude? You said you're on the fucking special. Oh, I have to rob some. They what don't are you have doing? to know out there. <laughs> so fucking, what are, they don't know. Who taught you how to do this business, Joe? Oh, Hollywood, oh, Joe. Yeah. These people think you're uh, a rock star, Joe. It's you're fucking smoking give it away. Joe, it's fucking Hollywood. funny. Bobby, I was on a special that I wasn't part of. I warmed it up. Uh, that, of course you did, because this business fucking stinks, and it just <laughs> takes, nothing. dude. That's all this business does yeah. is fucking take. But, dude, that's nothing. <laughs> One time I had to do a... <laughs> I warmed up my own special. <laughs> yeah, that I wasn't part of. Yeah. I do These fucking my own... cock suckers. <laughs> it's fucking... Dude, dude, I ran up. I did 20 up front. I went out, I announced myself, I ran back on, and the fucking, there was no tape in the fucking camera, because the fucking asshole fucked me that was supposed to tape it. Dude, so I fuck you to... and fuck this business. Fuck that, dude. Dude, I had a red light myself, dude. I felt I was going long and red lighted myself. <laughs> All right, Tammy oh, Pescatelli. Oh. Thank you for the energy. Oh, oh my God. She got us through this. Fun. Uh, uh, stress Factory this weekend. That's right. Uh, dinner specials, according to Vinny. Jesus. Call over dinner this. specials. Jesus. But do they have magnetic it. dinner trays? Don't tell me about the Glenn and Matt. Can you tell me that? He made me do magnetic that. He goes, will you please? That's why I said, fuck Vinny. Yakov. Uh, it's so hard. Oh. I never worked there before. <laughs> Just talk to the right side of his body. Get him back. <laughs> I didn't even know. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, shit. I didn't shit. even know that. This so, look at him making the Ooh. face. Look at you, you rotten prick. <laughs> Get how okay. hard you're fucking laughing That's because he doesn't have to work That's the evil him. of it. I've done it. It's That's fun. That's evil. Ah, Tammy, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Listen, when you can't... <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my God. We're gonna oh, have fuck to fuck him and his dinner oh. special. Have have I'm mad for Tammy. We're going to have to have I'm a mad for Tammy. That's right. I appreciate that. That's <laughs> Holy well, shit. Yeah. He will turn his head a certain way if he really wants to hear you. Let's yeah. just put it That's that way. really funny, man. Righteous indignation. I love Vinny. He knows it. I've supported He's the greatest. Him years. I, I guarantee we fucking are responsible for at least one wing of his house. He's the, he's sure. the All best. the promoting we've done over I've the years. So, so take a dumb deaf joke, you comic. I've heard it. <laughs> take a take dumb, a dumb, dumb, dumb deaf joke. joke, you comic. <laughs> That's uh, he's a good man. I like Vinny a lot. Look yeah. at this guy. This guy's out the fucking <laughs> door. Shut everything down. Andy, he's done. He's done. Shut he's it got, down. He's got I've that breaking shut bad it down. thing, man. Well, I feel like that might hurt Vinny now. I like. Oh, Vinny. stop! I'm All sure right. he could take it. All right, there's a couple down here waiting maybe right. for a picture or autograph. <laughs> okay. Come on, Joe. Do the read, Joe. Joe you Jesus. I'll do it, but Anthony has to stay for it. I'll stay for it. All right. Oh, you will? Yeah, I'll do it, but he's to stay for it. What's the read? Right now? Go ahead. Sure. Tomorrow. 
Do you subscribe to Dish? Yes! You should. They're the best TV provider out there, and they have the best technology by far. Dish's new DVR, The Hopper, has a feature called Primetime Anything that will automatically record all four networks of Primetime TV for you. Wow! You don't have to remember when your shows are on or worry about recording them. Or ratings if you're in one of the shows. Yeah. <laughs> nobody's Christ, watching yeah. it at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> or your dreams as a comic as you watch the TV business crumble in front of your eyes. Uh, you don't have to do anything at all. Just press one button and all HD primetime TV will be recorded and saved to your DVR for up to eight days. Yeah. Get this. If there are other shows that you want to record at the same time, you can either do that. You can even do that, too. Because with the oh, dish, <laughs> and it's complete. Look at he is that the, the everything's wrapped. <laughs> but this should have happened a half hour ago. <laughs> with the, he goes I fucked up our dish. weekend. By the way, in the middle of the read, Ann is packing up like he's Completely evacuating gone. Vietnam <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Because with the dish, you can record up to six shows at once. It's great. Call Dish to get things set up, and the next thing you know, all four networks of primetime TV will be recording in your house automatically. You'll just be hanging out and enjoying your favorite shows when you want. Call Dish at 1-888-770-DISH. At, at, at H. That's uh, 1-888-770-DISH. That number again is 1-888-770-3474-DISH. Let's watch TV. Yeah. Uh, she's at 481,000. What? Yep. Four hundred eighty-one. That's the end of the. Yeah, so four hundred eighty-one thousand. She made fifty-four thousand dollars since we Stop started the show today. Stop giving this woman money. She's got enough, you idiots. If you want, like, give it to I don't know Us. the porn in your neighborhood <laughs> or something. You want to fucking give money? Specials. Find a cause that's <laughs> worthwhile. How about those little fucking puppies and kittens with crusty eyes? There you I'm, go. I'm starting to see blog posts like from big 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 blogs like Gothamist and stuff saying yeah. uh, are we going overboard yes, yes of yes. course yeah. now to, if you get half a million crazy. dollars because they call use, her a fat ass yeah. use this dumb cause to take care of something local that's now. what they're saying that they're she, saying if enough. she had any she, ball she'd give Holy it away fuck. she'd give it to other people well yeah, yeah. Uh, like, come out and say guys why is you, why, just come out and say that's enough everybody I th yeah, I thank you that's enough this is gluttonous no she's not gonna I got a tweet from no filter Jake this tweet is meant to hurt OP tweet proxy person please pass this along because joe de rosa comedy believes you exist <laughs> <laughs> i did i believe that i didn't know it was fake until anthony was laughing <laughs> ah, that's so funny uh, right. i love that one and even when he was laughing i saw they go what are you laughing at and then, yeah. like i didn't even put it together like oh he's laughing because i'm buying this yes of course that's how much i was buying a half a million dollars to do to fucking little cancer kids and shit something, something. the hospital ward or something so like many that people you and, and because this woman got fucking bitched at Especially when and the point you know of what? it, she by is kids. fucking fat. Not hey. like by like politicians, kids. Yeah. Yeah. That's just, what kids do. Just to tie, just to tie a few things together. Instead of a plug, guess what? This huh. is what I'm saying. Huh. Donate to the Children's St. Jude's Hospital. There That's who go. I donate to every month. If you're going to give to this fat ass, yeah. don't yeah. and give to fucking uh, Child's Hospital. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. I donate every month to take it right out of your bank account. Ooh. Twenty dollar minimum. Donate to the Children's St. Jude's. How about that instead That's, of instead he's of investing a plug. in bras? Hopefully they Some live and he can bang them when they, if they can. Be I know, really, Joe. Yeah. You have to yeah, brag you about it. I don't want to hear any of saying the kids. What the fuck, Joe? Joe the teen idol sensation of the Opie and Anthony show. Doing something nice. For people. Oh, now he thinks he's fucking Jonas Salk or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucking helping polio victims. Who's that? Is that Bobby? Yeah, he doesn't know who asshole. Jonas Salk is. <laughs> 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 All yeah. right, this was great. Yeah, Tammy, you know, thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me Stress in. Factory, say hi to Vinny. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm sure you do uh, well down there. I've had it. It'll make it. Yeah, let's get out. Thank you. Schedule All right, you guys. Photos. Have a great weekend. Thanks for traffic. having me. See you guys. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Uh, later. <laughs> Anytime. Whenever that is. <laughs> War injury. Fuck you, Gary. <laughs> Fuck. The OP Anthony show is pretty much over. Pretty much over. Pretty much over. But if you feel like sticking around after 1A Live is next... 